jewelry makers how are we all on this frosty spring morning foggy foggy, foggy morning foggy, foggy. look who's here it's gorgeous Deb. <laughs> it's me again sorry why are you apologizing Hello. you're like a ray of sunshine good morning good morning Do you my know darling. it's foggy down most of the country so if it's foggy where you are it's probably foggy everywhere so don't despair yeah no it's clouds. just a foggy day foggy day yeah but yesterday was beautiful the sun was <gasps> shining it was amazing and spring flowers yeah and now it's singing oh it's lovely. yeah do you know i because I, I, I was off yesterday and I had about an hour to kill. Mm. And no, I lo like nothing better than a little mooch around a garden centre. Oh, me too. So I did that and I was like, right, it's official, it's spring. spring. It's spring. So I got some tatar tates. Oh, I love those. And they stuck them in the pots. Oh, I'm going to get some of those. Tom thinks it's hilarious. He's la he laughs at me. Look at you with your pots. I like getting I'm my happy. hands in the soil. Yeah, I'm happy. I what like the me smell me? of it. Yeah. said the hippie look how pretty no i'm with you on oh, that 100 yeah. percent. It, it, yeah it's amazing it looks nice we are going to have a wonderful wednesday not only because we've got this gorgeous lady and what <laughs> more could we possibly want on a wednesday well, morning double dose of you actually crisps <laughs> crisps are good that's true double Bacon. dose yeah i'm covering a show tomorrow so i'm here tomorrow as well yay and you're popping to mine later i am yay so we're, gonna have fun. we're gonna have lots of fun now we also have the fantastic dave stepping into oh, the good. studio it's the first time i've seen him since hong kong me too I, well that's a lie actually it's a, it's a lie i did see him but i saw them literally as they pulled up into the car park oh. as they were about to go home from their flight oh. and they're all a bit bleary eyed and weary mm, and tired mm. so i didn't really engage much in conversations um but yeah so haven't had a chance to sort of get the update, if yep, you yep. like, on um, what went on in Hong Kong. He's joining us today with the most unbelievable deal of the day. This is Bullseye Agate. Uber, uber, uber rare. Um, and we have it in bangles, which I'm so excited for. Take a little look. Um, I, don't, I don't know the full story of this. I don't know were these purchased. Were they purchased in Hong Kong? Is it something he's literally brought back? Um, something he's brought back, but we'll hear soon enough. Do you not know either? So very, very exciting. Amazing display as well, I need to point out. Thank you, Michael, Mr. Wolf, and thank you for the coffee. Now that gemstone in the middle, uber rare, the beautiful strand, there it is. Bull's eye agate, there it is. Look how amazing that is. And it's totally natural as well. I was just going to say, that looks like somebody's got um, a pen and drawn it Drawn on them it. on. It's so perfect. Amazing, aren't they? Absolutely amazing. We also have, this is my first time ever talking about it, Nalong Jade, which is uh, from a, a new location, which might not actually be a new location because it's always been kind of... Uh, packaged collectively alongside your Burmese jadeite but now obviously with the situation in Burma um, the mining operation no longer being in production obviously now we know directly that it comes from Nalong now Nalong jade has the most amazing transparency Ooh. so you know some of your imperial varieties that we we've seen in the past photographed whichever might well have actually been from this location so here it is i'm going to show you and immediately you'll be able to distinguish the difference now this is brand new it's never been brought to air uh L dave launched uh nalong jade but this wasn't part of that launch because it hadn't landed so ah. um giving you the first opportunity to get hold of that it's absolutely beautiful you've got lovely floating flowers in there and the richest most emerald green um, so that's at nine o'clock this morning. We'll be talking about that. I'm loving your early bird this morning. I got really excited when I saw the early bird because do you remember last week, last week we had those amazing pearls in that beautiful velvet box, yeah? <gasps> I was looking at those. We've got the boxes. Oh my goodness, the colors are just beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, I need those, I need them. Yeah, need, and need. they go into the most amazing price, honestly. Oh. You know, if you make, imagine you make a, a beautiful piece of jewelry oh. for a, a special, uh, for a loved one, the nearest and dearest. I mean, you have the perfect bang, uh, dis box, oh, if you like, gorgeous. to display it. Now these are available on the website as we speak. Um, items number one and two, you can get it in the red, which is like a raspberry red. Mm. And then you've got this lovely teal color. Um, so definitely, definitely shop ahead on those. They're going to an amazing early bird price tag. Also, I have the last seven 
jadeite bangles every single sample we've brought over to the studio so that you can admire the quality now there's 350 carats this launched two years ago i have this bangle and daisy has this bangle. oh do you yeah it was 2022 oh yes and it was the one which Dave was talking about, the fact that it incorporates even the skin as well. Mm. So you've got lavenders, reds in there, you've got all the different colors. This is the final seven opportunities for you. Um, we've brought them all over so you can admire the amazing quality of those. So they're coming up at, what time? In this hour as well. So there's only seven. You can see the quality right they're there. They're truly unique though, yeah. you? because when I ordered two or one for me, one for Daisy, and our, t our individual ones are completely different. Yeah, I bet. That, you know, and they, even I to the thickness, um, mine was a little bit thicker than hers. And it's just, I love that because it's truly unique and individual. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess, you know, with, with gemstones, not just jadeite, with gemstones, that's the thing. If yeah. they are, um, if they have, you know, slight differences, that shows you that it's a natural, mm, genuine gem. That. Amazing. So those are coming up within this hour. I can see some fabulous Amazonite. night. Um, I've got loads of sterling silver items to bring you as well as well and as always we want to hear from you text in come and say hi um, because guess what I do you know what, another reason why I'm very excited why the team is back together Aww, do you know it is. we are back together we've got gorgeous Dan on cameras hi gorgeous Dan Yay. you're right lovely you have a nice couple of days yeah, nice, sure. yeah. Um, <laughs> we have as well in the gallery handsome adams back everyone yay house is officially rewired you've got electricity <laughs> now so you didn't go he didn't go off to any far destination or anything like that he's getting his house rewired okay there you go he Needs was in must. his mum and dad's you does your mum and dad live in ulster oh it's lovely ulster though I lived in Ulster, it's beautiful, Ooh. so pretty. They've got a nice little tea room. Oh, how lovely. Lovely little tea room with some lovely cakes. Did you go there? No? Hey? No, but you went to the pub, fair enough. They do have good pubs. And we have our wonderful Roscoe. Hi, Roscoe. Isn't it nice to have everyone back together with the exception of Lauren, bless her. Yeah, I hadn't forgotten, <laughs> I hadn't forgotten. Um, Lauren's back next week, is she? She's off this week, isn't she? And then you're off. This is the thing. <laughs> All March. And those two are off, mm. I know. I'm off on the end. I'm off over Easter. Mm, nice. So actually this month we're a bit misjointed, this team. But it'll be all good. It'll be all good. Right then, shall we get cracking? Shall we? Shall we start with some lovely Colettes? That's a good start. I don't see any Colettes. Over. Oh, oh I do. <laughs> <laughs> nothing changes Debs <laughs> nothing ever changes I'm like it's not here it's not here yeah it is it's right there how pretty are they so you basically fold it over the leather oh I can't see them can, so to, oh can you not let's get the so basically you've got a genuine topaz faceted topaz in sterling silver and can you see the little <gasps> pegs at the back oh yeah what do you do again so if you've got say a flat braid or a bit of leather or whatever you basically fold them over the back and they secure to your leather that is genius it is isn't it you know you could do that on a, a hat like if you had a beret yeah. or um, a scarf yeah. or oh that's got loads of just I've never seen that before loads of options I remember these launching ages ago one pound Ross <laughs> okay okay you could also remove one of those pegs and turn them into stud earrings definitely sorry yes I know it's been two days but I forget you do one pound auctions the first auction of the day and that's I wasn't expecting good. these to go that way how many do we have they've gone oh there we go <laughs> okay surprised. fair enough fair enough well done everybody Shall we do, yes, some sparkle. Let's bring you some sparkle. By the meter as well. By the meter, AB code, look at that for me. Um, amazing. What size are they? Oh, I'm gonna say four. <gasps> Capriccio. Capriccio bracelet, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? How gorgeous would that be? Oh, amazing, amazing, You stunning. could probably get the tassel out of that as well. Did you say there's a meter? Yeah. Oh, oh they've a sold pound? out. Oh, dead. It's burnt. Burnt. <laughs> burnt. Um yes, I do. Um Suru inspired collector. 
love it absolutely love it it is definitely suru inspired as Ooh. well gold plated 925 sterling silver you've got a lovely little heart in the center just literally macrame from that i think that'd be a gorgeous piece of jewelry don't you or maybe to separate your earrings you could use them in your necklaces a multitude of uses oh how pretty isn't that nice yeah. loving that i love suru jewelry but it does come at a certain price tag so you know mm. it's not inexpensive one pound it's gold plated sterling <laughs> silver ross and it's sold out well oh, done well done well done well done yeah. roscoe roscoe um right little sneaky peek now the other day when we were together it was you and i mm. wasn't it mm. we had 800 of these available was it you and i no it wasn't for the rose quartz yeah i think i promoted it when we uh, were together yeah um how could i forget <laughs> all right adam make me feel really bad okay <laughs> we pro thank you dan yeah we promoted it with we you did didn't we because yeah, i know we had a conversation yeah, about it yes but the other day um we actually launched <coughs> excuse me this rose court strand <coughs> sorry and if you didn't see it on the early bird here's your second chance because it is literally the most ridiculous price tag that you could possibly imagine you mentioned capriccio bracelet and i think we actually showed a photograph of that this would be perfect wouldn't oh, it oh that would be beautiful deb's we had 800 800 on the launch we right. don't have anywhere near that quantity but it's still probably a good quantity have we roscoe just shy of 200 oh, sold now loads. 600 sold it's an item number six on the website all the w's at jewelrymaker.com it is coming up this hour add it to your order because i will tell you from one rose quartz to another it's an unbelievable price tag <coughs> do you know what would look lovely with this mm. some amazonite and it just so happens <laughs> oh. here's my george okay <laughs> Look at the colour of that. Oh, beautiful. Look at those together. Yes. Amazing, aren't they? That's like a kit from heaven. Oh, perfect. Quite celestial, isn't it? Yeah. I love Amazonite. Me too, and that's an amazing quality. It's coming up, not yet. <coughs> I've got a little tickle. <coughs> there you go. Right then. Okay, they're both coming up. Not yet, not yet. Shall we do some sterling silver i think that's a good idea um but for some very sweet romantic it can be romantic it can be uh um family love friendship love whichever um now take a little look at these i'll put them all on the tweezers and then turn my hand you've got a heart in sterling silver collector you've got an infinity design in a sterling silver connector and you have the word love oh come on there you go Oh, can you see lovely. all those aren't they pretty mm. so there's the infinity there's love and there's the heart behind all solid sterling silver um and connectors as well again you could just like said not on those debs couldn't you definitely and then they're lovely for stacking aren't they actually they're like perfect designs for stacking little dainty ones loving that now i know our lovely amazing claire mcdonald she does some awesome wire writing does, yeah. there's i can't write as neat as she wire writes no i know <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you struggle with wire writing this is a fantastic alternative all that sterling silver we're at 29.99 which straight away i'm thinking okay so that's tenor a charm that's not bad is it not at all it's not base metal they're precious metal um you could use them as pendants you don't have to use them all uh, um use them as a connector if you don't want to now um this was originally scheduled on friday with scott in his manager special hour um and the price he set was this 29.99 okay but he didn't have time to actually play it so um yeah because we were we were he brought some amazing deals all the managers brought some amazing deals but he did give ross authority to take it to his manager special price tag so um, that's exactly what we're doing now 10 pound each you go into somewhere like pandora or any of those other charm shops i think you'd be hard pushed to find the charm in sterling silver for te for a tenner yeah i generally think so but we're gonna do an md manager special deal get my words out okay do we have quantity then 50 available in the vault so pretty i love the love one the love one's very on trend 
It's gorgeous. You isn't know those it? like kind of writing yeah. necklaces are back. Uh, my mum was ha used to have a gold one with her name on it. Oh, nice. Um, but the, the Carrie Bradshaw, yeah. you know, from Sex and the City. But this love on everything, I've yeah. seen everywhere, actually, oh. for this season. So I think that would be... What? Nine ninety nine for all of them? Yeah, Are you that's, kidding? No. Oh, £3.33 <sighs> each. They're not base metal. That's amazing. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Sterling and you could, silver. Yeah, you could just attach them to your sterling silver chains. You could bead onto these. They've never been on air, jewelry maker. Shall I separate them so you can see them all? So there's the heart. Again, not a small amount of precious metal in there. Then you've got the infinity. Again, beautiful. This was scheduled for uh, Scott's manager special hour, but just didn't get the time. So uh, Roscoe's had, sorry, um, had authority to actually play it and take it to the manager special deal. Brand new premiere opportunity. Three charms, 9.99. Lots of you there. Um, oh, with the rose quartz. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? One more auction, we're and gonna revisit that. Put it in the pink box. And, and then put got a, yes. quite some present. Mother's Day. Oh, Mother's Day, yeah, absolutely. There's the rose quartz. It's just round the corner, isn't it? Look, there you go. How pretty is that as a combination? Amazing. But he's a tinker. Roscoe has just said that wasn't the price that I was given by Scott. Really? Lots of you are happy at that price because there's loads of multi-buying. We're already under £10 for all three, but we're not stopping there. We're going even lower. Get your messages in as well. Come and say hi to us. We'd love to hear from you this Wednesday morning. I'm excited for today's show. Can I ask um, for a text talk? Yes, that's possible. On Monday, and it's with you guys on yeah. the 11th, I've got some Morse code jewellery kits. Yes. Now, if you could write something on a necklace or bracelet, <coughs> what would it be? Do you know that's so weird? Did you know that I did a presentation on Morse code the other day? No. That's so because weird. Because I don't know much about it at all, and I absolutely love the sentiment behind it. But <gasps> usually you put love, hope, blah, blah, blah. But I've got kits, and they're amazing kits. And if you tell me what sort of thing you want written on, then I'm going to incorporate that into some of my designs. I made Tom a bracelet. I asked Ross to send over a strand, and I was like, it's like Morse code. Yeah. So I made Tom a bracelet. I put, I love you, in Morse code. Oh. And he's still wearing it. You'll see it tonight, you're still wearing Aww. it. And then Susie made with it as well, and she put peace. That's a good texting topic. Is what that would okay? You... Yes. Can we do that one? Text in, what would you write in Morse code? Uh, and, w you know, I, I assume for a loved one or a nearest and dearest, or for yourself. Or for yourself, it can be an yeah. inspirational, and 7 99 is... Ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's one of the best deals I've seen. I know. And I've seen some good deals. Yeah. Because it's sterling silver. Mm -hmm. And what was I saying last time? I was on about the price of silver sheet. And yeah. You know, imagine trying to pierce that out. You'd have to be Yvonne. Yvonne's amazing with the piercing. She is. Saw. Did you see her show? Yeah. Um, look at that. I mean, that I'd, pay, I'd be happy to pay that for that on its own. But it's not just that, is it? You get all these as well. You get the two. You get the infinity. And, and it's not a small amount of sterling silver either. Mm. I know it's not even worthwhile making it. Well, I couldn't do that. No, how difficult is that? Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Love that. Did you hear that then, Roscoe? Debs has got Morse code kits on Monday. I was like, that's so bizarre that we literally did a presentation on it. Um, amazing. Oh, we'll talk some more about that. But yeah, text in. Text in. Um, what would them. you put on? What would, what would, what would you... inspire you? And who, yeah, would you, would, for yourself. Yeah, for yourself to just remind you, you know, like sometimes when you might want to just touch it and you're maybe having a low confidence day. Or yeah. What would you write to yourself? Yeah, that's a nice idea. Yeah, something like... Um, Get a grip. <laughs> <laughs> Pull yourself together. together. Get a grip. <laughs> it can be funny. It doesn't have to be really Sort serious. it out. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we had a conversation this morning, didn't we, about about uh -huh. um, about how you know sometimes um, my ch your children can be quite trying at times, <laughs> yeah. can't they? And, yeah. and they know your triggers, don't they? Oh, yeah. They do know your triggers. And and I saw a meme, and I thought it was a great idea. When they do, and they're like trying for a reaction, just look at their little hands and little feet, because then you realise they're still babies. And I was like, I'm going to use that a lot. Uh, Morse code, um, the word friends. Oh, oh yeah. that's, that's nice, lovely. Christine. That's I lovely. Love that. I need a pen to write these down. Write all these down, yeah. I'm going to write these down, guys. Friends, friendship, yeah. 
Um, something to remind yourself to, you know, take it easy. On take it easy. Yeah. Just enjoy the moment as well, because I think we get so caught up, don't we, in all the craziness. Anyway, sorry, there's another one. Hello, Judith saying, hi, um, all I would write, you can do it. Great idea. See, I love that. Yeah, you can do it. Michael Wolf. Yeah. Family. Have a piece of paper, please. <laughs> there you go. Family, there you go, says Helen. That's a nice one. Family's lovely. Family. Janine in Lincolnshire saying, good morning, lovely ladies. I made a Morse code bracelet for my mum and sister. Um, with faith on I and like then faith. happy yeah. 18th for my son oh that's nice um yeah we had we had a uh, um, it was my sister's birthday not yesterday day before um and i know I, I won't say a name just in case but a lady messaged in and she said she had a her late son's name in morse code written as a bracelet so it's always it's always with I them i think that. that's a really nice idea isn't and it and it's not you know it's just for you because nobody else can um no, it's, it's not going to raise says. questions like, all the time. Thank you yeah, very much. Um, loving these. Write all those down. I'm writing them down. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, meanwhile, I'm going to show you how beautiful these charms are. So you've got firstly like the perfect circle connector. How lovely is that? And then you have a beautiful little bird. Can you see that? Be oh, I'm showing you the back. Sorry. Hang on. It's a hummingbird. <gasps> Oh Look. my goodness, I need that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? And then finally, you have, come on, a lovely leaf, very detailed, these. And then you've got the leaf as well. Three beautiful charms. The clock is ticking. How many have you got, Roscoe? 50 again. These are brand new also. There they are. I, I'm looking at that as a hummingbird, just by the angle of the wings. I'm obsessed with hummingbirds. They're so sweet, I've aren't they? I've never seen one in real life. I want to see No, one. nor me. They're only tiny, aren't they? Yeah, little, little bubbles. They're the only bird that can fly backwards. They can only fly backwards? No, that, that can fly oh. backwards. <laughs> That's why I identify with them, because I fly backwards. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Stop the shop. <laughs> why oh. don't you go that way? No, nope. <laughs> we're going this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hello, me. Swansea. Hi, oh. lovelies. Hi. I would use breathe to remind myself to stay grounded and be mindful in the moment. Because Swansea, that's, one that's perfect. That's I think one that's one I need as well. Because it's right. You, we get so caught up, don't we, and stressed. I think sometimes. And sometimes when you think, oh, I don't know what to do next. Yeah. You just take a yeah. breath. Yeah. Nice. I love these ideas. Seven ninety nine, oh. everybody, for your hummingbird, your leaf, and also the circle itself. Beautiful. Have you got breathe written down? Oh, nothing to see you. Nothing to nothing see Nothing to you. see you. Debs is not shopping. She is not. <laughs> Sorry, nothing Deb. to see. I do it on it and I'm not discreet about it either. So, um, well done. I don't blame you. Um, Nicola in Worcestershire saying, I would write worth it to remember we are all special. Ah, well, is guys. It? You guys, you're awesome. I love that. Loving these suggestions. Worth That's it. That's true because also we can we can sometimes feel like not worthy, I suppose, in certain instances, can't we? Not Ross, of course. He always feels worthy. Don't you, Ross? He's <laughs> he would, Ross would put, I am the best. That's what he would put. <laughs> You're, oh, sorry, you're right, I am you're the right, best. You're right, I am the best. <laughs> you can do a comma in Morse code, you know. And on the other wrist, he'd have, you said it. You said it, not me. <laughs> true. True, true, true. You are the best, Ross. You are. Right then, is it time? We are revisiting this amazing star buy, and it went completely crazy on the original launch for obvious reasons. And we mentioned Deb's beautiful Capriccio bracelet. We mentioned weaving and looming. We mentioned tassels and biography style bracelets and stacker style bracelets we mentioned beady beads we mentioned spacer beads it's just a multitude of uses for the trusty little faceted three millimeter round in actual i'm going to give you a heads up listen you can buy spacers and i love spacers however how about a gemstone alternative now we launched 800 i've got less than 200 remaining we wanted to revisit today not only because 
Um, the deal is so good, but also because we have the lovely Debs here in the studio, and I know it would be something she's a huge fan of. Speaking of Morse code, actually, to put Morse code jewellery alongside rose quartz, could that Again, be any more perfect? I want to think of different ways of doing it, because you know me, I love the story behind the gemstones. Yeah. So I love the story behind the meaning of rose quartz. So, yeah. then if you, so if you're going to put love, but we've got different gemstones in the rose quartz. Yeah. So I'm quite, I'm quite excited. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Okay, it's a star by the final two minus two hundred up next. Okay. These went crazy. And if I can, if you weren't able to tune in to that early bird, it was an early bird last week, 600 sold, over 600 sold, and people did not get just the one. Because the deal, A, is so good, but also we know we are gonna use it. You know, you could just literally put these on elastic and oh, make the most yeah. amazing bracelet. But you could use them, incorporate them into your kiss cross designs if yes. you're a sea beader, capriccio bracelet. In fact, we showed that photograph, didn't we, Roscoe, of the rose, car, uh, rose quartz capriccio bracelet. Um, it says, funnily enough, Linda's just messaged in. Oh, sorry, saying I would have love and laugh. That's true. Love and laugh. Tonics, yes, they I love are those. Both of those things. Judith, uh, what is a capriccio bracelet, please, says Judith. Well, let me show you. Do you know, we were saying, this is a Capriccio bracelet, and Deb's, this photograph is about five years old. You inspired me because you showed this photo on air, and I thought, I've made one of those. I mean, obviously not exactly the same, but sort of like that. Yeah. And, um, and then I went and made one, and then everyone started making them, yeah. and then it's, it was a thing. It was a thing. And this, would you imagine this bracelet, like hold this picture in your mind, and then look at this strand. This is actually better, I think Ross actually showed a photograph of this strand next to that photograph. Yes. And we were like, the quality of the rose quartz here is better, is actually yeah, better. Yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? It's so pink. So beautiful. That peony pink, that English rose pink. Um, and of course, it's a gemstone of uh, love and affection mm -hmm. and family mm -hmm. and self-love and all those things. So there's lots of meaning behind the rose quartz. Um, Debs, you've showed a demo on this, haven't you, the Capriccio bracelet? If you go onto YouTube, on the 14th of December of last year, it was my calendar demo, and it was an hour. And you know how I like to go on? I went on for a whole hour on how to make it. Amazing. <laughs> so it's really in depth, you know, like I had the time and I went through every bit and I did um, I did it in bigger bees to show yep. you and you know so um, people have seemed to have been able to make it from that demo so if you want to you can go um, on to Jewelry Makers YouTube 14th of December 23 and it's my calendar demo. There you go and you've got an hour long tutorial to make the Capriccio bracelet. Thank you for asking Judith. This would be amazing in that Capriccio. Now on Sunday this was a massive auction. We had 800 191 left shall we show you just how good of a deal it was you know, let's, let's be mindful of the fact this is not a glass it's not synthetic it's not a plastic or an, or, or an acrylic this is a genuine gemstone that is mined within the ground firstly located mined uh carved faceted mm -hmm. quality assured stranded transported broadcasted all of those things just be mindful of all those procedures and listen ross's wages don't come cheap <laughs> they don't so you know seriously <laughs> the fact we're here and we're not stopping here in fact that's no way near our closing price really yeah no way near the final 191 will sell out this morning. And the first person that made their confirmation bought seven. Do you know that's really savvy shopping? You won't regret that quantity. Because I, oh, I think I said it on Sunday as well, people will add to their order. Mm -hmm. Because you're like, what on earth? That, it's a genuine gemstone. And it's a versatile one. Listen, I mean, you could, you could 
just put them into a tassel they'd look amazing you could just use them as spacer beads or like a, a biography style bracelet mm. here's the capriccio bracelet that deb's demoed there it is look how beautiful that bracelet is i absolutely love it these would be perfect for this bracelet you need about 250 not including the tassel so i would get i don't know how many gemstones do you think on that how many show me 10 show, me show ten. you 10 yeah. okay hang on one sec two four six eight ten so ten is there on the strand so we've probably got 10 20 30 40 probably got about a hundred over a hundred on that so you'd i would get three strands to okay. be safe because then you can make your um tassel as well and then you know you can add into that as well i mean I'm, I'm, it depends on your wrist size so roughly 250 okay it took me i mean it was got, uh, yeah so i think three would be should be enough okay so if if we were stopping here deb's 30 pounds that's not bad for an no. exclusively rose gold rose quartz yeah. uh, uh bracelet yeah however it's not going to cost you 30 pounds okay N not by a long way really not by a long way so 15 carats sixes threes sevens twos fours we're at 9.99 lynn and kent's waiting with 10 in her basket swansea's waiting with five i'm ready everybody who has took the initiative to shop ahead and check out well done because 191 is not a massive quantity believe it or not we sold over 600 on the launch on sunday <gasps> four pounds and 99 i know wow. I, I, again when you think about sourcing mining carving faceting quality assuring stranding transporting and broadcasting all for 4.99 that is incredible I unbelievable mean, so if in that case i'd get four yeah and then you can definitely put your um, beads in the middle of your capriccio and it will definitely serve for your tassel as well okay regardless of your wrist size so you're saying four that's 20 pounds to make that bracelet 20 pounds and it's really calming rose quartz it's like the heart chakra yeah so you know if you want something to keep you calm to keep you you know when you look at it it makes you feel relaxed i need that so do i i think i'm i need, need that do you know what else it wasn't 4.99 what no it wasn't gonna those four strands are not gonna cost you 20 pounds today i know it's crazy isn't it i need that i need a gemstone because i get a bit stressed at the moment and i need to i need to chill out and i need, need to remind breathe. myself i'm to gonna chill make out. you a morse code breathe bracelet breathe yeah breathe i have a three-year-old who knows which button to press i've got a 17 year old who knows <laughs> which button to press <laughs> london's got 10 well done essex has bought 10 suzanne's bought five i've got, honestly fours threes twos it's gone crazy it's not your price you can make your Capriccio bracelet with an hour long demonstration with Debs on YouTube. And you can stop and start it. You can rewind it if you don't, if you miss something. I mean, I love that. It's basically DVDs at your disposal, aren't they, on YouTube? And I don't, I think I did it on my own. So I was, I just, you know, I went into loads of detail. I think I did it with bigger beads to start off with so you yeah. could really see what I was doing. And uh, I had a great fun talking to myself. <laughs> uh, you, get, you know, you, you get the right answers, don't you? Are you ready for this? <laughs> Linda's got 11, Sean's got, yeah. Three pounds and 99 pence, but. But what? <laughs> what, are you serious? No, I, I, I am serious. <laughs> No, I actually can't believe it because of the quality of it. I know. Like, exactly. It's not, like not wishy-washy, is it? We're not shoving out a bit of a rubbish old strand that we can't get rid of. This is lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. It's not white, is it? Lesser quality rose quartz would be white, goes wouldn't it? Goes back to her phone. <laughs> uh, yeah. I would, I would be daft not to. And also, look at the translucency of the rose quartz. Rose quartz is not, an, you're not expecting clarity like a diamond. No. But a semi-translucency. But as long as it holds on to that amazing English rose, pink colour, it's all natural jewellery makers. There's no enhancement to this. We're not looking at acrylic or synthetic or glass um, or crystal beads. This is a genuine gemstone from Mother Nature um, herself. Um, and we didn't stop here. 399 was awesome. Now can we understand why there was over 800 of them, yeah. over 600 sold on that morning? And can you understand why we wanted to revisit it this morning? I can't wait to see your Capriccio bracelets. Please send them into the Wall of Fame because we were smitten by that piece. Three forty-nine. 
Uh, you're right, Adam, saying is it even worth us bringing this to air? Probably not. We're making friends, though. I think people underestimate what it costs to broadcast because I didn't know. And then I went to work um, for another craft channel that no longer exists for a while in, in the management capacity. And I knew what it cost just to broadcast on Sky and what it cost to broadcast on Freeview. Yeah. And what it cost before you even put a show on air. Yeah. So it is absolutely amazing yeah. that something of this quality to me you could make that Capri Show bracelet for what it would probably cost you to buy the um, the Preciosa beads. Yeah, and exactly. it's a gemstone. Exactly, it's a genuine gemstone. You're so right. We do underestimate all of that, mm. don't we? I didn't even realise till I, I was in the management capacity of what, what it all involved. I, I just remember that once upon a time when jewellery maker first started, that that we weren't allowed to bring anything to air less than six ninety nine because it was deemed as non broadcastable. Yeah, you could have it on the website. But you couldn't bring it on live show because it was too expensive. Yeah, too I totally expensive. Get that. Like if you think about, it's. I think they call it uh, um, price per minute. Price per minute. So we know each. Amazing, really, that they have me drivel on for the. Time. <laughs> Well, no, when you, you know said I mean? about the broadcast, I thought that's a really good point. Yeah, you know, it costs a lot. That. Yeah, and yet here we are with a three pound forty nine strand of beautiful rose quartz jewelry makers. Amazing! You could use these as an alternative to a knot. They'd be lovely in pearls, wouldn't they? Absolutely beautiful in amongst your pearls. I oh yeah, I was thinking that, and or in a tassel. Oh <gasps> yes. You know, like a lovely um, long line necklace, maybe Love a large it. pearl, and then a mixture of these in the tassel. Yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> Tassel. That's my interpretation. We knew dance what for we tassel. knew what you meant. What? <laughs> I was going to L tassel. <laughs> love it. I love it. Um, I'm gonna leave that with you. Remember, you got the rest of the hour to make your confirmations or until stocks last. Um, let me show you the bangle boxes. I'm so excited about these because I do. I've always been a massive advocate of how you gift your jewellery. Mm. If you are gifting or if you're making it for yourself, gifting it for yourself. I think how you present your jewellery sends. Um, a message definitely, effectively a definitely. subliminal message you know without verbalizing it by putting them in these boxes you are saying it's a high quality piece of jewelry definitely. or high quality gemstone but having having worked in jeweler shops these would be an upgrade on your usual box and they would yeah. normally come with quite an uh, you know an extra price tag now I'll tell you again the price of these is ridiculous it's so affordable they're velvet can you see that? So pretty. Items number one and two, we've got it in this lovely kind of raspberry red, and then we've got this beautiful teal. Um, so they're coming your way. Not yet, though. Let's do some beautiful tags. Now, if you do your artisanal market, if you do your craft fairs, um, if you're gifting and you want to highlight the gemstone maybe and the actual precious metal that you're working with if or the size. If you want to name your strands, if you want to name put, them. you know, like you want to, if you keep your strands for your jewellery maker and you want to remember what you paid for them and what they are. That's a good idea. Then you can pop this on the end of the strand or, or even on the packet if you're going to leave packet. it in there. Yeah, because they look like a little bone or a dumbbell, <laughs> yeah, don't they? they? Um, and the idea is that the two circles join together, obviously. They fold on themselves around the piece of jewellery or the gemstone strand or whatever it might be. Now, we do have these in two colours, but just so you know, I've got them in the white and I've got them in this kind of uh, um, goldy like colour. So we're going to start, it's described as brown. I'm going to say more gold. I think it's got quite a vintage vibe, like my yeah. last store that I did. I had books open and I just made some of my jewellery on the books, so it had quite a vintage vibe. Yeah. And I think I would have gone for these rather than the white because it went with the aesthetic of my stall. Mm -hmm. So I think depending on your stand, what's going to go with your display? What's going to go with what you're trying to say with your with your display? Yeah, your branding effectively, yeah. isn't yeah. it? What's your what's your brand? Mm. How you know how you're right, how you actually display things. Mm. If it's more boho chic, then probably something like this. If it's a bit more don't even know if it's maybe a little bit more simple then maybe go for the the white yes um i guess um anyway but look you get a whole reel of these so 500 handy. in total so handy and so much easier than putting like the little doing like the lark's head knot with the cord tags so and they're harder to get off as well aren't they yeah you can just snip these and gently open them well we use a version of these don't we yeah you know when our pieces arrive they usually have a version of these four pounds and 99 pence no way near says producer ross how about <sighs> 199 do you know i wish <laughs> ross i wish these were on air last week 
I would 100% have bought some of these last week because I need them for, I'm doing like a make along with the um, children at Willow School on Friday, um, which the designers have very kindly helped me with. Um, and it would just be nice to be able to gift on, put them on there what the gemstones is they're actually working with. Never mind, never, never mind. Get them now. I don't think I'd, they, would they be with me by Friday? Probably not. Do you reckon I can have them by the end of the show? Can I? Right, I will join you then. Um, because, I mean, it's perfect to be able to display what they are, what the gemstone is, what the precious metal is, what the price is if you're selling. Are they taking the bracelet away with them off they've made it or are they, they going to get it back after? Because you might, you could use that to put the name on. Uh, no, they're taking it with them. Oh, good. So we're doing it by the year. I am slightly nervous because we've got half an hour with each year. That's, oh, <laughs> by the time you've got them to sit down and sit down go <laughs> go make your bracelets yeah it is it's going to be chaos but fun i do think it's fun and they're, they're um i've bought some of the little chiffon bags so they're going to be walking away with those as well oh. and for their for their for their superwoman what's that i uh, um i would have been happy to i loved it yeah I, like I, it's a long commute for our debs that isn't it it is it is a long commute anyway let's bring mm. you the white version um 199 for these as well lots of you have shopped ahead on them as also that's awesome for 500 tags i think it's really helping you know our viewers a lot of our viewers have jewelry businesses yeah um and i think things like this are just helpful yeah you don't have to go like looking everywhere and trying to find what you need. It, it's here for you. Price, little little tags. Like I used to, when I had my jewellery business, you know the little little paper ones mm -hmm. that look almost like a dog tag and then they have the cord? Yeah. I used to use those. Me too. But they're so fiddly to actually put on. And they can make it look on. horrible as well, can't yeah. you? know, when you've got that hanging off of it, you're yeah. like... Mm. Like a little string. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't look great. Whereas these look much, much more professional. Um, I know if I had the ch chance, I'd have definitely used these. And also if you're trying on jewellery, like rings and things, it it's not going to get in the way. No. Um, one ninety nine. Well done. How many have we got, Roscoe? We, we had a hundred, but we're massively over allocated. He says. Well done. Don't forget your boxes. Shop ahead on those. Um, here they are. You've got the teal, and you've got your raspberry red. Don't forget the Doolong Jade that we're bringing you. It's brand new. It's a premiere with the most amazing transparency, uh, or translucency, sorry. Um, this is a, a new location to us. We've never brought it to you before. Although Doolong has, always, has been mine for a period of time, um, it was more than likely, because the location wasn't as well known, was more than likely branded as Burmese. Obviously, we know that's closed, so it is Doolong, exclusively Doolong. Um, but actually, it was mentioned, I think, Stanley you actually said probably the finest examples of what we previously knew as Burmese were most most likely from this location and oh, nice. um, because you can really see that translucency it's totally natural totally natural do long jadeite that's coming up I've got 30 of those by the way so not that many um, but just before we dive into the boxes I also want to show you these now this is are we bringing them now okay this is all we have in the business I've learned that our lovely Debs and Daisy have got one of these. Mm -hmm. um, it was a very exciting parcel that, remember we've told you the story about how we've, bu we've bought, well, we, it's Royal We, Steve and uh, um, Bernard have actually bought parcels together, mm -hmm. they buy Jadeite blind. Um, and then they could obviously fashion it in how they want. They split the parcel in two, so Bernard has his and, and, and Gemporia had theirs. Um, this, there was a selection, a very small quantity that were, carved to include some of the actual um, host, not host, sorry, the skin of the boulder. So there's lavenders in here, there's sometimes reds in there as well, but there was only a handful of them. Each and every single one of your, look at the green from there, natural no. jadeite will be unique. They will be. That's the joy of, of genuine gemstones. You know, if they all look exactly the same, if they all have the same markings, then alarm bells should really be ringing mm. that they're not natural or maybe even not genuine. 
Um, so as you can see, there are slight differences within their style. Now, this is the final seven. It's the most incredible apple blossom, but then you do get glimmers of your uh, lavender in there as well. Now, we ordered all seven over just to show you how consistent the quality is across all of them. You've got some which are slightly wider, <laughs> they're all hand carved this is the thing you know if you get um if you get some i don't know handcrafted pottery it's going to be slightly yeah. different than obviously um they'll be unique rather than a machine made one exactly if that makes that. sense and yeah. i think that's what we love about gemstones good luck to each oh, look at where we're starting that's already far too low but also, I need to point out that if you go onto First Dibs, that's number one, S-T-D-I-B-S. If you go onto First Dibs website, which is like an auction platform effectively, you can sell your jewellery on there as well if you wanted to. Um, have a look at the prices for Burmese Jadeite Type A bangles. This is Type A. It is totally natural. It is not enhanced. It is Gem Lab certified, genuine Jadeite. Be, be careful of certain terminologies or plays on words in the jade world. These are natural from the now, no longer being mined, uh, historically mined uh, location of Burma. So even here at £2,499, you know, if you know your jade out, you know that's a fantastic deal already. It takes approximately 10 hours to carve each and every single one of your bangles. And obviously what you need to consider is that this place, which would be jade out too, and you can't just take that section out and use it for something else, that's carved out by hand. So normally, and I do say normally, normally we would have to pay for the negative, if you like, to see where I'm coming mm -hmm. from. What's what's the wastage? What's cut away the yield? However, it doesn't seem to be the case today. At £799, this is genuinely one of the best priced bangles we've ever done. And it's all because basically it was from our parcel. We mm. normally we will buy from traders, won't we, directly? Jadeite traders. This was actually from Gemporia's parcel. We have the final seven opportunities. So if you've always longed to own a Jadeite bangle or maybe it's not been within your budget, then hopefully today we can change that. 60 seconds though, we're going to take it to an even more affordable price tag. I'm not sitting here saying that £799 is not um, a large amount of money it is however it isn't com com considering what we're actually purchasing it's not type b it's not type c it's not imitation it's not a more plentiful gemstone sort of loosely described under the jade umbrella this is genuine type a burmese jadeite and you can see look can you see the floating flowers this one here as well there's a real strong uh, sense of lavender. You've got, again, large patches of your imperial green. That's what we call floating flower. They're all totally and utterly natural. And when you get a chance, after you've secured yours, have a look on First Dibs and you'll absolutely validate, validate and confirm how amazing your deal is here at Jewelry Maker. All because we purchase very differently to other retailers out there. Like I just said, we have, oh, let's just say it as it is, Gemporia have got the budget to buy big and that's what they did they bought boulders um a boulder of this and it was split between um Gemporia and Bernard 499 pounds it's a massive carat weight each and every single one of these um is unique as individual and you can see you've got uh that solid beautiful oh look at that Debs. it is gorgeous I just sit and stare at mine you know like it's got all, di and, and Daisy's is completely different. And I love what you said about it being a completely unique one-off. Even though they're made of the same thing and that we're, we're showing them all together, they're not, they're one-offs. So yeah. you're paying for yeah. something truly unique. Absolutely, one of a kind. I mean, if you think you went into a gallery and bought a one of a kind painting, you're gonna be paying, yeah. well, who knows? Who knows? It's a one of a kind genuine gemstone at £499. You can almost see blues in this. Yeah. That's the lavender. So one of the rarest colours of all. So I've got seven. It's the last auction before I bring you those beautiful boxes of which I would keep one of these um, in. I have six left, four in baskets. The last six are going to find a home today. Oh, <laughs> the clock is ticking. <laughs> This is unbelievable. When we talk about heirloom jewellery, when we talk mm. about legacy jewellery, it's pieces like this. And you know, Debs, you've you bought yourself and uh, your daughter one. That 
to be able to say that we can do that, that we can actually buy jadeite, genuine uh, yeah. jadeite bangles. I don't bangles. think she gets it, because she goes to me, I love jadeite, it's my favourite, like as if everyone can just have it. But yeah. It's only because of the trust that I have in yeah. Gemporia that I know it's the real deal, and it's yeah. not only me, but it's been proven, and just that she can have that. I don't, just don't think she gets it. No. She just thinks everyone can just, you know, have something like this. And, and mostly won't really appreciate the, the, the value of no. what she actually wears. No. You know, because I know if I was to speak to my husband, he probably wouldn't get it. No. He probably wouldn't. You know, this is an incredibly rare collectible gemstone that is, after hundreds and hundreds of years of mining, is now mining has ceased. Exactly. You know, and, and here's a gemstone which has um, one of the highest prices per carat in the world. Everybody pays that final low price tag. Jewelry makers, 350 carats of beautiful natural type A jadeite. And that has to be one of the most affordable prices that I've ever seen on a bangle. And most likely will. Because the price of Burmese jadeite is not going down. It's obviously gone up ever since, um, ever since the announcement in 2020 of the mine's closure. You can do it, but we have only seven left from this parcel. If, and it is a big if, if you see a parcel, if you see Burmese jadeite bangles moving forward, please don't expect them to be 299. That isn't the price, usually even by our standard. The reason why this was 299 today is because it was, um, we bought the boulder outright. So um, what's that, sorry, Russ? You are literally getting one of the last seven that are on the T-bar. It's on five-way split pay for you, so we really are trying, you know, trying to make it as accessible as possible for each and every single one of you. Wendy, congratulations. Cumbria, congratulations. I've got Kerry, Leone, Deborah, Lancashire, and also a new customer there as well in the process of speaking to our call center. You will get one of these seven, and they're all absolutely amazing absolutely beautiful it's a massive carrot weight for a bangle an absolutely huge carrot weight remember you've got what less than 10 minutes on this hour get it home use your 30 day money back guarantee we're over allocated by four so once these are gone they're gone kerry and dorset congratulations to you london's there as well that is uh, is that not the most inexpensive jade out bundle that we've done it's got to be the most affordable, I should have said, sorry. If you love, love, love this, then make sure you're watching at nine o'clock as well for your new long jadeite. Um, it's unbelievable, the translucency is unbelievable, but very different as well. I've got just two of these left, so I'm gonna leave that with you because we're over allocated on it, amazing. Now, it is time, I can keep that on, can't I? Yeah. Um, now, it is time for your amazing, something like this, for example, I would keep in one of these. Yeah because you know you want to look after your greatest treasures it's absolutely stunning isn't it one of those gems that you just literally want very tactile you just want yeah, to fit, like stroke almost comforting yeah it is it mm. is um so your early bird is up next jewelry makers i i'm so certain these are going to sell out so certain i the first time i saw this design of box with it was with those pearls that I brought you the other day, genuinely, they're still in my head how amazing those pearls are. But this is the bangle version. If you gift, if you make something extra special and you want to, you know, offer it to one of your nearest and dearest, how you present it, I think, speaks volumes. But also for your own jewellery, if you've got something that's particularly sentimental or particularly valuable like this, then it's how you look after it. Do not go anywhere. Shop ahead on either of the colourways. Early bird next. <music> Again, if you go into a... Th this one's giving me definite Cartier vibes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Do you see where I'm coming from? It's the colouring. But if you go into any jewellers, they will tend they tend to have their branded box, don't they? Yeah. And if you don't want to gift it in the branded box or you just want that piece to look that little bit more luxurious, you can usually, anyway, not all jewellers, I don't think, but some jewellers will allow you to kind of upgrade. So you can upgrade to velvet, you can upgrade to wooden boxes as well. This would be, the, the I think, the pinnacle grade because the fact that it is this lovely plush velvet and the fact that it opens literally like a book, just stunning, stunning, stunning. Now, you have shopped ahead on these, and I'm not surprised. We've got it in the raspberry, and we've got it in the teal. Which would you like me to start with, Roscoe? Either or. I'll let Debs choose. Which we start with? 
teal. Right, there you go. Let's do that then. Are you ready? So basically you have this kind of popper button. Let me just remove this. You have your silica, which I would remove that obviously. But opens up like so. And then you've got further poppers in here. So can I, if I borrow, I'm going to borrow your the long jade. There you go. So you secure it nice and safe. You know it's not going to sort of roll around. I'll just do the two for now. It's not going to roll around in your box. It's going to look absolutely beautiful. And then look, literally fold it up. Look how amazing that is in terms of its actual presentation. And also it's really looking after it as well. Yeah. Well, I, and again, it's so important, you know, we can get, maybe it's one of those, okay, you made the piece of jewelry, but there's nothing wrong with chiffon bags. As I said, we've got no. chiffon bags for, 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 for the school. However, if you are looking for that presentation for mm. the ultimate piece, yeah. and I do think it sends a subliminal message. It does. You know, without even actually saying the words, you're saying this is an amazing, genuine gemstone. This is, you know, a fine piece of jewelry. Um, you can put stretchies in there. You can put your silver bangles, single silver bracelets in there. You can put your pearls in there, whichever you wish. Even here at thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence, that's an unbelievable deal. We do have over a hundred of these, but I think they'll all sell out. I do. That's not your price. People multi buying. Tracy's got ten. Surrey's got two. Jacqueline's multi bought. Your uh, Merseyside's multi bought. Uh, Makers bought three. A certain designer's bought some. London's multi bought as well. <laughs> Leone's multi bought. Well done. I don't blame you. I would as well. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence only. I've never seen such a lovely box. I mean, I really like the ones with little pearl buttons on. Yeah. But these are a little bit special. They are, aren't they? This, this adds to the experience of giving someone. You open it, and it just—it's a whole experience. The box and what's in it just makes. It raises your reputation as a designer. Yeah. And I just—I was commissioned. I, I don't do commissions much anymore because I don't have time. But I was commissioned the other day to do um, a special piece for a family member, um, and I did. And I put it in one of our lovely boxes, oh. and it just like. The look on her face when she looked at the box before she even opened yeah, it. Yeah, you just know. You know, and then uh, and all the love you put into your makes, you want to sort of echo that with the packaging. Totally. I, think. I just think, you know, it's like, okay, I have to be, I won't maybe do it with the jade, but just imagine if I had like a, 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 a bangle and it's literally just, I don't know, so maybe thrown on the, on, on the table, mm. you can literally display it in this. Yes literally display it and again you know if i bought that back uh, that that bracelet or piece of jewelry and it's in just a little bag there's nothing wrong with that but are you really saying that this is high luxury no. i don't think so whereas a box like this you are it's not your final price jewelry makers again i agree with what deb said perfectly it's the whole experience you know it's that pretty mo uh, pretty woman moment yeah yeah where do you know that was was not um, actually scripted no, it know. was all impromptu wasn't it, it was Richard Gere doing that um, but it is the whole experience of actually revealing the piece of jewellery four pounds and 99 pence only and you know you, you can get the cardboard gift boxes co can cost you that yeah yes and this is a, another little almost gift it is isn't it you're yeah. almost giving them something to keep it in forever yeah because there's certain boxes that I don't know I put them I put my jewellery in my jewellery box and I throw the box away yeah definitely there are certain yeah. ones this isn't one of those. No, no, no. This is one of those that you would absolutely keep your jewellery in. Um, mm. Can I just make a suggestion as well? This would be fantastic with pearls because pearls don't like anything plastic. They prefer a fabric. They like to breathe. So if you've got a pearl bracelet maybe or a pearl necklace even, you could always double it round, couldn't you? Um, you could easily put them in these and I think they'd be happy pearls. £4.99. They are going to sell out. I'm going to move on. I like this colour. I do like this colour a lot. I think it's really luxurious. It's raspberry. Is it, it raspberry? Is. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to say raspberry. There's a definite pinkiness to this yeah. red. Oh, almost ruby. Yes. Esque, isn't it? Like Burmese ruby colour. So again, £4.99. pence. Look at that. You could oh, that's yeah. lovely. <laughs> if we were walking along Bond Street or we were walking down Hatton Garden, you've got all the posh jewellers with the security outside. This is the kind of jewellery box I can imagine them using. 
gift. I got one in each colour just because I couldn't decide. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, and I just think I keep my nice jewellery in boxes. Yeah. And I have got a um, Baroque pearl bracelet that doesn't fit in any of my boxes, so I'm going to put it in, in this. Perfect. And keep it, you know, safe. Yeah, perfect. Because mm -hmm. it's got depth as well, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's got height to the actual box itself. Perfect for that, and it's going to look after your pearls. No surprises here. £4.99. Loads of you have shopped ahead. Loads of you have got multiples in your basket, so I can see Patricia wants six. Okay, now um, we are going to duck out of this hour. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. We've still got the Nalong Jadeite to bring you. That's going to be excited. Uh, sorry, Doolong, sorry. Doolong Jadeite coming to the other side of this. First time ever bringing you the bangle. It is a premiere opportunity. Um, again, make sure you check out on your boxes your jade and everything else within this hour and we will see you in two Debbie Kershaw, I am back with you on the 6th and the 7th of March this week with some amazing projects. So on the 6th we are going under the sea and these charms are just absolutely beautiful. Paired with gemstones, they're 925, some of them are plated, just a joy to work with so I can't wait to show you those. If you have a look at the silver look at the really beautiful little turtle so i've made a charm bracelet this is your 12 o'clock project for the six so it's a charm bracelet kit it comes with some really beautiful charms and then of course you can add whatever you want to put your personal stamp on it also and on the seventh in the master class we have got this universe bracelet now i've not heard of these but i absolutely love the sentiment behind them so we'll be discussing all of the meaning and the story behind those bracelets on the seventh as well so i hope you can join me i'm really excited to see you on the sixth and seventh at jm that I'm back in the studio on Friday the 8th. So at nine o'clock, we have some beautiful little bee charms. They're bound to get you buzzing with excitement. Um, they come in three colorways and they have little tiny teardrops that you set yourself. They're very cute. You don't want to miss those. Very on trend. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, so they're really exciting projects actually. So when you start making with them, the more ideas you get, so it's a pack of five, I think it's five, five decorative strips and they come with end caps as well because we know that cuffs are going to be big this year. Um, I really hope you can join us. I'm so excited to be back. We will be with Carol and Tom and the rest of the team. So really hope you can join me and I will see you there. I'm Debbie Kershaw and I've been with Jewelry Maker since almost the beginning actually. Um, I've been making jewelry now for over 15 years. I get most of my inspiration from nature if I'm honest. Um, I'm a bit of a hippie so I like a floral design. I get a lot of inspiration from the colours of nature, from the textures of nature and that's where I find most of my inspiration for my designs. My favourite medium is like trying to ask me how to pick my favourite child. <laughs> um, Depends. I absolutely love metal work, but equally I love seed beading. So it depends on what day you catch me, what my favourite technique is. It changes all the time. I think Jewelry Maker has evolved in an incredible way. I mean, just through the sheer volume of products and the diversity of products that we get to bring to the audience now, 
is amazing. I mean, we're doing metal work. We never used to do that. Just incredible gemstones and incredible techniques. It's almost like every technique out there has been shown on Jewelry Maker because, you know, it's dedicated channel to making jewelry, which is amazing. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Is it over? Oh, good. You don't like that, VT, do you? No. I no, don't I like know why, because you, you look so beautiful. Well, I don't watch myself on telly, and then when it comes on the monitor, I have to see myself. Yeah. <laughs> so I just hide behind I know the piece what you paper. Mean. I know what you mean. Hello. She's, look, <laughs> I've told her she always looks beautiful. But you know, it's like anything. It's like when you hear your voice back, it doesn't sound like yeah. you think it sounds. It's yes. Just... Totally get it. Totally do understand, but you it. do look amazing. So stop it. Stop, stop it. it. Stop it right now. Stop it. That's where you need to put a Morse code. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> right then, coming <laughs> up within this hour, we've got the most amazing inspiration from our lovely Debs. Written instructions, and it's all about some beautiful charms. Oh, you got to love a charm bracelet. It's like one of the probably first things that I ever made, and I've been making them all the way through my career. Yeah. They've now come massively back into fashion. Yes. And my daughter said, can you make me some charm bracelets? Yeah, well, it's just, so they've, they've been tagged already, have they? Yeah. Earmarked already. She hasn't already. seen these yet. But, Has she um, not? No. Um, these are really beautiful. Oh, I love so those ones with the gemstones. They're amazing. They're, um, yeah, and it's under the sea theme. So of course you could make a necklace. Under the sea. You could make a necklace. Yeah. Or, yeah. You can make stacker bracelets. Yeah. So the three bracelets at the other end are the ones. Beautiful. I also think they'd look amazing with that rose quartz strand that we had just a few moments ago oh, as well. So, and do you know what I loved about these charms is they've been kind of etched, so they've got lots of detail on. So the little turtle has got his little shell, yeah. and then you've got the starfish has got like the little spiny starfishness. Yeah, <laughs> and the shell has got the little shell um, so it's, uh, detail. Really so detailed. Really lovely. Yeah. Not just the outline shape. No. So um, these projects are available uh, um, in a few moments' time. So you'll also get Deb's amazing instructions. But as promised, let's bring you the Dulong Jade. Ooh, yeah. Now, some time ago, in um, in my absence, actually, Dave launched this incredible parcel. Um, Sadly, during that launch, this bangle was not actually available. It hadn't landed. Um, because believe it or not, they don't always arrive at exactly the same no. time. However, the launch went ahead and it absolutely flew as we expected. So, um, Doolong is, if we were to show you a map, Doolong is very close to uh, um, where previous, mine, uh, previous mining has been in Kachin State. Um, so I believe it's kind of just over the border. So you can see there Myanmar and you can see Kachin State where, you know, historically we've sourced the, the bulk of our Burmese um, jadeite. Now we do know now that the mining operation has ceased after 800 years. So, you know, that's historic. That statement alone is yeah. historic. However, um, this location, Dulong, is just outside that location. and. Because it wasn't as widely known as Burmese jadeite, it usually was, because it's in the same proximity, it would normally be, what has been mined previously had always been labelled as Burmese, effectively. <coughs> However, now obviously we know that this mine is, uh, um, is closed, your Dulong jade is being uh, so, uh, you know, advertised and well, finally getting the recognition yeah. as a standalone mine itself. And there's some of them are the leading authorities in jade, in jadeite, talking about Dulong jade. So here it is, you can see on the um, on a map, basically where um, it is actually being sourced. Dulong jade is a kind of jade produced in the Gongshan, uh, uh, excuse my pronunciations, but uh, Gongshan County on the border between Yunnan and Burma. So it's a different location to the Burmese mine. Due to the close integration with the local Dulong culture and the increase in cultural exchanges in recent years, it has gradually begun to appear in the market. So. Uh, and there is actually, now we know, a very distinguishable difference between the two, which I'll get to in just okay. a few seconds time. 
So again, if you look just here on the right hand side of that map, you can see it's very, very, very close to the location um, previously known for producing huge amounts of jadeite historically. But moving on. Um, Dulong River is a remote and mysterious river valley in the Gongshan County uh, um, in Yunnan. It is located in the northwest corner of the Yunnan province. The highest elevation in the territory is 4,936 metres and the lowest is 1,000. So we're talking altitude here. The original ecological environment is intact um, in the canyon and, it is a rich, and it's rich in natural resources. The Dulong is one of the ethnic minorities of the small population in China. It is the ethnic group with the smallest population in Yunnan province, with a total population of around 7,000. It has a separate language and no written language. Wow. So, yeah, we're talking, uh, you know, it's very remote in comparison to, I mean, it's all remote, I suppose, but not to this degree. The Aboriginal people living here are the Dulong tribe, so locals gave it more a down-to-earth name, Dulong Jedi. I mean, you think about sort of how we, or, or rather the East, kind of market their descriptions. To just say Dulong Jade is quite unusual, mm -hmm. um, but it is a variety of your Jadeite. Um, now this will be a, uh, this gentleman's a familiar face to you all. It's Bernard, who is again one of the leading jadeite buyers um, in the world uh, historically. Um, he is also the person that bought that parcel or boulders rather alongside Steve, um, and also who took uh, Dave and Steve to Kachin State to Myanmar. The Dulong Jade trade exists between Yunnan and Burma. Uh, then it is sold as Burmese, which is what I was just discussing. It is very glassy. All of the material is excellent quality, um, but it is uh, broken English here, but it's very less in comparison. So I think he's saying the actual translucency is very different to what we would normally see um, elsewhere. This area produces all of the world-class floating flower grade, and now it will rise in prominence as people understand where the best jade is from. I believe it is my. Um, I believe if it is mined as heavily as Burma, it'll be depleted maybe two years. So it literally does not have the supply. You also think about you know when we first started learning about your uh, um, Olmec jade. You know mm. that also far less available than um, what Burma actually offered. So this is really a fleeting window, less than even your Kashmir sapphires. Uh, Dulong means top grade, there you go, uh, to jade buyers. It consistently produces top water jadeite. There is no opaque, I think, opacity uh, that I have seen. This is the most exciting discovery of 2023. So, you know, amazing, absolutely amazing, 2023. So we are in its infancy, yeah. really, of it being recognising. But straight away, when I show you this next image, you will recognise the difference. It is a jadeite. There is almost Guatemalan similarities to this as well, but you'll notice immediately the translucency. Um, you can see that water content. Remember when we're talking about jade, it's about translucency and it's about color, but translucency being the most important thing. Um, we, you often see on your certificates, we'll reference the water. So it's either snow um, or ice um, or a water content. You can see this here, complete translucency. It's never totally eye clean. We're not talking about eye clean clarity of a diamond. It's a translucency. So it's very, very different to most other gemstones. But look at the quality there straight away. You can see the distinguishable difference. But up until now, really, it's most likely what Dulong Jade had actually been excavated would have probably been almost packaged in amongst your Burmese jadeite because wow. it wasn't as widely known or probably widely accessible as well. Uh, will Dulong Jade, a rising star, open a new chapter in the jade market? Well, certainly um, I, I, the way it looks, the quality there is most likely. In recent years, it has gradually begun to appear on the market, uh, but the output is relatively small. Dulong Jade belongs to the jadeite jade species with a high hardness and strong heat resistance. The hardness of jadeite is slightly lower um, than that of Dulong Jade, but its density is slightly higher than that of Dulong Jade. Um, because the hardness and density of Dulong Jades are very close to all aspects of jade, it is hailed as the sister stone of the Burmese jade. 
DeLong Jade has the characteristics of higher hardness than Jade Oak, strong durability, rich color, and appearance very similar to ice type floating flower Jade. So you've, I've never seen floating flower with translucency before, never. It's always been quite opaque. Uh, but the price is lower than Jade Oak. Um, that most likely is because uh, it has, it's still gaining recognition. Mm -hmm. In addition, it is closely integrated uh, with the local Doolong culture in recent years. With the increase in cultural exchanges, Doolong Jade has gradually and frequently appeared in the market, market gorgeously. Um, it will surely set off a new situation in the Jade market that is almost um, a change of dynasty. We were talking about here, Burmese Jade is a dynasty, isn't it, really? Mm. We're talking hundreds of years really of history. Is. Hundreds of years. So this is... a a small offering effectively it doesn't offer the same quantities that Burmese has done and it never will two years is extremely fleeting now uh, one person I would certainly look for advice from in the world of Jade because he's he's experienced he's, he's got generations of experience of, uh, of Jade he knows Guatemalan he knows uh, um, your nephrites he knows your Burma, Burmese and he knows do long and that is the gentleman Stanley Chu so we spoke to Stanley um, and he says if this was across the border if this was in Kachin and not do long this color this crystal you'd be talking six figures wow. um, this do long jade uh, jades are future heirlooms I truly believe that all the stores now in Hong Kong have do long in their windows. The price is growing rapidly. I'd recommend buying up as much rough as you can if you have a good source because you could be priced out overnight. This is a conversation, by the way, between him and Dave with the way this material caught fire at the Hong Kong show. So it's buy what you can is what he's saying to uh, to Gemporia ultimately. And, and that message obviously is for you guys too. Um, it was the first time I've seen it under its real name. Uh, and so the recognition is an important piece of the equation, maybe the most crucial. There you go. But two Ooh. years predicting mining operation. Visually translucent. Remember, Stanley's also the individual that said, Jade is, uh, Jadeite is Jadeite. You know, it doesn't matter the country of origin. Mm. Jade is Jade. Now, yours is totally natural, not enhanced, brand new. I have never seen floating flower with this level of translucency. Oh, oh wow. It's unbelievable, isn't it? That's so beautiful. You know, when Stanley said, these do long jades are the future heirlooms, he's not wrong, is he? No, not at all. I mean, you could just sit and look at that for You hours, could, you? you really could. Oh, look at it. I know. Like jewellery makers, these have never been on air. This is brand new, a brand new opportunity. Hand carved, totally natural. There are 30 in existence. Ooh. And it is, I don't know if this is something that Dave actually purchased when he was over in Hong Kong. Um, either way, regardless, we've got that opportunity and we know that opportunity is going to be fleeting. Get your certificate of authenticity because it will say not enhanced, type A, do long jadeite. It is a, a genuine jadeite, a natural jadeite with the finest water content that you could wish for. Again, remember, I think it was Stanley, what, I think it was Stanley or certainly Stanley's family that actually said, uh, um, newcomers will look at the color, which of course is important, but it is not as important as the translucency mm -hmm. of the jade. I've never seen such translucent jade in my lifetime. That's absolutely re uh, remarkable and it's coming your way as a big launch. Now, 30 available opportunities. So this is my first opportunity bringing Do Long Jade, but immediately, <laughs> I've always said, whether it's, be, it's jadeite, whether it's nephrite, whether it's uh, ruby, emerald, sapphire, whatever it might be, I've always said country of origin shouldn't necessarily determine your price. It should be the visual. Do you love it? However, I think we're getting an opportunity of do long Jedi in its infancy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So let me, if you're wondering who Stanley Chu is, you can Google Stanley. And if you read the highlighted section just here, 
There you are. Stanley comes from a well-known Jadeite family. His legendary father, Mr. Chu Che Ken Chen, uh, has been in the trade for over 50 years. His magnificent collection of Jadeite is second to none. There you go. So he is almost an author. Authority. And Stanley himself studied in, uh, in the United States since the age of 18. He had obtained a bachelor's degree in international business at the University of San Francisco. In his early years, um, he was in commercial banking. So he's a clever chap himself. But the whole 50 years fam uh, his, his family have worked um, actually with this amazing gemstone. So he knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. He's an authority, yes. isn't he? He is yeah. an absolute authority. Yeah. You know, I, I think I'm actually holding the closest to Imperial that I ever have done. And it's natural. It's totally and utterly natural. Now, jewellery makers, we are going to give you a minute. There are 30 in existence. The price that, I don't know what it is, but the price that we're taking this to is absolutely incredible. Oh, really? I noticed Wayne stepped into the gallery. Um... Have you just had to confirm it with him? Just to make sure that that was the correct price. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Goodness me. Translucent. Look, you can see. Otherwise, the light wouldn't penetrate the actual bangle if it was completely opaque. L look at how amazing that is. Glowing natural genuine dulong jadeite that glow of green and you really see it's not coming across on your screens but you really see the floating flower as well yeah you really can see them it's like it's alive inside it's amazing yeah. there you go good luck everybody there's 30 in existence it's totally natural when we talk about heirlooms look stanley you his words these are the heirlooms of the future without... Oh, they're, they're heir, the heirlooms of now, quite frankly, aren't they? Not necessarily even the future. Unbelievable quality. And again, that wonderful, rich <coughs> bottle green. Now, on launch, when Dulong Jadeite was brought to air, this wasn't included in that launch, by the way, because it hadn't landed. Look at that, Deb. I know. It's Against the skin, that's mind blowing, isn't it? I've never seen anything like that. When you had the light going through it, because I'm sitting to the side of it, I could see all of the. What do you call them? Floating the fl flowers. Flo oh, I love that description. Um, you can see all the floating flowers inside. Yeah. It's like it's alive inside. Yeah. It's really beautiful. And now on launch, you had 63 to 64 mil. And then you had a smaller one, 60 to 61. This is that middle size. If you missed out on the on, on either either, then this is a medium effectively. Yeah, this a is a medium. Like that. But look at that colour. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's the kind of piece of jewellery that I'd put on and never take off. Yeah. Never ever take off. We wouldn't have to. Would no. You? No, because it's jadeite, you know, you've got strength, durability with that gemstone. But look at that colour. You know, ask yourself, over the past like three years or so that we've been really, you know, in, uh, um, in the midst of this wonderful sort of jade dream in effect, isn't it? That uh, uh, across Jewelry Maker and Gemporia, have you ever seen such an amazing natural green colour? No. Because, I mean, I love all colours. I love the fact you've got, you get your floating flower with opacity. I love the lavenders. I love um, your Guatemalan. But this is the closest that I've ever seen in a bangle to Imperial Green. Agree. What that, we're starting here at 2,999. Let's get this into three figures. And I'll tell you, we're not stopping there. Certified totally natural. Get that documentation. It's definitely worthwhile. Look at that translucency. So, yes, we are looking at something really in its infancy. I guess it's not, though, because historically it has been mined, but it's kind of been more packaged as, uh, as Burmese just because of the close proximity of it. The reality is, though, Dulong is, is different to Burmese jade. You can see the difference, can't you? Oh, you really can, yeah. With that translucency and colour. Now, let's start moving towards your amazing deal 30 in the world that's how many people can say there are 30 of my bangle in the world <laughs> yeah 
and it's a gemstone which is price per carat one of the most expensive in the world it's not type b or type c it's not dyed that's not heirloom quality this is huge price crash and i will say also this is not your closing price look at that quality again that rich emerald green not your closing price jewelry makers 399 pounds never in my wildest dreams did i imagine that we'd be able to own gems like this i know and i, I wish they could see what i can see sitting next to it because it's really quite spectacular inside this particular one i mean it's almost like you know when you put your head under water and you've got your goggles on and you look at all of the coral or depending where you are and all of the anemones and it, it's kind of got that feel to it you can get yeah. lost in it yeah you can there's a, the, the, it and, and translucency to be able to see all that movement oh, yeah, course, effectively yeah. you know yeah you're right the swirls it is, that's I mean? a perfect description under the sea because that kind of takes you to this peaceful place thinking of that and when i look at that from the side because i'm sitting here i can see it like yeah. everywhere we're at 399 pounds the five-way split pay yeah, that's good that's awesome, isn't it? And we're still not done. It's not your price. There's 30 in the world. The introduction, for me anyway, I know this was launched previously with Dave. The only reason this wasn't included in that showcase jewelry makers was purely because it hadn't landed yet. This is the medium size in effect. Look, I, you know, I, it fits me with ease. Um, first time to wear. We've got 30 available opportunities and we put it on five way split pay for you and it's not a case of okay well we'll wait till you've paid it off and then we'll send it to you. Mm. you you can be wearing this within the week how amazing is that the ultimate heirloom the ultimate legacy we know that burmese jade is no longer in mining operation hundreds of years of history we know that uh, um oh why have i gone blank i've gone blank i've gone blank your nephrite, which one is it? Cotan is also on the imminent, uh, um, imminent, imminent depletion. Yeah. So really, you've got Guatemala and you've got Dulong, and then of course British Columbia, but it's not the same grade. This is the finest grade, actually. That's this is a statement I stand by. This is the finest grade jade I've seen, and we are under three hundred pounds. All, the, all because we are in its infancy. Fast forward six months when the world becomes a little bit more savvy to, to what Dulong means. Who knows what the price is going to be? But currently, 299. Remember what Stanley said. Get what you can. Because the word, if you go to Hong Kong, it's all Dulong Jadeite. Yes. All of it's Dulong Jadeite. So remember that. Um, if this was across the board, if this was catching and not do long this color, this crystal, you'd be talking six figures. Wow. Okay. Um, these do long jades are future heirlooms. I truly believe that. All the stores now in Hong Kong have do long with their uh, in their windows. The price has grown rapidly. I'd recommend buying up as much rough as you can. This is his conversation with with Dave. Um, if you have a good source, because you could be priced out overnight with the way this material caught fire at the Hong Kong uh, show. Um, it was the first time I've seen it under its real name. And so the recognition is an important piece of the equation, maybe the most crucial. Mm. So get that documentation as well. We are at one of the lowest prices of any jadeite bangle that we've ever done. It's totally natural. This is not, remember, I think on this same presentation, Dave showed you, I think this is in Myanmar, he took a photograph of a jade bangle and he was and he, and he got the price and wasn't it thousands upon thousands and then he discovered it was that was it then he discovered look clarity treated so that's clarity treated it's not type a like yours yours is type a grade not clarity treated that was thousands in fact what does clarity treated mean um filled oh Filled basically. So like Fisher filled. Yeah, basically. Okay. Yours is natural, and you can see that you can you see can. the quality. You really can. After everything we just said, two nine nine is not your closing price. Wayne stepped into the gallery. Ross confirmed that he has authority to take it to this amazing Dulong Jadeite Bangor launch. He said, I thought this was going to be 699 or 799 because the quality, 
the exclusivity. We get a great deal, you get a great deal. Nobody is paying 999. Nobody is paying 399. Nobody is paying 299. Everybody will pay this final low price tag. Genuinely, I'll say this again. This is the finest jade I I've seen in a bangle. It is a bold statement, but genuinely, I believe it. <laughs> That's true. Russ has just said, That's true. in the whole country, you've probably seen more, more jade out than most people. Yeah. Probably, actually. Yeah, your opinion counts. If you Thanks. say that's good, then you know. I've seen, seen a lot of Jadeye. Lot of it, yeah. How lucky are we? In person as well. Genuinely, I think this is the best bangle we've ever done. In terms of transparency and that colour, if you disagree, just send it back. And that's got to be the best price. <laughs> that's ridiculous. I will be getting one of these come the end of uh, this hour. That's absolutely amazing. If there's any left, so like, the colour's insane. It really is. It's insane. Yeah. It's imperial green colour. It's not dyed. Well, look at that photograph there. Okay, so this is the natural Feichi Jadeite Jade jewellery showcased by, um, by model worth over 40 million. There you go. Now, uh, is it a Hong Kong dollars? Okay, but it's a lot. It's a lot of money, <laughs> regardless. Look at that colour and see what I mean? This is vibrant, vibrant, vibrant colour. It's not pale, no. it's not sort of um, a delicate green or a suggestion of green. You've got a definite, almost bottle green colour and it's totally and utterly natural. I'm not comparing the two. Look, hers is imperial, it's jadeite, Boomy's jadeite as well, as opposed to Dulong. But what I am showing you is, look at the grade though. I'd never in my wildest dreams imagine that I'd be able to afford jade out of this quality. No, and just, I don't know everything about it. It's quite a magical piece, isn't it? It really is. Because you've got those floating flowers inside. Put that together with the translucently, uh, translucency and the colour. Yeah. It's not like one I've seen before. It's so, so lovely. It's gorgeous. There's the floating flowers that Deb's referring to. I those. love those. I They're think amazing, aren't they? really romantic and whimsical about that. And again, totally natural. Totally and utterly natural. We had 30. Let's say congratulations to Cumbria, Jenny, Dorothy, London, Gary, Cheshire, Brenda, Donna, Jill, Ken, Anna and Wendy, congratulations. We've also got Patricia, Maker, Swansea, Jocelyn, Jackie, um, Maker. Maker in Lancashire getting involved as well. But I have got collectors who want three, which if you want those quantities, then you absolutely need to check out sooner rather than later. It is intense in its colour saturation. But remember, um, beginners talk about solely the colour. Experts talk about the translucency, mm. you know? unbelievable we have just out of the 30 Ooh. nine of them left it's never been on air previously before we've got five of you on the phone lines that need to press their option one make that four you can get this home today for an absolutely crazy 49 pounds and 80 pence it's incredible that i'm saying that south yorkshire if you press your option one you can do it elaine um i can see you there leslie's there i've got three more of you with it on your phone in uh, uh, on the phone that i need to press the option one i've got janet in west yorkshire as well the final few opportunities cumbria you can do it or oh, you're the same collector that was first in maybe looking to up your quantity i'm thinking maybe because were you expecting it to be what double triple mm. quadruple 10 times that price tag I think it is Cumbria, well done. Well done, you were the first collector to confirm and I can just see you've come back to get a second one of these. I do not blame you. This is our opportunity to get Dulong Jade Eye in its infancy. Uh, look, I don't mean infancy of mining. We know that's why we did. We, we, we uh, like to give you these presentations. It's been mined for quite a long time. However, it's the first time we're recognizing that Dulong Jade Eye uh, um, is actually very different in its appearance to that of Burmese jade mm. that's almost been kind of bundled together in that, in that location. And it isn't exactly the so, uh, same location. You know, let's just put that into perspective, for example. You know the uh, um, new Peridot? You know the new Peridot that's been brought onto the market? So, I I've gone blank again. What's the name of the new Peridot? 
Jilin, thank you. That's like a, a, a sort of blanket labeling Jilin Perido with your Hunan and your Chiang Mai. They're not the same thing. Really? They're not the same thing. Um, there's just four of these left, make that three. Uh, Janet, Patricia. So if you are Anne in Manchester, Warren in Hertfordshire, <laughs> Leslie in Highland, Lancashire with two, Swansea with three, Jocelyn with three, Jackie with one, and another maker with four in their basket. You can see the quantity literally live as we speak. Um, I've got literally three left. You, uh, get it home, use your 30 day money back guarantee, get a second opinion if you wish. Not that I think for one second you're gonna need that second opinion, you'll see the quality. 16 of you are competing for those finals three amazing grade the finest grade i've seen absolutely without shadow of a doubt okay now Ooh, jewelry makers find. i know it's a, it's a it's a pleasure to see something like that isn't mm. it an absolute pleasure do you know what else is a pleasure you and your jewelry oh thank it's true you. it is true it is true okay debs mm. talk us through your amazing makes well when i heard i had an under the sea kit i was like yeah because i'm all about you know the sea and the, the feel of it and all about nature jewelry so i was very very happy but when i saw the charms i thought they were a little bit different to what we've had before because as i was saying earlier you've got a lot of detail in there oh, and they're as lovely. a metal worker myself you'd either have to use gravers or your rotary tool or yeah. whatever to get that detail and i just think that they look really unique in that respect so you get three charms in each kit and i've used them all for this necklace because this is a really sort of on trend kind of design where you've got that charm carrier on the front yeah that's just um one side of a toggle class oh that's beautiful but you can also because they're all different gemstones and they're all the different kits but you can use them for stacking bracelets yeah lovely which i think is what i would would wear so the silver ones on the end were all made um from the same kit i added oh. in a few and um, some quartz but you can see there that um, you could wear those all together on the same arm, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, oh, I love stacking bracelets. So, so we I. were talking about how it's the biggest trend of 2024. Totally now. love them. Arm party. Arm party. Now we're going to start with the carnelian, which is just so joyful. Oh, it's gorgeous. <sighs> I'm loving these, Debs. And it's the kind of jewellery that I think everybody can wear. You know, it's... I'm going to demo with this one. Are you? It took me so ages. I cut them all off. Because the colour in the colour. I know, it's amazing. I mean, how does Mother Nature even do that? I mean, it's just beautiful. It is. It really is. So you get... Jump... Uh, not jump ring, sorry. Space of beads. Yep. You get... A, a pack of 20 space of beads. You get three jump rings. Lovely. You get... Let me get my tweezers. I love the starfish. I know, and he's got like his little starfish spines on the front. You know where they look furry starfish? Yeah. It kind of looks a bit furry, which I really like. Do you see what I mean? So beautiful. So be <laughs> so beautiful. You also have your clamshell. Then you also have, oh, look at this little chap, your lovely turtle. Oh, I love him. He's my favourite. Look at his little turtle shell. Oh, so pretty. Isn't he cute? Isn't that cleverly done? Yeah, I mean, there's no way on earth I would get that detail. No, it just it's kind of etched on, I think. I yeah. don't know how I've done it. I've had a really close look on all of the different colours. But of course, this is 925 and it's, yeah. it's plated. Yeah. So it's a quality, uh, quality project. I'm just going to take them off there a second because I, I want you to see all of them together so I don't think I'm displaying them very well. So here we go. So there's the starfish. There he is. There he is. Now you could use them as earrings because odd earrings are in, aren't they? Yeah. They don't, they don't have to be the same. There's the little turtle. Here's the clam. And here is the carnelian. How about, I mean, we're £10 per component. You pop along to that charm shop. You know one. You pop in there and see if you can buy any precious metal charm for a tenner. I think you'd be struggling. Now, plus you get the spaces, plus you get the jump rings, plus you get your carnelian as well. I mean, hang on a minute, Roscoe. The pack of 20 spacer beads for 14 99 is amazing. We're not done. Wait, they're, they are rose gold, sterling silver. So that's that photograph's wrong because that's got the yellow gold with it and it's the rose gold that comes with it. Yes. Just, just in case anyone... So it's the rose gold, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, yeah it is. I think it just it might just 
okay so you get the rose gold charms times three you get the rose gold spaces times 20 you get three rose gold sterling silver jump rings and you get your carnelian strand this is madness <coughs> wait a minute wait 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 oh, a minute that can't be the price it is that's amazing i think you're buying your carnelian you're getting all the precious metal for free i just think that's completely and utterly a steal <laughs> it is like, whatever way you look at it because these charms are lovely and the amount of work it would take to etch into those little guys after you'd pierce them out those little guys well they're little you know they're little. yeah and you can make your um storytelling jewelry and this gemstone to me just it made me happy you know sunshine oh, amazing wait can we just for one second one two three four five six components there yeah that's really two good. pound you're talking two pound for the starfish, two pound for the for the for the turtle, two pounds for the clam, two pounds for your twenty spacer beads. If that doesn't sell out, I'll be stocking up on these. Well, it's kind of I'd be expecting to pay that for base metal yes. charms um, with this kind of gemstone. That's an incredibly good deal. Unbelievable. How many have we got, Roscoe? Fifty available because we've got other um, colourways to bring you as well. So um, do shop ahead on that. So lovely, Debs. What are you going to show us? I'm just going to move, yep, yep. move along the Scooch bus. Scooch me along. Just move along the bus. There we are. Um, I'm just going to show you how, um, and I've written instructions for this because. With these kits, I think they translate really to being able to pop them on some elastic or just make a bracelet and crimp it. And yeah. I just think that that would be great. But um, I liked the, some of the charm carrier necklaces that I've seen around. So I thought I'd try and recreate that. So I've had a few bits and pieces um, to it. Um, the one, if you have a look at the one on the bus, that's made with the other kit. But I'm basically going to just show you how to make that with the carnelian kit. But it's just rosary links. I've chosen to add all of the charms onto this one mm. um, and have sort of the shell as your center point and then your little turtle and your little starfish. So you can have that as a, as a statement. And although I don't think it's that statement. It's a really quite a nice size. Yeah, it's very wearable. Quite a nice, yeah, summer. Um, it brings a bit of summer into your life. And I'm going to show you how to do that with the rose gold one that you've just seen. So okay. the Carnelian. So I've got the written instructions for you as well. So you'll get those... Um, after you get the kits, after it's dispatched, isn't it? Yes, that they get, yeah, on your order history. On your order, so you go into order history, because I was looking for mine, because I got the Rachel Norris stamps, and I thought, oh, I want to see how to do this so I can tell you, and it is, it's on your invoice, there you just click it. Yeah. Okay, so a charm, <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> so the charm carrier, I've actually used one side of a toggle clasp. Um, and if you are a metal smith, you can, you can make that or you can get that from your stash. I would keep it, because the 925, I would keep it as a 925 if you can, if you've got that in your stash. So that's going to be my uh, charm carrier. Now I think, <coughs> excuse me, it's quite important that you do get these uh, jump rings in there because it, they're just the right size. And yeah. this is the jump ring that I tend to run out of the most, just this little diddy one. So these, these are perfect. So what I did was obviously put the jump ring on and I'm going to open the jump ring away from me. And then I'm going to just pop that into the bottom of my... You've been listening, Ad. He's been listening. He He's does pay learning. attention. You open it like a door, yes you do. He's probably been having to listen to me drone on when we used to do DVDs. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is basically, this is made up of these rosary linked lengths. So it kind of grows as you go. Let me bring this down a bit so you can see, there we go. So to make those, and I've told you sort of uh, approximate centimeters and things in the instructions. So if you're needing to know how much wire and all the rest of that, that will be in the instructions. So depending on what kit you're using, obviously these are smaller gemstones. I don't think they've got any less impact with color because they're really quite, they've got quite an impact. This is a 0 0.4 wire. You could use a 0 0.6 or depending on the hole in the gemstone you're using. So I'm going to wrap loop one end, but what I'm aiming to do is wrap loop that to my toggle clasp. So bearing in mind how um, it's a little bit wider, the toggle clasp, so I'm probably going to make a bit of a larger loop. So just wrap looping, taking that over the top of my pliers, and there's lots of different ways to wrap loop. This is the way I do it, so that you end up with a loop. Have a little look and make sure that that will fit onto your toggle and it does 
So then once you've got that on there, you can then refine it a little bit more. So if you think, oh no, that is actually too big, then you can refine it a little bit more once it's on there, but just make sure that it moves a little bit. You don't want it to be clamped down too far. And then I just usually hold it with my pliers, make sure I've got the size loop that I want, and then I just bring that over and wrap it. Just pay attention to how many wraps you're doing. Do you want to see the wraps? Do you want them to be a bit more understated? If you don't want to see them, maybe pop one on. If you do, you can maybe put two or three. And just remember how many you've put on because you want it to be the same on the other side. So I've got two there and I'm just going to bob off my tail with my clippers. So you can see that I've got one side there of my, it's beginning my chain in essence, my rosary link chain. And what I did for my first one was a little carnelian so I'm just going to try and find the drill hole. So we're going to put one of these little carnelians on. There we go. And then I'm going to pop on a spacer bead. And these are 925 plated. So they're 925, but they're plated in um, rose gold. And then I'm going to pop on a pearl. So the, I did add these, but I thought, you know, under the sea, you've got to have a pearl, haven't you? It's yes. a clamshell. So, you know, that tells a story already, doesn't yes. it? And then we're going to pop on another spacer bead. On you go, little spacer bead. And then we're going to pop on another carnelian. This is where you can really cherry pick them because they're so vibrant in colour. They're really beautiful. So... Hold on, I can't see. Bearing in mind, I'm leaning back from where I usually am. Oh, there we are. So Debbie chooses the smallest gemstone to demo with. Of course. And I can't see at the best of times. So there we go. <laughs> There's my little um, link. And what you're going to do is, is just add these links on in a rosary link chain. So when you think about rosary linking, it doesn't always have to be just one gemstone or one gemstone and two spaces. Um, you can sort of have little links that are longer than that. That's absolutely fine. Another thing just to um, pay attention to while we're talking about rosary linking is it's always nice to have your loops going the same way. So you can see that loop is going that way. If you do um, finish the loop and then you see that it's going the other way, you can always redo it afterwards, which I'll show you. So I'm just going to randomly do it and not really pay attention to which way, which way it's um, it's facing. So, oh, and typically it's facing the correct way. <laughs> yeah, I can do that again if I tried. So I'm going to wrap that. I'm going to make sure that I wrap it twice because that's what I did before. And trim that now if i did have a look at that and i found that my loop was going the other way all i have to do is take both loops in my pliers and just maneuver them so they face the right way ah. so if you find that best will in the world it's gone the other way that's okay and then all i did was i had one link with this um on and then i did another link with three of the little carnelians on but when I used the citrine I did a slightly different configuration because obviously the citrine it is citrine isn't it yeah the citrine beads are bigger so if you have a look at the citrine there you can see that I actually did some of those uh, pearls on their own or citrines on their own because they're larger they're so beautiful well as we're looking at this amazing uh, project I love this citrine yellow gold under the sea vibes isn't it lovely oh it's gorgeous so you get the same three charms um you get your turtle you get your starfish and you get your clam have i got the turtle the right way no Where sorry there he is there he is yeah uh there you go it's just i was holding him oh um and you also get the three fitted jump rings um that will go with this and you get your stardust um yeah, i do sound like brucey don't i in one so I sound like him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then, and you get your 20 Stardust Spacer Beads as well. And you get your beautiful, glowing, natural citrine. Oh. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So liquid sunshine. It is liquid sunshine. It's very, um, again, telling the story of of your piece of jewellery because it's very like, um, it makes me think of summer days. Yes. 
Walk at the seaside. The sea, yeah. At the seaside. I can't believe we're doing the citrine for eleven ninety nine. Never mind everything else. And these are sterling silver, by the way. Gold plated sterling silver. So straight away they should be more expensive, shouldn't they? Have we got quantity? Eighty you never get ah, oh, actually, why am I not surprised? How much is I it? I can see nine? we've got eighty of the citrine. Nikki and Merseyside, that's our Nikki, isn't it? Is, is it? it? I think so. Why does it say that? Oh, Nikki! Nikki and Merseyside. Because she's inspired by the sea, isn't she? We're, ha Sam? we're having a meet up soon. Ah, that'd be nice. She's a very clever lady, Nikki. She's lovely, if isn't Nikki. she? Hello, Nikki. Um, hiya, Nikki! Says, uh, morning, dream team. <laughs> oh, morning, darling. <laughs> These designs are definitely a bit of me. So gorgeous. Take my money now. <laughs> <laughs> They've already taken my money as well this morning, and that rarely yeah, happens. Yeah, mine on too. Air. Mine too. Uh -oh. I don't genuinely. I do understand the predicament my husband actually have. Well, all of our husbands actually, or partners. It's like, um, I, again, what have you bought today? Yeah, what was in? Yeah, but I don't have that because when the DPD man comes in, I know them all by name. Um, he just thinks it's work stuff. Oh uh, yeah, you can you can disguise that, can't you? You could disguise um, it. Amazing. No, I know the delivery drivers because they've been. One of them's been coming to me since I started working here ten years ago, and I've moved house since then. And he comes to this house now. Oh, there you go. Dave. There you go. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Dave, Dave, the DPD. But do you know on that? I saw. If you are a delivery driver, by the way, I saw on Facebook last night. I was like, that's the best. And there's a delivery driver in, in America, I think it is. And every door that he goes to, if they've got a dog, he takes a photo with the dog. <laughs> And it's so funny, so you've just got this catalogue of him with these dogs like, eh. all these different species, what some of them are like, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're so funny, it's so funny. Oh, so God. I want to be a delivery driver just so I can take photos with all oh, the dogs. Oh yeah, I would be late though, because I'd be like, oh hello. No, I know, dog. I know. Amazing. What's that? We've got one more project to bring you. Sorry, I went all uh, dog crazy. Project, yeah, sorry, project. Projects. You know, it's it, trying to get us to change something that we have said for 12 years is very difficult. Agree. Very, very, very difficult. I was difficult. trying to make a VT for, for my kit the other day, and I said kit, and I watched it back and went, I've said kit, so did it again, said kit. Did <laughs> it again, didn't say kit at the beginning, but said kit at the end. <laughs> it's very difficult. Someone fired that woman. Very, no, please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Right then, the last of your oh, projects. The silver. This is so under the sea. Oh, and this made those gorgeous stack of bracelets, Debs, doesn't it? Yeah, arm party. Amazing. Loving the spacer beads on these as well because they're diamond cut. They're diamond cut. And I think also this would be lovely with um, pearls. And I, I didn't put Ooh, it with pearls because yes. you know me, I, I like to put pearls with everything. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> but, um, you know. Why just not? Gorgeous. You get your three jump rings. There they are. One, two, three, there they are. And here they are. You know who's up next. Uh oh. Mr. Starfish. It's Patrick. It's Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got the clamshell. And you've also got the turtle. Oh, I love him. Just beautiful. Now, what gemstone? Of course. Amazing mm. lapis lazuli. All that sterling silver, totally natural lapis lazuli with that wonderful cobalt blue. Amazing! Just the, the spaces alone, the pack of 20 spacer beads. I know. Shouldn't be the price that's on our screens. I know. But you get three beautiful uh, charms, and you get the jump rings, and you get the strand. Six components, really, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. I went to Glastonbury and I've not been before and I think I went for my 50th and um, was it good it was really good and we went to Chalice Well and I wanted to get something as a memento so I bought a little bracelet of lapis and it was this size because it's tiny yeah and it had a sterling silver Chalice Well charm a really thin one it was yeah. sterling silver and it was 30 pounds okay and that was for one bracelet with one charm but the reality is, Debs, that's not a, an incorrect and it wasn't, price, it? Is wasn't it? bad for, no? you know, what every, they were charging everywhere. Um, and I stack that. I tend to wear that in a stack. So I made these three because with the mind of wearing them together mm. as a stack. But, of course, if you're making to sell, you can sell them in, um, individually and then say if you want all three, maybe there's a slight discount on yeah. that. Um, but look at that. That's amazing, those yeah. three pieces. 
um, loving this and they're absolutely flying out the door. We had how many, Ross? What? We've got 200. That's good, isn't it? Are you ready? Natural lapis lazuli, mm -hmm. solid 925 sterling silver charms times three, silver jump rings times three, 20 <laughs> diamond cut spacer beads. That's ridiculous, isn't it? What, that's not, what, one pound 20 per component? There's six components, Roscoe. One pound something. What, just for the spacer beads? Yes, we, I, we've spoken about this before, Debs. 166. We used to sell packs of 20 spacer beads, silver spacer yeah. beads, just like this. Yeah. And weren't they 14.99? Yeah, I th I'm sure they were. I mean, I obviously can't remember exactly, but around there, around that, definitely. They were. Uh, but so what are you saying, that these work out at 166? Yeah, so those <laughs> that, those 20 diamond cut spacers are £1.66. That's amazing. Your turtle, £1.66. The starfish, £1.66. And the little clam. And your jump rings and the lapis lazuli, that's crazy. So if you're thinking that, say you'd sold a bracelet for £20, which is very good, and you'd have to think mm. about that because you don't want to underprice it or people won't believe that it's sterling. But say you did, you've got 60 quid's worth of yeah. potential um, you know, inventory there. If you added, you've got your spacer beads, you definitely get more than one bracelet out of, definitely. Out of the strand. Um, so if you are making to sell, um, it, it's a no-brainer really. <laughs> micro faceted gemstone should be the strand on his own should be more than that i get two of these if i was making to yeah. sell because i oh, look at that you know it's so wearable isn't it and you know you've got that lovely little turtle motif and it's a i don't know they're so just beautifully done uh name your favorite turtle oh he's that guy from nemo from nemo What's he called? Hey, hey dude. dude. Oh, oh. Ride your wave, dude. And he asked him how old he is. Yes. I love him. He's my favourite. And the little baby one. Little squirt. Squirt. Uh, he is called Squirtle. Squirtle. No, Squirtle. Squirt. Is it Squirtle? I've got a turtle and in my um, <laughs> on my dashboard of my Beetle, of my car, and he navigates. Does he? And when my husband moves him, I go, don't move him because I don't know where I'm going. He's like, <laughs> it's my navigator and I'm not, I'm not embarrassed to say that. No! And Nemo's dad <laughs> says, I've got no idea what you said, but you're really cute. <laughs> but, yeah. Yes. Favourite starfish? There can only be one, really. Patrick. Yeah, it got to be Patrick. Uh, clamshell. Don't know the clam. Uh, oh, favourite clamshell is uh, those big clamshells that you you had the strands from. Oh, the giant from. clams. The giant. Yes. The giant clams. Yes, That we definitely. had the strands from, didn't we, the other day? Yes. Willow had like a, a, a school play a year ago and it was, um, she, she comes home and this was like, it was like a scene out of Love oh, Actually. Yeah, and she says to me, Mummy, um, I've got my part for the school play. I'm a starfish. I was like, right, okay. Wasn't she a rock star? She says, uh, more, but, uh, um, yeah, a rock star starfish. I was like, what's one of those? A starfish that's a rock star? Oh, right, 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 right yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Right, so you've got to make the costume. Right, okay. Uh, and it can't be not trendy and cool. Right, okay. <laughs> so I think, get a Patrick costume. So I did, and she puts Patrick costume on and she's like, I am not wearing this. I am not wearing this costume. It was hilarious, wasn't it? It was funny. To be fair, she didn't really look like a starfish. She looked like something else. She looked very cool. <laughs> did, she ended up with like a head thing, didn't she? And a trident. Yeah, you did a headdress and we did a, 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 a trident for it. You helped me with that, didn't Isn't you? Isn't that funny? Like in the nativity. What are you in the nativity? You Mary, Joseph, the donkey. No, I'm a starfish. Okay. <laughs> That's lovely. There's a sketch about that. I opened the door. That the little boy says that I open the door <laughs> for Joseph and Mary. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. Again, will it? Will it? Will it? Was that you, Adam? Is that what? That was your job. There you go. Oh, I claim to Adam, fame. Adam had to take Mary's hand into the stable. Oh. Willow was a wood chopper. Oh, what in the nativity? Like, in the nativity, she I was like, "You make sure you're the best wood chopper there is." I can't wait to see Tiggies. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what she's going to be? Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. They've absolutely flown out, everybody. Congratulations to you all. What are you passing me, Dan? But that. It's <gasps> a nice box. <gasps> oh my goodness me! So this could be a bracelet or a necklace. Oh, is it the box? Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh my goodness me. It's the navy 
navy version of the bracelet so you had the square one earlier so this can be the necklace or a bracelet actually and then you've got the elasticated bits there how beautiful is that that's lovely i can just see a lovely strand of pearls in there me too me too that would be amazing you know straight away just by looking at this box that what is inside is high-end don't you i agree michael has just said it's a lovely high-end color as well isn't it yes it is and it's quite um unisex yeah yeah perfect um yeah you could you could Mm -mm. Oh yeah, let's try. Mm -mm. Thanks, Dan. Okay. No. Ooh. Let's do it then. Ooh. Dan, what a great idea. Yes. I mean, look, it just takes it to another level. Doesn't it, Jess? See, that can be my Mother's Day present. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be quite happy with that. I would, would be very happy yeah. with that, absolutely. Oh, look at how beautiful. Oh. Again, it's showcasing the pearls. Should we do the reveal? Do the reveal. You know, on. the Julia Roberts reveal. Here we go. Ooh. How beautiful. What's oh, in the box? Wow. What's in the box? Because she talks like that. She does. <laughs> and then she goes um, to get it. And, go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then her Julia Roberts laugh. Amazing! £7.99. It's looking after the jewellery. It's subliminally sending a message that these are high-end pieces. And you know, you look at that though, this colour especially for pearls. Yeah. Isn't it high end? It's it a contrast, like, you isn't know, it? You could present that to the Queen, she'd be happy. Absolutely. Or Princess Catherine. I think she'd like that. Absolutely. Too. Absolutely. I mean and and you know, your mum, your 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 yeah. best friend, yeah. your your partner, your spouse, wife, partner, whatever whatever it is. It's how you actually present them. I absolutely agree. I think that's beautiful. Me too. And especially for seven ninety nine, yeah, it's just like so good. you know, it's just a little add on extra price, isn't it? That you could and it just showcases your fantastic creations as well. Well done everybody, congratulations to you all. Beautiful. Debs, we could have put any of your pieces in here. We could have put your lovely necklace in there as well. Could do, yeah, definitely. Um I just think that, you know, like when you got it out, I was it, it immediately my ears pricked yeah. up. I was like, Oh, what's that? Yeah. It's either an amazing box or she's gonna open something. Incredible. There's something inside, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, it's both actually, it isn't is it? Both. You put some beautiful pearls in there too. Unbelievable jewellery makers, well done. Now, just a little bit of a recap on the uh, new long, uh, do long. I keep yeah. saying new long, do long. Um, it's going to take me a while to get used to it. You see, do long, 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 do, do long, long. Think of it that way. Okay, yeah. I've only got two of these left. It's the finest translucency that I've seen. Um, Janet in Devon, if you're dialing through for this, press your option one key. There are people on the phone lines and there's lots of you with it in your basket still. So Amanda, Anne, Gary, Lancashire, Swansea, Jocelyn, Jackie, Maker. Um, I've got two of these left, everybody. It is certified totally and utterly natural. Um, this is your beautiful Dulong Jade. That's the finest color and the finest, finest translucency I've ever seen. This location was known to offer floating flower. Um, but we've never seen floating flower with that translucency previously oh, before. So you can really see everything yeah. inside, can't you? You can. It's brand new jewellery makers, an opportunity we wanted to bring you to with the launch. Um, however, it didn't land in time. I've got two chances out of the original 30 opportunities. Get this home. You can use your 0% interest split payments as well if you wish. Um, okay, now coming up, we have an amazing variety of absolutely astonishingly beautiful agates they are all totally and utterly natural and we have the wonderful dave stepping into the studio so we have by the way galaxy agate Ooh. which i'm excited by and we have bullseye agate as well all totally natural now, I don't know if this is the purchase that was made whilst over in Hong Kong. I don't know if this is a purchase that has been sort of uh, going on behind the scenes oh. over the past few months or even years, but I know that I've never seen it before. And there can only be one person to bring it to you, and that is the uber talent, the wonderful Dave Troth, who'll be in the studio just after this. <laughs>
Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I just wanted to let you know that I'm back in the studio on Friday the 8th. So at nine o'clock, we have some beautiful little bee charms. They're bound to get you buzzing with excitement. Um, they come in three colorways and they have little tiny teardrops that you set yourself. They're very cute. You don't want to miss those. Very on trend. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, so they're really exciting projects actually. So when you start making with them, the more ideas you get. So it's a pack of five, I think it's five, five decorative strips and they come with end caps as well because we know that cuffs are gonna be big this year. Um, I really hope you can join us. I'm so excited to be back. We will be with Carol and Tom and the rest of the team. So really hope you can join me and I will see you there. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewelry making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewelry Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewelry making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show? Or want to watch one back? Then click on the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Uh, welcome back everybody now update Dave is on his way I think he's in the middle of a, an important call but he will be with us I promise um, in the meantime let me just show you everything that is coming your way you've got a little selection of very rare very rare highly collectible agates you have your galaxy agates and Madagascan white and orchid and then bullseye so these are all totally natural new acquisitions that have been launched 
full. I've never seen anything like any of these. Any of these. The blue. For, that's natural. I've never seen a blue natural agate. I've never seen the bullseye. I've never seen the galaxy. I've never seen any orchid. Okay, it's all new to me. That yeah. bullseye one's amazing. Amazing. It's just perfect. Yeah. Now, these are coming your way with Dave momentarily. But in the meantime... Um, I also want to mention, if I, if I just slide this T-bar over, can I just say, how perfect is that as a combination? Look, you've got the most beautiful Amazonite, which we launched, um, we're going to do a little bit later on. We launched these, and we have the last remaining quantity. So these are coming your way, but then you also have... Of course, the most prestigious Nan Hong with that wonderful, what I always describe as like a cherry tomato red. So these are coming up within the show. We also have the most amazing inspiration with our lovely Debs in the masterclass at 12 o'clock today. I've got some um, Ameth, uh, aqu aquamarine sorry, parcels to bring you. Sterling silver, I've got your Stardust sterling sp silver magnetic class to bring you and of course i guarantee these will be at your usual amazing jewelry maker deals inspiration beautiful gemstones and of course knowledge information in the know as it happens and that usually comes with one amazing individual who is here i can hear him in the background Dave is coming up to bring you some absolutely exquisite agate opportunities. But in the mean meantime, take a little look at what's coming up tomorrow. unbelievable okay jewelry makers the moment is here here is a gemstone that i'll be honest wow um i'll be honest i hugely underestimated but that was my ignorance effectively of not really understanding the rarity that it can hold and i'm learning more and more of course from this wonderful gentleman oh, you, dave Al. hi dave uh, um, yeah how are you you're back. I'm back. I'm still in a weird time zone. Yeah. Like the twilight. How was your zone. trip? Uh, very good. Very productive. Very exciting. Uh, you know, we got to see what's happening in the market. Yeah. Um, I heard a brief mention of Nanhong Agate. Yes. Um, just to bring you all up to speed, uh, I was speaking to a team. I didn't even know that you had Nanhong in the building, to be honest. Otherwise, I'd have you know, clued you in a bit earlier. But the mine closed in November, which is the, the only the only other mine. <clears throat> Obviously, there was the original mine uh, um, in Baoshan. They found the new mine in like 2009 in the Sichuan uh, province. A lot of people in that rural area became millionaires overnight. The price went up. We saw you know, a crazy price hike because it's a gemstone that previously uh, people couldn't get hold of, like normal people. Yeah. It was mined to depletion, the original site by the emperor. Yeah. You know, uh, it was the original jade. I don't want to throw that term around lightly. There's lots of original jades, but it was seen as the, the original jade. It predates jadeite, for instance. and. Um, I was seeing stones, tiny stones, um, at like 3,000 US dollars a stone. Wow. And the, the crazy thing is now that they're doing, because it's mined out, they're going back, and you can't really say mined out because there's always things in the ground, right? There's always like gem gravel. Yeah. It's just you know, strands or big pieces gem are gone. Gem quality. So, yeah, so what they've done is they've gone back, because it's so valuable now and the price has shot up so much, they're crushing it into powder and they are literally selling it as powder with the red really? color that's how valuable agate, agate is those ornamental stones you know those stones from the fujian province the stones from sichuan from baoshan these stones have tremendous uh, value in the far east um and it's something that, that blew my mind even in hong kong mm. even though i know you know it is expensive it is considered seeing the, pr the new prices for it yeah it's crazy and we've seen uh, a, a huge rush for other agates that are going to fill that space um mainly in the gobi in the desert there in inner mongolia you know, in, in different locations around the Far East. And what they want is, you know, absolute rarity. They want, mm. they want material you can't get anywhere else. Mm. And one of those unique moments is the what we call in, in the West, the, the bullseye agate. Yeah. 
Bullseye Malachite Commander Premium. There was a, a wonderful kind of uh, bullseye blue gem that I saw at Tucson that was commanding huge premiums. It's actually on my social media still right now. Um, and it was selling by the boatload. They couldn't get enough of it. And when you get the, the true natural bullseye agate, wow. because it's extraordinarily rare. If you think about Malachi, Malachi, we don't have any, do we? Not we don't here even in have the a studio. slab or anything. But you know how it has those, those ripples, those waves. Yeah. So if you think of those, <clears throat> as they form, they form in the same way that when you throw a pebble into a still body of water, yeah. those concentric rings just go out. And, and you think about how many of those rings there are, but there's only one center point, yeah. right? There's only one center point, but there could be millions, depending on how big really you break point, the, the yeah. surface area is. And that's the same with malachite, the way that it forms. So that's why you get malachite and you get those wonderful bands. But when you get the bullseye, you're getting yeah. the absolute rarest point. The, the point wow. of, of concentration, essentially, in the, the gemological profile of that gem. And so that commands a premium. Now, it's yeah. exactly the same with agate, but even harder to get because, as we know, agate doesn't necessarily have those linear bands. And I genuinely, like you, was quite blasé to agate. And then I started seeing things like this in the, the auction house. This is Bonhams, for instance. This is in 2020. This is an amethyst and agate slab. Uh, with the I formations, Gosh, that's and look at the price: forty-five to fifty-five thousand Hong Kong dollars. Wow! Right, for, for, because of those moments, um, as you go through it, there's another one here: Bonhams agate and amethyst specimen with that bullseye right in the centre. Wow. Um, then you see the malachite. Now malachite is a relatively, yeah, it's, it is. It's an affordable gem. Yeah. You can get your malachite Alhambra designs. We yeah. can get your malachite strands, whatever. But when you get the bullseye like this, like that piece there, they call it genuine natural bullseye malachite. 1500 pounds and pieces like that yeah, 1300 wow. pounds when you're getting those those moments within but the eye agate for centuries has always been extraordinarily valuable very hard to find extraordinarily hard to find and they're they're selected singularly like this and if you get a good you know defined bullseye in the center or the eye whatever you know sometimes they call it fish eye then it can command serious premiums. Now you saw what Malachite, 1300, 1500. Yeah. We saw the Amethyst and the Agates, the big, big uh, pieces in like museum situations at Bonhams that are like 45 to 55,000 Hong Kong dollars, so about 5,000 pounds. Well, here is the Kalos Gallery, okay? And just to give you some background, founded in 2014 uh, by Baron Alorn, uh, it goes on. They talk about this gallery in London specializing in ancient art, incredible pieces right you have to ring the bell to go in it's a specialist location okay and you know it goes on to talk about their provenance about their history and they have this piece here and that's five thousand pounds right from the roman empire this is how far back the 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 value for the eye agate goes thousands of years right they, they put them in signet Gosh, rings yes, you can see it yeah can you can see the you? white rim around yeah, the outer edge right it's amazing but then you see this, this is from the Victorian uh, era. Every era has been fascinated by these because just like people when they're fascinated with natural pearls, it's the absolute rarity. So yeah. you can't recreate it, you can't get anywhere close to it. And so any, any aristocracy, any emperor, anyone at you know, the Roman Empire, this is what they wanted. The, not just these, obviously they wanted rubies, they wanted the really special garnets, they mm. wanted gemstones, but this is a gemstone we very rarely hear of. And this is a strand of them. 2,000 pounds, superb, finest, graduated Victorian. This is Scottish banded bullseye agate necklace. And then you find this one. Wow. So when you get the defined moment, that's 43,000 pounds. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Rare, 100% natural agate, that's eye agate, painting. 42 carats, perfect rounds, looks exactly like a fish eye, designer gemstone, um, still in the rough form. So, you know, you're paying for a lot of the material that you can't use, the 40, you know, 42 carats there. A lot of it is still the rough. But you can see that defined eye. That's and then you get this, oh that's three goodness. million. Asking price. Oh my goodness. But Because you've got two of them there. You've got the one on the far right in the bottom corner. You've got the one on the left. This is natural agate. And this is Gobi agate. This is where they are mining right now. And all of the material commands premiums uh, because of the wonderful colors that can be found in the Gobi. But the ones with the eye that you're looking at there, they command, well, they have become the most expensive agate in the world currently. Yeah. So I'm not even surprised. we've heard many, many times about the Nan Hong being the most valuable form of agate. This is far, far rarer. And the reason I'm talking about this before we come on to the incredible bangles that we have is because we have a graduated, very small selection 
all of them premium mm. bullseye agate that's today. amazing like that's it and i don't know how many we have but i'll tell you right now not enough i've done this once before in a collector's box on jamporia and they sold out uh, on pre-order okay so i was doing another show put them on pre-order when i came to the the hour later they'd already sold out ah okay this is so the, the, the level up. of demand that we are talking about so when you compare it to that that piece there with all those lines the three absolutely million pound piece, and also and the you, colors and the colors and then you see that defined eye and there's two there so, it, it, I mean, God knows, it probably won't sell for three million, but that's the, the asking price, you can send an offer, but then you see what we've managed to achieve here. Wow. It's exactly the same material. Yeah. And you haven't just got two and eyes, location. you've got one, two, three, four, five. Unbelievable. So it's just, that, that, I'm looking at this, it, I've never seen a gemstone look like that, no, Dave. No, exactly, it's, it's absolute it's fascinating. rarity. fascinating. Very striking. Uh, very beautiful but I am just going to say to anyone um, we've brought you extraordinarily valuable gemstones here we've brought you you know jadeites and Tahitian pearls we've brought you rubies and emeralds and Pareba tourmalines from Brazil but just in terms of rarity you take price out of it mm. this is absolutely the rarest selection of gems that we have offered to you we have got I agate from that legendary location this incredible material with those defined concentric circles coming to that center point just that one alone, you could set and sell for whatever price. You've got five of them lined up, matched, from the same location, 100% natural and graduated. I've just heard the quantity. Go on. Go on. 200. Yeah. And I'll tell you right now, we had, I think, 170 or 150 on Gemporia last year, and they sold out on pre-order. Yeah. They sold out on pre-order. So if this is something that you want to get as a collector, you know, matched pairs, um, all the way throughout and then that huge gem at the center I, especially with what's happening in the Far East right now especially with what I've witnessed in Hong Kong for, with the closure of the agate mines in, in uh, Sichuan um, with everything that, that's going on mm. I'm going to say to every single one of you agates are on a, a trajectory like no other yeah. gem right now yeah. like no other gem and it might just be confined to the Far East but what that means is we won't get it in the West Yeah. okay so this won't become affordable. Even if in the West we don't see the same value in it, that just means we don't get it. Mm. As in, like, we won't receive it. It will stay in the Far East where they are prepared to pay astronomical prices for this material. I am going to give you, I think, a 30-second block. There's 200 of these, so you know how affordable this is going to be. Rightly or wrongly, we got an incredible deal. We didn't see the closure of the, the Nanhong mine happening. We didn't see this agate rush taking place. And I'm going to offer it to you, the rarest agate on, on the planet is May on I? your screen yeah of course please do wow <clears throat> oh i every single one just fascinating mm -hmm. dave absolutely fascinating there you go now you have 210 212 and 113 millimeter a whole parcel oh my goodness that's actually a double eye this yeah, one yeah because it's on the reverse as well Oh. 200 available and you know what that means it means if we want 200 collectors to pick up the phone we have to hit a very very special competitive price point and we're prepared to do it but that is why I spent the first 25 minutes talking to you about the rarity of it because when you look at it you're gonna go it's pretty mm. it's unique it's different it's novel and uh, you know it's only this price so I can't wait to work with it I wanted you to understand the absolute rarity that we are dealing with right now I love that. You know, you know, like the rings of a tree. Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost that same sort of growth pattern with Absolutely. these. David, but so it's, not, it's just not as simple as it looks. I mean, we've made it look easy because we've got five of these here. But I yeah. want you to understand how ridiculously difficult this is. This one here, look. It's front and reverse. You've got bullseye both mm -hmm. sides. Yep. Amazing. Yeah, this is, as I said... And that's natural colour? Yeah, and in the 12 or 13 years that we've been here at Jewelry Maker, Never this is seen. the rarest gem that yeah. we have offered to our collectors. Bullseye Malachi is, is a lot easier to come by, still commands premiums. Any gemstone that forms with that natural bullseye obviously commands a premium because of the rarity. But when you're dealing with this material from the Gobi in that special uh, uh, colour palette, well, then this is unbelievable. And I'm going to start just, just because... I want you to understand how affordable this is going to be. You know, usually when we bring you maybe Jade Eye or we bring you Nan yeah. we might start at £5,000, £20,000 sometimes, whatever yeah. it may be. I'm going to start at £200. 
What? They're, this is there's there's two hundred of them available. They're going to sell out today. We, well, yeah, we, and I know you were absolutely passionate about bringing the, the rarest gems yep. into a great deal. We've just looked at auction houses mm -hmm. at staggering amounts of money. But I literally um, a couple of days ago, I met with Bonhams. Did you? Yeah. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, How so did it I go? met with Bonhams. Uh, they looked at just so everyone is aware. You know, when we talk about the Imperial Jadeite that we're going to bring via David Harry Jewels, yeah. which is in the UK right now. Yeah. They tried, to, and, and we've got it on film. I don't know if we're legally we're allowed to show it. If I'm honest, I don't want to upset Bonhams at all because I hope to work with them in the future. And you know, we talked about that. But they were trying to persuade me to bring all of the Imperials that I have to Bonhams. Right. They, they, obviously, they take like a thirty percent cut, don't yeah. they? When they sell it. But they said we'd put that in the auction for 10,000. Right. E wow. Each, Each of those, piece. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to tell you right now when I bring these, there is uh, a high possibility, because obviously it's a, it's, a, it's a new company, we want to do something special, there's a high probability they won't even be in four figures, let alone five. Wow. So I am, and look, even if we don't make no money, we want to get our name out there, we want to grow. And I talked to them about, you know, my, my connections in the Far East. You know, I talked to them about, I'd literally just that day met with Stanley Chu and they said, oh, we, we love Stanley, we've worked with Stanley before. And uh, they were talking to me about, you know, why I'm so passionate about the gemstones from the Far East. And I was talking about how outside of Asprey, no one's bringing it to the West. Mm -hmm. And we got talking about Bullseye. Right. And that's why I've got those pictures to share with you because they got their iPad out. And they're like, we've sold bullseye material before, and they showed them to me, and the astronomical prices that they show. This this isn't the one that they were talking about. Apologies. This is just one that, that I found. But the ones that they shared with me are pieces like that. No. Oh, sorry. This. Ah. Oh, right. So, so they me. said, look, we've had experience with the bullseye. Um, you know, they can't get it because yeah, yeah. Bonhams don't have a gem sourcing team. No. They have to rely on people bringing them yeah. to them. A lot of people don't want to take their gems to bottoms in some instances because they don't want to give up a 30%, 20% cut. It's a big right? amount. Especially when you've got one piece. Well, yeah, if it's $55,000, I can't even work it out, but if you take 20% off that, it's a big, big amount, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. I mean, if yeah. you've already got the market for it, if you're a gallery, you don't want to do that. No. Right? And they, they were saying, are you saying you you can get you know the bullseye, the eye material? Yeah. And I was like, I can get a strand of it. Okay. And they were like, we're interested. I didn't have any pictures on me because obviously it's in the studio, but they, they were, I think they were, Thank you so much. I think they were just um, thinking I was pulling their leg. But I'm letting you know right now, I've got that gem on your I screen. I love that. It's insane. It's crazy, isn't it, realistically? When we think about what we are at right now, what we're about to do. I'm about to offer this to you at the most incredible deal that wouldn't happen anywhere else on earth. Anywhere else on earth. And you're at 200 And, and by the way, uh, when, when, I met, when I met with Bonhams, they said to me to fly to Hong Kong. They said, don't come to our London office because we've got no one that understands Jadei and the, the gems from the Far East. So I had to go to their Hong Kong office. So even in London, the level of expertise that we're bringing to you yeah. is still not understood even by the Bonhams auction house. Wow. And you've got the opportunity right now. And I said, look, you can create a strand because of how amazing this deal is going to be. So with, with how good the deal that I'm going to bring to you right now is, I'm going to say to you, multi on this and create a graduated oh strand because Can that you imagine? Will, I, it's hard to imagine because it's never been done we yeah. haven't done it uh I, not to my knowledge any well the one person's done it right i think but it wasn't the same colors it was from scotland it was a very different material it was more, yeah very different and it was two thousand mm pounds -hmm. right and it wasn't this material this is the material that wherever you find it it commands premium but i will show it you because i don't want to you know mislead anyone i did find one strand it's this yeah one. i'm not keen it's beautiful, there's no denying it's rare. Mm. Beautiful, that, that brown and white I know which material. I prefer though. I oh, yeah, actually we, we prefer, prefer that. These... This material from the Gobi. Yes. Right? The, the Gobi is producing the, the greatest amount of these, but by no means is that a, 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 a big quantity. You know, it's like saying Argyle was the biggest, quant the biggest uh, quantity of pink diamonds ever produced, but they still only did about 16 pink diamonds yeah. a year. Yeah. Like, obviously, the, the majority of what they produced was the champagnes and the, and the white diamonds, and they produced a, an annual tender of about 16, most of them below 20-point pink diamonds, but they were the biggest producer. The Gobi happens to be the biggest producer of the eye agate right now, and when you get those colours, when you get that incredible formation, it commands a premium. Each one of those commands a premium. If I can, I'll give you a 30 second clock. As I said, please multi buy because this deal already on your screen as it stands is a crazy deal. It's stunning, Dave. It's absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm.
I'd love to see this with some of your high-end films. But let, let's just let's. I really want to you know get into this. There's 40 carats here, yeah. and there's one, two, three, four, five, uh, whatever you want to call them, bullseye, fish eyes. You know what we're talking about this country. That's 40 carats as Four, well. Yeah. Right. I was going to say from that from the same location, from the same mine. This is what we're doing is insane. And and the, I, obviously when I spoke to Bonhams and I was talking primarily about the jade, I didn't tell them what I was going to sell them for. I wanted validation. I wanted to be able to say Bonhams will put these in their auction for 10 grand, mm. right? And we're not going to do that because it's hard to get valuations on jade. Why? Because most people only have one piece of jade. Yeah. Right. Most people only have one of these and they're so fortunate to find it. Like this piece, they're saying openly, we've polished the front, but yeah. we're, we're gonna keep it in the rough. Yeah. It's 42.9 carats. Yeah. From the exact same mine, showcasing the exact same phenomenon that you're seeing right now. And it's 43,000 pounds. Wow. And look, only one available. Yeah. You've got five of these. Fully polished, not left in the rough. I'm gonna half the price. This is crazy. I'm going to half the price. It's going to be wild. Um, but it will be one of the quickest auctions, I think, once you start seeing how, how competitive this deal is going to be. Do you know, it's, it, it, I've never... Just trust me on this. And it's one of those, right? Because when we're exposed to ultra rare gemstones, yeah. sometimes we don't have enough time to, to do our research. Sometimes we True. haven't heard much talking about it. I'm just going to ask you to trust me right now. Yeah. And, and get involved with this. You know, I'm not saying buy blind, but I'm saying to you, I do know what this uh, commands. I do know uh, the supreme value of this. And I'm saying, with the deal that we're about to do, yeah. take a punt. You've got, well, you still have a 30 day money back guarantee or whatever, don't you? Yeah. Okay, so absolutely. you have all of that, all so the, got the confidence. Days to your research. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But what I'm saying to you is, this is the one that, yeah, we've probably never heard about. There's another gem that I found uh, in Hong Kong that I'd only heard about this year. And it was a cashmere ruby. And it was about two carats. And it was a sixty thousand dollar star, and they were saying it was more expensive than the Kashmir blue sapphire wow. from, from the Indian side of the border, and and no one hears about it because it's so rare. No one talks about it because it's so yeah. rare. This is what we're talking about here. People know about the, the, the supreme rarity. prices of agate in the Far East right now, but have you ever heard of you know your bullseye agate from, no, from that never. Gobi area, the Gobi Desert area? Um, well done to Jackie, Virginia, Leslie, Beryl, Patricia, Lincolnshire, Caroline, Jeanette. Uh, we've got Maker, Maker, Joe, Maker, Hilda. We've got Linda and Maker Multi Buying. And I would encourage Multi Buying. We're at 20 pounds. This is, this is madness, actually. When you say it out loud, that's 20 pounds her natural bullseye agate. And they're stunningly beautiful. It's like a limey green with those concentric circles. Oh my goodness. I love the fact that we are learning about a gemstone that forms over thousands upon thousands of years. But I've never seen, I didn't know it existed. I'm loving the fact that we're, we're learning more about agate. And also, it's getting, it's gaining the price tags that it deserves. Because yeah, visually, yeah. it's stunning, isn't uh, it? I completely agree. But, you know, there, there's, 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 there's agates that are mass, yeah. mass available. And then there's these ultra rare ones. And, and the two should not be confused. Yes. That's the same for many gemstones. There's rubies and sapphires that I can buy you for $6 a carat. Yeah. Like, genuinely. And then there are, you know, remember when you, when you used to work on Gemporia? Yeah. You know, I don't know if you have them on here now, but remember back in the day when we used to have hot pink sapphires from Milikaki, yeah. and they were like eight carats. Yeah. Right? They were big stones in silver because they were diffused. Yeah. Right? So they were treated more so than heat. It's diffused. Yeah. And, and they were like almost crackled, you know, they yeah. were, but they had a super incredible glow and we were the best value. But then imagine what an eight carat, mm -hmm. natural, natural, no pink. heat. Yeah. Loop clean hot pink sapphire would come out. Oh, worlds apart. Yeah, hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, right. Rather than seventy nine ninety nine in silver. Yeah. Right. That's the difference here. Yeah. And I don't want this to be maligned with, and I don't mean that in a bad way, with other agates. All agates are beautiful. And I'm, yeah. But for me, my primary uh, uh, factor when I'm sourcing gemstones, because we have an amazing team. We have Wayne. We have uh, Georgia. We have uh, an incredible team here. Then you know, in our other company, we have uh, Andy and Rachel and Caroline. Yeah. We have a, a, a vast team. We have Steve and Jake. My, what makes my job is to go and get the rarest. So they're, they're doing big deals. You know, they're going by 60,000 carats or something. They're going by 100,000 carats or something, right? Which is great, but why would you have two people doing that? And my job was to go to the Far East and to go and get the rarest gems that we've never had in like 18 years, 19 years, 20 years. Love that. Right, that, that, that's my role here. That's the difference. That, that's the difference with this. And so we're at 100 pounds. I'll give you a 30 second clock. And remember Crazy. what I said to all of you. You still got time to do it because we did have 200. Multi-buy.
just trust me on that. And I'm going to apologize right now. I know Wayne's not in the gallery, but Ross is. And um, Wayne's told all of us the price. I'm going to be really honest because I'm going to go to that price next. And the reason I'm going there next is because I'm not done there. Oh, my right, because goodness. Because we have the most incredible selection of gems to bring to you. Yeah. In terms of rarity, in terms of... Un and I can't wait to talk about them, but they're far, far more limited. We're talking bangles exclusively um, in the next part of this show. But for this strand, and you can make a strand, I'm going to half the price, which is Wayne's price, which is jewellery maker's price, which should be our price. That's £10 each. It's my first show back after Hong Kong, and I want to do something crazy. I want to do something special. Absolutely. That's £10 so, uh, per stone. £10 per stone. Should we look at each one individually? Please do, yeah. They're works of art. I, this is what I love, is that you, especially with this variety, Dave, it's like a story. Mm -hmm. Look, and there's, there's the one bullseye. Wait. Because there's another one on the reverse. Yeah, and, and by the way, the one on the, 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 the fish eye that we're looking at is £43,000. Well done to the multi buyers. That will not have an eye on the back. No. Because if it did, they'd polish it. So it's actually left in its rough state. What they've, what they've happened to do here is actually cut off the one eye that's onto the left of it. Can you see that? Yeah, I've noticed that. There was that. an eye. And that's because there was probably some heavy inclusions on it. Um, and, and they're just you know, absolutely focusing in on the perfect eye. But the price changes significantly when you get two eyes. You've got five or, or ten here. Yeah, all of these some of them are double-sided. There's two eyes here. Oh, my word. And it's all natural. I... I Dave, absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Stunning. Right. Nowhere near done. Nowhere near done. But the next price will be the final price. Okay. And it is, uh, you know, now or never for anyone who wants to get involved, it is your opportunity to secure something that is ridiculously rare. I'd break that up. I'd have a pair of earrings. I would have the large one as a drop pendant on a long chain. I'm not an agate fan, but uh, I've tried for years to grab this rarity. Thanks, Dave. I've got those five views. That's Caroline, who's been collecting gems for over yeah, 50 years. amazing. Primarily jade, I think, Caroline, but I think you, you, like me, are you know fascinated with the gems from the Far East that we've never really had access to in the West. And you, you've said you've been trying for years to get this variety. And the one thing is you want to always make sure it's natural. You want to make sure that it's not mm. dyed or they've not painted those on because of the value that it can command. Yeah. Yeah. This is 100% natural. I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. Oh my goodness Trust me, me a multi-buy. Do your research in the next 30 days. Yeah. Do your research later on today. But don't miss out on this opportunity because you'll be thinking, oh my God, I remember when Dave actually had five. Yeah. A collection of five and they were graduated and they were match pairs and there was 40 carats in total. And he didn't stop at 49.99 for everything you're about to see. Crazy. And again, Dave, this is like down to your amazing connections that you have in yeah. the Far East. That's, you know, yeah. you know, you work very, you travel a lot oh, for yeah. those reasons. Yeah, absolutely. You have to. This is your opportunity. It should be your price. And I can see, look, I've got Patricia's bought two, Leslie's bought two, Jackie's bought two, Virginia's bought two, Maker in Lancaster's bought two. Loads of us are happy at this price. So what is it at the minute? Ten pound well, a stone, yeah. right? Yeah. Ten yeah. pound a stone. That's crazy. Okay, isn't let's it? do it for five pound a stone. Five. Twenty four ninety nine. It's half the price. Well, that's I just said a no brainer. Create a strand. Buy four or five of these and create that strand. Yeah, twenty four ninety nine. You buy four. It's still ninety nine pounds. What? And you've created a full graduated epic strand. This is not an affordable well, gemstone, no, is it? By any stretch, you can't find it affordably. Yeah. It doesn't exist affordably. That's the reality of what we're doing. We, we did an incredible deal. Uh, we got it over the line. We brought the first uh, lot to Gemporia. Wow. They sold out in, I don't know, minutes. Yeah, I'm and not this surprised. is your opportunity to get yours. Virginia, you've gone for four. Maker and Cumbria has gone for four. Angela's gone for two. Lancaster's gone for three. Patricia's gone for two. Another collector's gone for two, uh, four. Another collector has just gone for four as well. Congratulations. Paulie, you're there. Uh, Gerda, Suzanne, Maker, Maker, Catherine, Isle of Man, Ayrshire, Lincolnshire, Leicestershire. Mm. Someone trying to get five. Someone trying to get two. This is the, the only time you're going to see this auction. Unless we have one or two left, of course. Yeah. But I don't it's anticipate unlikely. that. With the interest we're seeing on the phone lines, with this unbelievable collection of ultra rare bullseye agates, 100% and, and, natural. And uh, news will spread, Dave, as well. You mm. know, the fact it's uh, as much a part of, um, I think, 
a news has spread. Well, well, clicked her in Holland we, on the yeah, phone Yeah, exactly. But yeah. I think, you know, it's not just about the great deals that we bring to our customers, which is first and foremost, but it's the respect yes. and recognition, uh -huh. really, that, that, that yourself and Jim Poirier actually get from bringing these And jewelry maker. For sure. And you're the the yes. whole team, all of us, right? We're all part of that one unique family and what we're yeah. doing is genuinely revolutionary. Revolutionary. Wow. Making waves in the industry. Doing what no one else would do. Yeah. Because we work very different. You know, I, I spoke to Stanley Chu uh, on, uh, well, whenever it was, three days ago, four days ago, and he had a strand of Jedi, like okay. the most impressive Jedi we've ever seen. I asked him the price and he said, there's no price. Like, I will not sell it. Okay. I want, and, and, the, and he's right. He's saying, I want to sell it because I'll never replace that quality. Okay. I can't replace that. Yeah. Shouldn't sell it. No, well, Don't even have to give you a price. I could just say, there's no price. We're going to have it in our museum, but I'm going to give it to you. Right? He had, he had uh, a strand next to him that was uh, 70 million US dollars. Wow. Can you imagine what that looked like? 70 million wow. US dollars. He had a 10 million US dollar sculpture. I was like going around his booth. I reckon he had a billion, no word of a lie, I think he had a billion dollars. He's a wealthy chap. Well, his family, his family are incredible and they have sourced the, the rarest and most exotic treasures yeah. from the Far East. And you are getting a rare and exotic treasure from the Far East that I'm under no illusion I can never replace. Yeah. Certainly not at the price that you're doing. And it would take many other uh, dealers or you know, gemstone experts or whatever you want to call us, buyers, mm. years to put five of these together. When yes. you want to match them for color, for, for that, that linear display, can for I those concentric a, rings. You could also have turned these into cabochons, couldn't you? Yeah, oh, quite more. easily, and set them into what? 14 karat gold, 18 yeah. karat gold, one at a time, you know, brought them onto our, our sister channel where yeah, we offer finished jewelry. I don't want to, I want you guys to extract the value of these. I want you to know that we're always trying to find those ultra rare gems to pique your interest, to, to make you fall in love, love with gemstones it. all over again. And this is your moment. In fact, you know what? Do you want to do a crazy closeout, Hong Kong closeout deal? Let's do a 30 second clock. I'm going to go lower. Shouldn't do it. Uh, you know you shouldn't do it when you've got people saying, I'll take five of them. Right? You shouldn't do it. If, if uh, Stanley Chu had, say he had a $10 million Jade mm -hmm. strand, and someone went, oh, if you can get five of those, I'll buy them. He wouldn't go, oh, maybe I'll drop the price. Maybe I should drop the price. <laughs> he wouldn't, would he? He'd, no. He'd go, five the price is the price. The price is the price because it's irreplaceable. Absolutely. This is also irreplaceable. And uh, it is... As I stand by, Gosh, they're amazing. The rarest gem we have introduced you to on this channel. The single rarest yeah. gem. I'm not talking I've about price no or value or whatever else goes into that. If you're talking about just rarity, it's on your screen right now. And let's do it for 19.99. What on earth? Let's go wild. What? On let's go earth? crazy. London's got two. Lancashire's got three. Oxfordshire's got two. Wiltshire's got three. Margaret's got two. Brenda's got two. Middlesex has got two. Gerda's got two. Louise has got two. Jackie's um, got two. Angela's got two. Lancaster's got three. Patricia's got two. Dave. Cambridgeshire, you've got two. Yeah. Ross didn't hear you, and I ain't saying it out loud. Oh, those. 19 pounds and 99 <laughs> pence. And I know why you made me do that because I can see it's mirrored glass, but I can see Wayne stood up. Yeah. In there. Um, and I can understand why Ross didn't do it either. He's like, Wayne's obviously walked in. He said, well, Dave said it. Yeah. 19 Literally pounds just wanted pounds. to absolutely show it. I didn't want to be the one that says it wrong. Can you imagine? Oh, there's less than 100 remaining. Okay, so half the stock's gone. That's incredible. If you've got two, get three. If you've got four, get five. If you've got one, get two. Or, or if you're there waiting on the phone, line, stay holding. If it's in your basket, make sure you're checking oh it out. Oh my goodness, so. The fact they're double, double bullseye, effectively, aren't they? They absolutely are, yeah. And double I'm not surprised bullseye. they sold out on gems. No. They're absolutely in, in beautiful. In minutes, in minutes. Whilst we were busy talking about another gemstone for an hour, these were just on uh, what we call pre-order. Oh, and they really? just disappeared. We got to the hour and it was the, the it was fastest gone. hour I was ever there for because I just walked off. <laughs> they were already sold out. So I was like, okay, that's great. No problem, I'm going home. There you go. Yeah, There's fantastic. your bullseye okay? Yeah. Sold out. Yeah, but again, collectors, no. I mean, I, I love the fact you're showing us photographs. Bonhams, the <coughs> likes of Bonhams, which yeah. have, a, a, you know, themselves actually spoke to you about bringing this to their to their auction houses. Yeah. They wouldn't be 20 quid, would they? No, absolutely not. And the, the, the great thing is they let the market decide. Yeah. You look at the interest. If you're outbidding each other, this is fastly <laughs> going to go up, isn't it? The, the price is going to keep ticking up, going to keep amazing. ticking up. Um, well done to every single one of you. I couldn't be prouder of you for adding those to your collection. There's 39 chances left. We had 200, which sounds incredible. Problem for you now is there isn't 200 of anything else left in the show. No. But we know there's lots of you watching. Wow. Hundreds of you watching. This is wow. going to be... Uh, 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 this is fantasy land for our gate. 
Like, I don't think you understand. I always say, I love being a jewelry maker, by the way. Absolutely love it. It's great. We love having it's you. It's fun. It's wacky. Yeah. It's interesting. It's yeah. exciting. Definitely. But That's it's also our put. worst. It's also our worst enemy. Yes. Especially when we're introducing our collectors to the ultra rare, because you go, oh, it's a TV studio. It's fun. Yeah. I get it. There's like these graphics on the screen, but you know, when you walk into Stanley Chu's, he's, he. By the way, his booth was like bigger than this whole studio. And glass walls all the way around it. You go in, you sit at a desk, you sit at a table, and, and you talk. Champagne. Yeah, no champagne. No champagne. No but champagne. No, Come no, on, no, I'm not on, no, no champagne, but sat there. And you know, because you, you're talking huge money. Yeah. So it's of not going to be like 30 seconds, you know, it's, <laughs> it's not that. No, but, exactly. But it's the same level Security. of rarity. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, you have the opportunity right now to add something. You know, I said I would love to have a booth in Hong Kong. Mm. I'd love to have a booth in Hong Kong and I, you know, I don't have to source anything else. I would take what we have here yeah. because we have something that is unbelievably rare and <coughs> ridiculously in demand in the forest, mm. especially when it comes to what you're about to see. I, I, do you know, I, and this is why one of the many reasons, Dave, why I'm so English. grateful that we have yeah, yeah. you here, you know, because it's you. so easy to underestimate that. Oh my God. It's, it's With our prices, mm -hmm. it's so easy to not fully appreciate how rare, valuable and special the items that we purchase are. For sure. And, and this is, you know, Stanley's. When we got to meet Stanley and we got to sit down in his booth, you know, you, you sat down, uh, sorry guys, you, you sat down, you know, opposite the man inside his booth, you know, at a table, uh, you, you, you know, looking at the single gems, those unique offerings, studying them, they've got a calculator talking about the price. You have the opportunity right now to be, you know, I had to fly to Hong Kong to meet Stanley. He's a friend of mine. You can tune in from the comfort of your own home. Yeah. Yeah, that's the reality. And get hold of some of the most incredible treasures in the world. And it's not smoke and mirrors. It's not like you put your number into the calculator, I put my number in. It's like, look guys, that's it, 1999. Yeah. Crazy. Nine. I didn't he, plan that, by the way. That just happened. Like it was meant to be, which is still crazy, 49.99. Yeah. I do like, I, I love the fact that, yeah, one day I can imagine him just tuning in. And just, just oh, so, there's Dave. I'll show you something else, which I think will blow your mind. Um, there he is. What's he yeah, doing? We, we talk because I want you to understand. You know, when we when we talk about things, and we get out there, I want to show you the reality. Mm. Yeah, we've talked about Tahitian pearls, we've talked about gold and south sea, talked about koyas, all gems that we bring you, mm. right? And we do these crazy deals, and you think the reason I'm telling you this is because I'm going to do the craziest deals ever on these bangles, and you think, well, that's not really different to the market. You know what we do for Tahitian pearls? Let me show you the prices that we're in Hong okay. Kong. Okay. This is the price of Tahitians. Look at that. Oh. Let me get it. So, here we go, pause it. They're the price of Tahitians wholesale in the market in Hong Kong. 10,000, wow. 12,000, 8,000. Right? 15 mil, $12,880. Sold singularly. Singularly. Right? And then you think, okay, what about South Sea? Uh, and I'll give you this clip of film so you can put it on your server, guys, because it's so important. But I'll just let it play and I'll show you South Sea because we talk and talk and talk about Tahitians, but I don't <laughs> think we've talked enough about South Sea. It's $21,000 South Sea, US dollars. Next to it is a 13 mil. We bring those. It's 14 yeah, grand. Yeah, yeah. $14,000. Wow. Yeah. And then uh, Akoya Pearl Strands, we've done those, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not talking, they don't ever get big. No, they're little, no, it's much smaller. Strand wholesale. This is not retail, it's not Yoko Pearls, this is not Mickey Moto, this is a wholesale booth. Okay. Uh, Kokoda Pearls, incredible company. $48,000 per strand. Wow. There's no gold on that, there's no silver, they are just there. You pick one, you take it. We have literally done strands that look exactly the same as that. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, what is happening in the market is real. And, you know, because I think sometimes you think it's all theatre, it's because we're on TV, it's pantomime. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you think, oh, we're giving them away. I'm not saying we paid $48,000 from them. No. I'm saying we cannot replace them. Yeah. We cannot replace them. It's ridiculous what we're doing. It's mm. the same with the agate right now. Like when you're being told it's going to cost you this much to replace it and we're selling it, at the, what, we just did that for £19.99. Yeah, it's crazy. And I'm showing you prices that are like $42,000 and you're probably thinking that's crazy. We sell single Tahitians, I don't know, whatever price, and they're... 10 grand wholesale which makes it what a $40,000 pearl yeah this is ridiculous oh my goodness me this is, I don't, I, and I'll be honest 
If this is my company, I wouldn't sell this. That's natural. Well, that's crazy. I've, I've had Ross and the team double check that. Since I have, because I just cannot get over the fact that that is natural. It's literally ice blue. Mm -hmm. and, and look at the supreme transparency. Yeah, amazing. I want to buy this. I would urge anyone to buy that. Oh my God, do you want to see it in the daylight? Wow. This is going to shock you. Oh my the God. richness of colours here. Like pastel palettes yeah. across the I'm going to give you a 30 second clock and if that isn't the fastest selling out bangle that we've ever done then I would actually, I would think we're probably not broadcasting. That there's something wrong with our feed or something. Wait, wait. If you're seeing what I'm seeing. I was expecting you to say there's like 10. There's 70 available. That's how we get the deals we get. But you have to remember, when something's phenomenally rare, when you go to someone and they say, I've only got one of these, yeah. there will be 70 worldwide. Right? Yeah. They've been yeah, sold yeah, yeah, 70 yeah. times by the wholesaler. Of course. We just go in and say, we'll take all 70. We'll in have fact, more. In fact, uh, you know, three days ago when I was in Hong Kong, I bought some Alexandrite. Did you? For our sister channel. And the gentleman had them, as you can imagine, in small boxes, like here's my six by fours, yeah. here's my five mil rounds, like boxes of like 12 and, yeah. and 10 and eight. And these booths was full of these individual boxes and you had to pick up each box. And on the back it would say, I don't know, $1,000 a carat or $750 yeah. a carat. Okay. And I said, how much for all of them? And he was laughing, he thought I was joking. I was like, no, honestly, like how, how much? what price would you do if I took everything? He's probably been taking that same parcel of Alexandra, maybe selling one box for, I don't know, three, four years? Yeah. And I said, I'll take everything. He said, I don't know, like, are you joking? I said, no, I was like, he said, I have to think about it. I said, okay, like, I'll come back tomorrow and you just give me one price and we'll, we'll, if it works, then we'll take them all. And so he had to go through each one. He had to do this and that and get the calculator. Yeah. Went back the next day and he was just like, if you take everything, I'll do it for this price, which is a million miles away from where he was selling them individually. Yeah, of course. I said, no problem, we'll do the deal. And we did the deal. We bought, Oh, I don't you know, made his day. Yeah, well, yeah, made his year. Yeah. Right, but made mine too because I'm going to bring Alexandra at prices no one else can. Yeah. So when you when we say there's 70 of these, it's not 70 of 10,000. They were the only 70. And usually what they do, like this gentleman did, is they'll sell one. Mm. And they'll sell one. And then you'll end up at that retailer. Maybe they're in Paris. Maybe they're in Shanghai. And they'll say there is only one of these. We've only got one. Well, how you get the deal is when you take everything. This is Brazilian agate, right? This is an agate fantasy land Orchid showcase today. agate. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's 100% yeah. natural. It's absolutely incredible. I've never seen agate like it. I've never seen agate like this. I've it never seen agate. It literally looks like a rainbow yep. in a ge natural genuine like, I'm, I'm just gonna say right now, I I'm buying one of these. Yeah. Like, you know, I was here, this show, for me, I'm here talking about these agates that I've got coming up. This one, is, is one of the ones that I didn't think was going to be here today. This is such a recent deal. And it's here. And I'm going to say to all of you, there is 70 in the world and you will never see an agate banger that looks like that again. There isn't an, another one out there. If I could just borrow the, the clicker a moment, Ross, if that's okay. When you talk about multitude of colors in agate, there's like material like this that's out there. And this is like seen as supreme translucency. There is talk of a new find of an agate in Madagascar. It's exciting because this material hasn't been mined since 2000. Collectors play huge premiums for a small slice of this stone because of its prized rainbow colors. That's what they consider rainbow okay. colors, okay? okay? Translucent like silica, yeah. but with more colors than any other agate, that material there. They call it iris agate, right? And you can see it's there at Bonhams in 2020. It's a new find. And, and it sometimes looks like that when you slice it real oh, thin. Oh, wow. That's why this bangle's far thinner that's than- That's this. Uh, that's why this bangle's far thinner than other bangles. This has gone crazy oh, in the market. It is called this, rainbow. But this is Mad the Madagascar material, the new find. This Brazilian material is under the radar. Wow. And it's even finer. So the new find is being called rainbow agate or iris silica agate. And we, the team that we're working with on the other bangles that are coming up managed to secure some rough that may be suitable for bangles if you're interested. We cannot provide strands as this would prove far too wasteful. If we are strict to the selection, we can provide blues and yellows. And they're always the rarest colors for this agate, for iris wow. agate. Okay. Um, when we started working with this carving facility, this studio in Guangzhou, they obviously specialize in jade and agate, and they started carving the other bangles you're gonna to get to see. They said, we've just had some rough come in, it's Brazilian, it's better. It's even better. But you have to create the most, the, 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 the most petite bangle to get all of those colors, and I was like, do it. Let's see what we can get. 
We work with this rough. No one has this rough right now. Mm. One parcel, there's a few hundred kilos, arrived in our studio in Guangzhou. And I'm telling you right now, this should be the whole show. This piece right now yeah. should be the whole show. Yeah. Because when you talk about color in, in agate, when you talk about the, the silica, the transparency, it's on another level. And the, you know, when you talk about blues, which is what he's showcasing in this studio, well, it's on another level entirely. Agate does not look like that. I'm going to start at 1,500 pounds, and that is a steal. Yeah, it is. I've, I, I, like the fact that this is natural. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, happy, I'm happy to put this back in the vault, genuinely. Mm. But I'm not going to finish here. I'm going to provide. I'm going to provide. I will. Uh, like I did a close out on the rarest agate in the world, which is the eye agate. Yeah. I'm going to do a close out on this too, but there is only seventy. There's less than half of these available. Is this something? I mean, this is very Gemporia, isn't it? You mm. could easily oh, for sure. take yeah, this to our sister channel. Hundred percent. But seventy is a very small quantity for Gemporia. Yeah. Very small. That's true. That's true. You're getting that opportunity. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? One of the most exquisite bangles attempted. Yeah. Not just at Jewelry Maker or, or, or Gemporia, but like anywhere. To get this iris agate, to get that rainbow agate, that natural material that is from Brazil. And you can imagine how little of this rough had that level of transparency mm. where it's, there is no, yeah, agate is notoriously an opaque gem with bands of color. Mm. It's opaque, it's on the surface. We get excited when we see Sakur agate, which is translucent. Yeah, yeah. And it still has all those inclusions in it. This is purity on another level. It's almost aquamarine, isn't it? For sure. In its appearance. Yeah. But you know, some of these, when you put them in the daylight, they'll show you other colors. They'll present yeah. you with the, the, the lavenders and the yellows. And it's natural. In fact, it looks more aquamarine than, it, than aquamarine. <laughs> I've got some strands um, and I've seen strands recently. You've got, Normally with Aquamarine, to get yep. this level of blue, you need to have opacity. Yeah, and I, I don't even know if the blue's coming across in the studio because obviously it's floodlights and you know, very strong. You can see it there, yeah? Oh okay, I'll give you a 30 second clock. You won't see this on Gemporia. You won't see this on our website. This will be gone today because yeah. of the deal we're going to make happen. I do. I'm, I want to buy this. I would, I would do it now. I would literally yeah. do it now because I'm, you know, for, for anyone who is looking at owning a bangle like this, this will be your only chance unless you want to get a dyed material in the future. Yeah. I've, I, even myself, I've never seen anything like this. No, nor me. Yeah, Definitely when the team not. said, we've, got, we've, we've just been offered something really special from Brazil, I was like, yeah, I, I want to see the pictures. And when they showed me, I was blown away. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be the fastest push on the phone lines ever, okay? Right. I'm going to get 99 pounds and I'm just going to say I'm not done. Even when no it sells out. 99 pounds and I'm not done. How, how many of you want to own this? Okay, so... This genuinely, I Two said it's a, it's a showcase of closeouts nine today. No, no, I'm going to 99 head. pounds. I've only got 70. Oh, we know wow. there's hundreds and hundreds of you tuned in. It is on your screen right now. Oh my goodness. One minute me. clock straight in. I told you I'm not done. But there's on, there was only 70. What's there's not 70 now. That means I'm going lower. I can't, I, I was not expecting that, Dave, at all. Nope. Three, three, four hundred pounds I was expecting yeah, In 50 to be. seconds we're going And lower. that would be amazing. That's natural, that's real, and you're about to own it. You're about to have it in your collection, if you're quick enough. Uh, Malik, Karen, John, Maker, Virginia, Julie, Gigi, Lillian, Maker, Ricky, uh, Mary, Virginia, uh, Christine, Hillary, Maker in the Isle of Man, Marie in South Yorkshire. 30, 30 seconds, and I'm going lower. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't believe Supreme you're doing transparency, yeah. incredible color, yeah. natural from Brazil, multi buyers on the phone lines, you know, maybe hoping to get some of the other colors that will in inevitably be presented in some of these bangles. All of them of a caliber you've never seen before. Genuinely, we've brought an aquamarine bangle which is more opaque than this. Yeah. To for it, sure, I remember. Yeah. And it was more than 99.99. Mm -hmm. Okay, half the price. It's the showcase to be joining in for today. It's the showcase to be tuned in for. This is what is happening. And this will sell out. And remember how limited this is. Remember how busy it is. We've got a couple of other opportunities for you on, on some of the other material that we're going to bring to you. And I think it's going to blow your mind. Absolutely but this is your opportunity. For, I, can't, I can't believe we're doing it for 49.99. Had this been on Gemporia, there would at least be a, a one in front of that. At least, at least. surely. Yeah. And that would be a great price. Genuinely, in my head, I was thinking two nine nine, mm -hmm. three nine nine, maybe. You know, two, right? I can't believe we're at a double figure price tag. Yeah. 
Wow, it will be an on-screen sellout. The call screens have gone crazy. Ron's got three, Virginia's got two, Ian's got two, uh, Marie's got three. Unbelievable. The transparency, the select, the colour choices, and and the fact we were talking about this earlier on, Dave, that with natural gemstones we should really embrace this. That mm. you know they will all be ever so slightly unique, won't oh, they? Absolutely, they'll all be yeah. of exceptional quality. Yeah, like this one's got some purples and the blues yeah. running well, through. You, that's wow. how you know you're dealing with something that is natural. You can't yeah. have that consistency throughout. You know, the one in the studio is that wonderful pale uh, powder blue. Yeah supreme transparency the one that we've recorded there has those yellows and those lavenders no. yeah they're stunning absolutely stunning Sublime. if there's any of the left of these i'll be getting them too i'm kicking 21 myself. chances you have haven't missed it yet we had 70 there's, there's 18 chances 17 wow. sorry it's very quick 16 pounds 66 on your interest free split payments today well we already know straight away that that's far too low isn't yeah. it shouldn't we, technically we shouldn't have the split payment on no. our screens no Oh my goodness. Ron, you've just got three. Yeah. Mary's got three. Julie's got two. London's got two. Malik's got two. Jenny's got two. Unbelievable. Look mm -hmm. at the quality that you're getting. Yeah. And, and are you going to see anything like that again? No. The chances are extraordinarily low. And will it be affordable? Uh, doubtful. Will it have a zero or two zeros on the end? Yeah, because when you start talking that, look, adding two zeros, which isn't unrealistic. No, 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 no. It's not unrealistic. For, for, especially with agates in the current climate. Yeah. Especially when they're natural and they differ from the, the standard, which that's, is that's opaque. Me, that's me priced out. Yeah. Same. Well, of course. Yeah. But this is why I say, this is why we'll go, we'll buy all 70 that you have. Yeah. Rather than, yeah, we'd like to try one of those in our boutique and pay a premium for it. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, wow, what a selection, Dave. And we've got seven of these left, and I think I've got we've got three more of your beautiful bangles to bring yeah. you now. Sixty-seven have this in their your basket. But there's only four left, so we know that doesn't work. Yeah. I hope that you are fortunate, I hope that you are lucky, I hope that you manage to get yours. But I'm thrilled that you just got to see it. I'm thrilled wow. that you got to join us and see those incre impressive colours, that unbelievable transparency. Well done to every single one of you who has been successful. Three chances remain. Well done. Stay holding on, on whether the app, the phone lines, whatever it may be. Okay, next we have the Galaxy. I believe it's this Agate. one, right? This incredible material. I've got my torch here. I'll show you. Ooh, almost dropped it. Uh. The torch, by the way. Not the bangle. I wasn't going to let go of the bangle. <laughs> This, this incredible material that we're dealing with here is supreme. Oh, it's this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Adam, if you want to show everyone, I think I may have picked up the wrong one. Phenomenal. I think we might need to use Adam's recording. Okay. Because I think no our sample is wrong. Um, it's just, okay, same material, but we we'll need to use the recording. So. Okay, no problem. Okay. If, if I just go back to my, um, my uh, 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 presentation here, I want to show you why this is so spectacular, the material oh, that you're so singing. With, with these wonderful colors, with this transparency, with this unbelievable, exotic, natural material. Beautiful. Aha, thank you. Wayne thank you, to Wayne. the rescue. Here, here it is, Wayne's got it. Yeah, in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh my Glowing goodness red. me. It was worth the wait. That's unbelievable. Thank you. <gasps> How many of these do we have? Oh, 156. Oh, we're gonna do something crazy on this. That's beautiful. It's fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a red. Yeah. Flame red. Yeah. This is, for me, oh. this is as good as it gets. And this is, is this your galaxy agate? Yeah. So the, the reason I'm calling it uh, galaxy agate, I'm just going to switch the light off, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, is because um, it's, it's the kind of material 
When they started carving it, they said the bangles have come out better than expected. We've managed to get the colours of Laguna, which I didn't know what that meant. They are universally exceptional. They remind us of this famous split. And they sent this clip from Bonhams, right? And this is what it reminds them of. And it comes from uh, the collection of Alba O'Reilly. And it's this Laguna agate. And once you see this, which is probably the most expensive agate in the world, mm. it's a split, so they've split it in half. Um, they talk about the agate fantasy land. Right? No other world locality has produced as many wonderful agate specimens as this place in Mexico. Right? So this is a mine that's mined out. Okay. And they, they thought we'd never get to see something like this again. Wow. Right? So they, they talk about how this present lot is a large example of an agate split from that location in uh, Chihuahua in Mexico. Laguna agate is the most highly praised banded agate in the world. This is Bonham saying that. Um, most known for its tight banding and bright colours as shown in the, this lot, displaying a strong saturated colours of royal blue, lavender, light beige. This agate split is an exceptional example of Laguna agate. Now this isn't from Mexico, so we can't call it Laguna. But, but so it we've has called that it grade. galaxy. It's, it's this material, which is as Bonham says, is the best material you can yeah. get in the world. You've got those caramels. Yes. You've got those beiges, you've got yeah. those wonderful royal blues coming through, you've got that red. That, that really tight banding that gives you all of those world famous colours. It is literally the same palette, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same piece, yeah. essentially. Wow. So you can see why we're excited and why yeah, we wanted to amazing. get so many of these. What do you mean so many? Did you manage to? Well, we've got uh, just over, well, we've got, I think, 150 of these for our collectors. 160? 160. Okay, so this is the reality. Had we had five or six of these, obviously they're going to be in the thousands. We got 160. You saw how crazy the deal was when we oh, had 60. It. You saw how crazy the deal is earlier on when we've had those quantities. But this is your exceptional moment. Unbelievable. I love that, Dave. Yeah. I love so that. that. It does it's look got like those meteor showers. Colors. It's got that red color coming through. Oh, my goodness. Right. I'm going to give you a 30 second clock and then it's time to get on the phone. It's time to get as many of these as you can. I mean that. Last, the orchid bangle sold out. Yes, the orchid bangle is gone. And Ross is saying this will follow suit. Yes. Okay. So, so this, by, even by Bonham standards, should be the most expensive uh, agate bangle in the world. If it's okay. got that color play, if it's got that color uh, split that you're seeing here. Right. And it's natural and it's translucent and it's a bangle, which no one has attempted before this studio in Guangzhou started trying it. That's a really good point, actually, Dave. How hard is agate to actually create? Extraordinarily hard because it's formed in layers. Layers, wow. So, so, when, so when you're talking about gemstone that forms in layers, unless you've got the absolute pinnacle in terms of crystallization, it's actually impossible. Okay. This is you know, proving to be the top 0.01% of material. Wow. And it goes to this one studio in Guangzhou, in mainland China, and they have perfected this art. Wow. And, and we've got a big quantity, which means I'm going to do something significant. Something quite unbelievable, if I'm honest. It's the, the ultimate bangle showcase for our collectors today. Do you know, can you imagine, you've got like, we, because we were talking about how the biggest trend of 2024 is all about bangles and bracelets, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look can you that. imagine this? in amongst yeah. your collection. I genuinely think this is one of the most neck. spectacular oh. bangles we've ever produced. Th those amazing colors, those kind of yeah. uh, flecks of gold that are locked yeah. inside that crystal. It does look like a meteor shower yeah. in a gemstone. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful, yeah. It is truly sublime. Gigi, you're there. Lan Lancaster, you're there. Devon, Greater Manchester, Isle of Man, Worcestershire, Cambridgeshire. Um, just to show you how the intent that I mean here, I'm going to start at 400 pounds. 400? I'm going to start at 400 pounds. I guarantee, a Jampori, and you know, a lot of you know, this would sell at 499. Yeah. Because of the rarity. But I managed to get 170, so this, 160, sorry. So this could go on Jamporia, but I'm saving it for you. It was bought for you, I'm going to give you first refusal. I'm already lower than this would sell at. Yeah. And I'm nowhere near done. Unbelievable. Nowhere near. The collections, Dave, that you've you, you've sourced for all of us, mm -hmm. you know, at home, here in the studio, 
you know, I should always be grateful because these are absolutely jaw-dropping. Well, no, you know, no one else is doing this. Even no, in the world, the in thing. the world marketplace, we're working with one studio in Guangzhou, which is sourcing the highest grade yeah. agate rough in the world, right? Yeah. From mines from Madagascar to Brazil to to the Far East in China. Um, you know, when we're talking about that that unique deposit of Nanhong, and they're carving these bangles, and the wastage is huge. Yeah, so the price is through the roof. Yeah, and somehow these are making their way across the world to the UK and then they're going out into your collections. No one else gets an opportunity like this. Well, it's not it somehow, it's all down to the relationships yeah. that you've formed over the yeah, years. Yeah, it's, so it's down to the whole team. You're being it's very a huge humble. team effort. Unbelievable though. 400 pounds right now. 100 pounds on your interest-free split payments. And I'm not done. So I'll give you a 30 second clock. Well done to Ron who's got two. Devon, you've got two. I said, you know, this is gonna be a huge closeout showcase today. That you can afford to multi-buy and get involved and get involved early. I'm going to prove it. You said the word caramel. I think that's the perfect description. Yeah. You've got those caramels, but you've got those flecks of gold as yeah. well. You've got those beige colours. There is some blue locked in there as well. You saw the red when we, we put the light through it. Amazing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable prices. Fully circular as well. So yeah. much easier. Yeah, full cylind on cylindrical bangle. It's not the yeah. flat edge like most of the bangles that we yeah. do. Um, right, straight down to £99 and then straight in with a minute clock. I'm not stopping. We're doing it. But 160 are going to disappear right now. I'm not even going to wait to see these sell out at £99. There's one When this price comes in, we're putting a 60 second clock in and we're going even lower. Welcome to one of the greatest shows of 2024 Isn't already. It? Ian, Gail, Ron, Maker, Virginia, Gigi, Elaine, Jan, uh, Gail, Linda, uh, Maker in Manchester, Maker in Isle of Man, Cambridgeshire, Kent, Merseyside, Warwickshire, Greater London, multi buyers. We're going far lower. I can't believe we're doing this, Dave, again. Mm -hmm. when, we, when I saw these pieces at the beginning of the day, there was no way on earth I would ever have imagined anywhere near the prices that you've been doing. No. No way on earth. My assumption would be... But like we say, if, if we get a great deal, yeah. we'll pass it on, regardless of what the market is willing to pay elsewhere, which I've shown you with pearls time and time again. You know, when you, you know, because I do believe if you set your mind to something, Dave, you, you'll do it. You can so try, you were yeah. saying about your booth, in, uh, you'd yeah. love a booth in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to be selling these in you Hong know, Kong with those kind of prices, well, are I'll you? I'll tell you, the even, cr the even crazier thing than that is that when I was talking to some of my friends in the Far East, yeah. The likes of Stanley Chu. Yeah. And I was talking to him about half the price, 49.99, these are gonna go. I was talking to Stanley Chu, who is the greatest purveyor of the finest jade on planet Earth, far greater than Bog Hossian, far, far better than Musayev, far better than Cartier wow. and Asprey. He has the best collection ever. Three generations of the best jade in the world. Mm. Better than Chow Tai Fu. And I was telling him how different we are and we were talking about jade art, and I was like, you know, what I wanna do is actually take the risk buy as big as I can and then bring it to a much wider audience rather than relying on the seven or eight people in the world, the sheiks, you know, the, the, the ultra yeah. rich in China that can afford those. Yeah, you know, I mean, how many people, his booth is incredible, but how many people can rock up and say, I'll have that $10 million school. Yeah, exactly. Right? So it's a very small, small market. Yeah. And I said, I want to take the risk and buy as much as I can so that I can bring the price down. Uh, I'm 49.99, we're going there. We're going to do this. It's incredible. Get involved, multi-buy, get five of these at that price. It's insane. Oh my goodness. And, and I said, look, I, I want to um, I want to move with the times, like Gemporia did. Gemporia, you know, mm -hmm. completely turned the industry on its head. Instead of having bricks and mortar on the TV. Yeah. I said, look, I want to do um, something wild. I want to want to take this and, and bring it to everyone digitally, you know, via website, via live streaming, and bring it to collectors in the West, mm -hmm. introduce them to gems that no one else can have. And he was like, no, 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 no. Do it in the Far East. He was like, do it on stream. And he literally made me download, I don't even know what it is, but it's this app, right? <laughs> it's, it's literally this app, which is uh, you know, a Chinese social media, the biggest one in China. And he's like, this is how you want to do it. This is the, the incredible material. This is what you want to do. Get on there. Um, and he set me up this account. And he said like, you know, do David Harry Jules go on there. And obviously I didn't want to say no, no, no. So I set it up, but then obviously we're not going to do that. We're going to bring it to the West. We're going to bring it at tiny, tiny prices. And we're going to make things affordable to real people. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Could we have put this on a booth in Hong Kong? Absolutely. Could we sell this back into the Far East for huge premiums or far higher than you know, the prices on your screen? Absolutely. But it's not happening. We're going to do this. And we're going to do it at the craziest deal you've ever seen. Um, 
Ross just wants to confirm. Sorry, Ross, I was busy. You did say 49 Waffling. 99. I did, I did, I did. Oh my goodness me. I always, like, Dave, on the back of that, we wouldn't have much. Oh, it's on four split pays. I thought there was a problem because it was at 99, and then I saw the split pay and it said 24 99. I was, I was thinking to myself, it must be at 49 and it's two split pays. It's just we, we can't change it or something because mm. I don't have an earpiece. But it's actually, we're actually offering four split pays. Yeah. And we're at forty nine ninety nine yeah. final price, yeah. which makes it twelve ninety nine or whatever it is. Twelve fifty. Twelve pound fifty on your interest free split payments. That's on ridiculous. On a natural Laguna Galaxy <laughs> Agate Bangle, ten hours worth of work to carve that yeah, fully that cylindrical. Alone. Just that alone, um, and then that that rich exotic play of colours that Bonham says is universally accepted to be the it's finest agate in the world. Yeah, and it's here in in uh, the uk and it's at 49.99 absolutely unbelievable dave 49.99 again i think that's missing a digit yes or two or two yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly i love it though i love it i, I love it in, and i love the fact that you're you, you know you say this to the likes of stanley no we're going to do something different i'm yeah, going to yeah. bring it to the masses absolutely it's what we want to do it's what yeah. you know it's, it's i think it's far greater to have a big big uh, uh, uh you know catering to more people to yeah, have a well, bigger that was community the whole idea wasn't it at the beginning at the very very beginning wow and you're still doing it today almost 20 mm. years on yeah wow Unbelievable. And we're, we're going to continue to evolve and we're going to get better and better and better yeah. and we're going to make it easier and more accessible you know what we're doing is i genuinely think revolutionary I do. Yeah. It look, and I know that might sound pompous, or whatever, but it is. It's so it's wild. Well, no, when there's not... far easier money to be made, when there's low hanging fruit, when they're saying to me, "How much does a plane cost to China?" and I say, "You know, whatever it is, you know, flying economy. I think it's, I think it's like two thousand pounds or whatever a turn or whatever it was. Okay. The company paid for it, but and he was like, "Well, do that." bring the jewellery and sell it in China where they pay 10 times more. Yeah. You know, that's, why wouldn't you do it? Yeah. And, it, and it's true, I see it, you know. Because when we that talk would be short-term, well, wouldn't it? Exactly, but when we all hear and we have the pearls and we show them on, on TV and we're, mm. we're showing them, we show you 360 recording, you give you 30 day money back guarantee and we do them at crazy prices with split pay. And then I take you to Hong Kong and I show you single Tishan pearls for 10,000 US dollars. It's that's why I say it's mad. It's crazy. Yeah, it it's crazy. so different. But that's why we have collectively a million unique collectors around the world. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, that's the truth. I bet Stanley can't say those numbers. Absolutely not. He can't. And no. you know that that's the, the absolute truth. Like, there's yeah. a there's a huge, huge jewellery brand in the world, right? Which I'm not gonna say who they are. Um, but if I said to you, think of the three biggest jewellery brands in the world, this one would be one of your big three. Okay. And I chatted to someone who was very high up in that company a few years ago in Las Vegas, uh, whilst we was at the Las Vegas show, and we were watching the Champions League final, right, in the hotel bar, and it was Tottenham Liverpool, so whatever year that was. And uh, he was from England, this brand is based in England, and literally one of the biggest three brands in the world. And he, he had actually built some of the boutiques for the, the main man, right? So he'd, right. he'd go to cities like Hong Kong or Shanghai, set mm -hmm. up the recruit the, st recruit the staff, train the staff, get the product mix right, just incredible. And he said, oh, a few years ago, because I was so fascinated as I'm learning from this guy, and we had the lanyards on, it's the real deal. And he said, yeah, they actually wanted to take the, the company public about four or five years ago. Um, so they got one of the big investment firms, you know, whoever they are, where they go through and they check it all so they can write the, the IPO, where they launch it and they put the pack together. And it was like, I think it was like as close to 48 hours before they were going to list and go on for the IPO. And someone in the company just said, don't do it. And they said, why? They said, because it'll kill you. And so when, they, when, they, when the world realizes how small the customer base is. Yeah. Because you think of this global brand with this huge footprint. Yeah. And you think, my God, and they have followers because everyone loves to look at the jewelry. And you think they've got millions of worldwide recognition. Everyone knows them. Yeah. Right. And, but when you actually boil down the numbers and, and you have to for an IPO, you have to yeah. put, because you, you're literally, people are buying parts of the company. You have to be able to see everything publicly. They said, essentially, you're just relying on whales. Right. Instead of having you know huge schools, you're relying on like three, not three or four, but in context. Yes. Yeah. So your customer base is so tiny. Yeah. No one's going to invest in that because once they disappear, what what is there? Yeah, yeah. And that's, and that's so the reality. True. And that's why we're so different. And that's why what I want to get to. I want to get to you know yeah okay we take tiny margins. It might might, it might not make sense, but 
It does, you know, it works out over the course of a year. And, and it, means, of people on the and it means everybody can actually own these. Like, for example, you've just brought those two. Yeah. For under, under 100. 100 yeah, it's, pounds. It's, it's a joke. It is a joke. It's ridiculous. But now, it shouldn't surprise you because we do it every day yeah, here I in know, Joy Maker. I know, I know. Every I know. day. Um, that, that's why I travel, that's why I show you those things, and there's much more footage in the pipeline that is being edited. But, you know, it is not, we, we are telling you. The, the truth, we're telling you the real information. If I could, if I pay for all you to come to Hong Kong with me and get into the booth and you sort it with your own eyes, you'd be like, oh my God. Yeah, it's there a it is, there it is. Um, now, just giving you a heads up because we have the most amazing strand of Nan Hong coming oh, This up. is ridiculous. What's going on the with Nan Hong right now? Yeah. I mean, have you literally got that coming up? Coming up, yeah. If you want to, if when, if you're free, you know, on my desk, if you wanted to grab my laptop, I'll literally send over the, the, the quote okay. from the team. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Just, just, if, if it helps, I just want you to see it because I think it's so important to take you to these places. Yeah, For absolutely. you to hear from people who are experts and how much has changed. By the way, that, um, you know, you know I, I'll just tell you right now how important that Nan Hong Strand is. On, when did I like, arrive back? Sunday. Sunday, yeah, because I so saw I you all in the car hour, I had a 14 hour flight Yeah. in economy, right? I didn't sleep, as you can imagine, because you just, you know, even though I'm sure, it's still uncomfortable, right? <laughs> and so, I mean, people probably think, economy for you, it's like business class, it's not, because the, the, chair, the chair still doesn't go back. I had leg room, but it was, it was difficult. Yeah. And, and so, I arrived back, and I knew that we had some Nanhong in the building. Okay. And I came in and did a show. Yeah. After a 14 hour flight. Did you? Yeah, and, and you know, I, I rang Jake, he was asleep, which he should be, as our managing director, Connor, who came with me, was asleep, and yeah. I said, I'm gonna go and tell him now, while it's fresh in my mind, what is actually happening with Nan Hong. And I, you know, I didn't burst into the studio, but I came out of the studio and I said, they were like, what are you doing in? Came in, put a mic on, and I, that's how passionate I am about what's going on with this, and how wow. much I want you to understand what is going on. The, sorry, Adam, these are on pre-order right now, and uh, perhaps I shouldn't how mention many do you this, have? but well, Dave, we've got different sizes. Of this, we have 80. Mm -hmm. This is eight. Eight to nine, I've got 60. But we also have got four to five mil, where there's 80. And we've got drums. Oh, it's ridiculous because I came in and all that we had in the building for Jampori was two pieces. You've got three strands. Four. Look, look at the all prices we have. that they're set out there. Why are okay. they set so low? Yeah, they are. Like I said, I'll, I'll show you. I've got no problem showing you. Thanks, uh, Wayne. I'll send it right now. Um, Unbelievable. I'll send it to you, Ross. Now, guarantee yours on pre-order. They're on the website as we speak. Okay. So now depleted. So there's no source of, of Nan Hong. No. Nope. Wow. Um, so. <coughs> I love this. Sorry, this is live. Three days ago. It was three days ago. It was because uh, I bumped into Jake in the uh, uh, outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bumped into him. And I j just wanted to go straight on and tell you, know, tell you guys. That's awesome. Our collectors, what is going on. So I'm going to send this over to uh, um, Ross now. Unbelievable. It's coming up. We've got different sizes. The is it available though right now? It's on pre-order right now. Then just get it. And it's silly, the prices. Um, so it's mined out then. Yep, I know you can't November. say that no, in no. a sense, but all the gem material is gem material is mined out. Wow, and that's certified natural Nan Hong. It should be sent, Ross. Thank you. That's all right. Thank you, thank you. Now we have two more bangles. We do, and these are again much larger in terms oh. of the. Oh, okay. Sorry, beg your pardon. Um, okay, right, no problem. So what are we going to do? Moving on to a break. Yep. Sorry, I beg that's your no pardon. Problem. Um, oh, bless you, Dave. So it was so wonderful to actually hear all about this amazing discovery. Do you know, where are you going to next? I bet you're like that. Let me just spend yeah, some time I know, at home. Yeah, there's a lot of trips coming up. Is there? Yeah, a lot of trips. I think I'm going back to China. Are you? Yeah, I think I need to, to go back to China, to mainland China uh, in a couple of months and then possibly Guatemala. Yes. Possibly the Dominican. <gasps> I've um, heard about this. Yeah. That would uh, be cool. A big, big, a lot of traveling going on. Yeah. Yeah. Edar, Antwerp. Surat, India. Wow. Yeah. So lots and lots and lots of uh, um, news. 
news. Lots this of is, news well, this and is why you do it, isn't it? Not yeah, just the purchase. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we want to tell you what's going on. Oh, we want uh, to show you what's going on in the world. Amazing, Dave. You're awesome. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much as, as thank always. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you to you guys as well. I know you've got an incredible masterclass coming up, and I know the Nan Hong, well, it's going to blow your mind. So make sure you're already getting involved. Good luck. <laughs>
I'm grateful for to be part of that kind of mind concept. Actually, no, we know we could get this. However, we're not about that. We're about getting as many as we can and bring it to you at this. Yeah. You know, I different love business that. business model, isn't very, it? Very, very, that very different. That was very interesting, different. what he said about the other company, which is obviously, you know, it's only got a small client base because only- Did anyone guess which one it was? Because I couldn't, I didn't know. But any of those, you know, yeah. where it's thousands and thousands, there yeah. is only a certain tiny percentage of people that can, can yeah. afford that. So I didn't, that didn't occur to me before. So that was interesting. You're right. You, uh, and, and again, thinking of the jewellers that I worked at previously, again, the, the wealthiest customers who would spend those kind of mm. amounts of money, um, you're right, there was only a handful of them. And they used to always walk through the shop. They say, oh, hello, hello, hello. They walk past us and they go up to the owner. But um, it, that's how they were, they, and that's fine. Mm. But it was only a very small number yeah. of them. So your bread and butter was all the rest of the people that yes. came in. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and that Absolutely. makes a lot of sense, actually. Um, now, groundbreaking news. Because I had not I had no idea about Nan Hong. I haven't seen Dave. I said that at the beginning when we welcomed him. Haven't seen Dave since Sunday. No. Um, but apparently, literally, I sort of bumped into Jake. I'm learning this as we speak. Yeah, actually, as we speak. So, uh, Ross is saying in my ear, after he left the studio, Dave popped in and sent over this PowerPoint. And he's given you a quick summary of the Nan Hong, the what? This is the quality of Nan Hong that we are getting now. The premium, vibrant, red oh my god that looks like a little heart doesn't it you know oh i see what one one proportion of red in the entire bead if oh, that makes sense i see so it's not just that red color it's the for want of a better description almost like the host rock and then what the nanhong is that red yeah okay now this material is so rare now because of the situation of the mine. I didn't know there was a situation. In fact, I think only last time I brought this to air, I was actually saying it was still in operation. This has spooked the market because of the history with Nan Hong. Since September, the price for this material is now 10 times the price. Since September, six months ago, the Nan Hong with the best red that is almost 100% red is as expensive as red jade dye in the market. Wait, 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 wait. I have to read that again to digest it. The Nan Hong with the best red, that is almost 100% red, okay, mm -hmm. as in no extra colors, is as expensive as red jade dye in the market right now. I don't oh, think you wow. can get much redder than that. No. <laughs> that is gorgeous. It's, it is 100%. Let's say it again. The Nan Hong with the best red that is almost 100% red is as expensive as red jade out in the market right now. Well, we know of its rare, rarity and we now know that it's mined out. Dave has also taken a photograph here, a few individual Nan Hong beads. Aren't they strange shapes? Oh, are they cut? Can't really work it out. Anyway, how much are they each? Oh, 3,000. Wow. He says the price is at the top. He said it looked like a telephone number. <laughs> okay. Each one. Michael, could I get the cream? Sorry. Um, so this, oh my goodness. I heard him say it, but you know when you, when you don't visualize it. Um, because the mine closed in November, which is the last Nan Hong mine in the East and the last one in the world. <gasps> China has seen this before when it disappeared for centuries and now they're going back through the mine and grinding up the remains of Nan Hong. Even this is commanding huge premiums. They set it like happy diamonds at Shopard. Wow. 
it's still around what's that 1000 hong kong dollars per gram at this size that's crazy so that's ground the little ground the down piece the dust is yeah that's crazy for dust not gem dust but still yeah but you think that mine is only just closed there's not going to be many just. people that know this aren't we lucky that we've got like dave on on the inside because he then you get the opportunity exactly it, though the fact that he is mates with stanley Chu. Yeah. you know there are people in the jade world who would only dream of being pals with stanley Chu? yeah I bet. you mm. know mm. unbelievable and we are bringing you that solid red color update jewelry makers we've heard it here this morning first these haven't been on jewelry maker we haven't made this announcement this announcement about the news this material is so rare now because of the situation of the mine this has spooked the market because of the history with nan hong i.e has been mined out before since september the price of the material is now 10 times the price the nan hong with the best red that is almost 100 percent red is as expensive as red jade eye in the market let's read the second page once more this material is so oh sorry i've read that one there's another one with words yeah because the mine closed in November, which is the uh, last Nanhong mine in the East and the last one in the world. China has seen this before when it disappeared for centuries and now they're going back through the mine and grinding up the remains of Nanhong. Even this is commanding huge premiums. Well, jewelry makers, exclusively red colors. This is why it is so fantastic that we get the opportunity to say, oh, it's mined out. Thank goodness we bought big when we had the chance. Oh my goodness me. Natural. They are all on pre-order. We have today eight to nine millimeters, six millimeters, four to five millimeters and then we have some six millimeter drums as well how beautiful is this wow 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 shop ahead because you can also notice if you go on the website how low they are actually set let's start with the largest of all the eight to nine millimeters this is you are the Nanhong with the best red that is almost 100% well this is <coughs> is totally red red in my eyes is as expensive as red jadeite to my knowledge we've never done a nine millimeter red jadeite strand have we Ross have we ever done a nine millimeter red jadeite strand oh oh that is absolutely gorgeous goodness me that's stunning Oh. and it's mined out I need it me too it's like that rich beautiful cherry tomato red and it's totally natural that's what I love totally natural we're not even going to put a clock on your screens how many have we got 60 six zero okay well there's going to be collectors and we have collectors all around the world those were look again you flick to past a strand that shows you the quality that you are getting hit there. Look at that. Even when it was still in offer operation, old news folks, 12,500 US dollars per carat. Would you agree? Look, I, we've literally got them next to one another in terms of their photograph. They're the same. You can get the gem, gem cert. The graphics are going to appear on your screens. In three, two, one. Six, zero available. Savvy shoppers immediately not leaving anything to chance. Devon's got two. 
London, Cheryl, is that Manchester, Marie, Christine, Cumbria, Marion and Middlesex. Even if we were to stop here, jewellery makers, that's an absolutely unbelievable price. This material is so rare now because of the situation of the mine. This has spooked the market because of the history with Nan Hong. Since September, the price for this material is now 10 times the price. Nan Hong with the best red, that is almost 100% red, is as expensive as red jadeite in the market. Remember, the first Nan Hong mine location was mined out by the emperors themselves. By the emperors themselves. Here we are now mining up mining out the secondary mm. or the second offering global offering there's no other mine in the world you know like certain gemstones you can find them all around sapphires rubies emeralds mm. you can find them diamonds all around the world nang hong is exclusively to china and there's only ever been two mining locations this is all natural gone happened in september we are learning it now we're about to bring you a massive price crash. A shockwave of people adding this to your baskets because we could go, oh, it's mined out, is it? Okay, right, let's put ours up the 10 times price tag then. Which would make sense, by the way. 10 times the price increase. When we spoke, spoke before the mine's closure at $12,500 per carat. Totally natural not your closing price not your closing price jewelry makers oh. not the closing not price okay should hold it at the neckline too oh, this yeah. is the, again i have to say if this has been priced similarly to your red jadeite um you, i don't think we've ever done a nine millimeter red jadeite that i remember anyway and look it's a full 38 <gasps> centimeter it's, it's gorgeous <laughs> isn't it such a lovely colour. The colour is just so unusual, isn't it? And it, just the tone of it, it's absolutely stunning. 100% red. There's not... The blend, the split of the colours, it's solid red. Well, that picture, there was just a tiny bit of red in amongst yeah. the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's no white on that. There's no. no. It's just all the way around, isn't it? So pretty. Six zero available. Here we are bringing you the last room. So that also means, jewelry makers, what we must, if you're a lover of, well, of the color red, if you're a gem collector, most certainly, if you're an investor, look, it means we're not gonna be able to get it again. No. Because again, what we have learned with our experiences with China over recent years, is that if it's rare and it's desirable, they will not export it. 79 pounds and 99 pence for well something that's not even it's irreplaceable isn't it mm. it's irreplaceable at that price tag most certainly we had 60 linda marion you've got two jeanette geraldine maker in gloucestershire uh linda in devon cumbria's multi-bought virginia valerie elaine pauline london marie devon's got two cheryl manchester there's loads of you with it still in your baskets as well uh sarah in middlesex alana in, uh, in manchester gloria Devon, Mark, Sharon, Brenda, Elaine, Vanessa, Joanne, Marie, Christine wants five, Cumbria, you want yours as well. Uh, Gloucestershire, you can do it, you can do it, but I only have 60 available. Oh, I get excited, but it's also quite nerve wracking when you hear of a gemstone's depletion. It might well be the last time, absolutely. It'd be entirely complacent of me to think otherwise, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's mined out, yeah, we'll still get it. Don't be so ridiculous, Elle. Why on earth would we think that? We had 60. Quant, ah, oh, we've got 15 left. Potentially ever in that size. I've got more Nan Hong. But this is the bigger size. We are hugely over allocated. So if you are Kent, Janet in London, Maker in Gloucestershire, Alana in Manchester, Gloria, Linda in Devon, Patricia in Middlesex, Mark in Cheshire, Sharon in Caerphilly, Elaine in Manchester, Joanne in West Midlands, Marie in South Yorkshire, Christine in Bedfordshire, and you disappear off the bottom of the screens. Cumbria, new customers. If I've shouted out your name, you need to check out. And those are the names that I can see. I can't see everyone's names. 
Mind out. And we have nine left. What Mind out. That's amazing. And we learnt this literally, this, again, can I just say, this solidifies why our team go to places like Hong Kong. Originally, Hong Kong was about, yes, jade, but also pearls. Um, this trip, and you heard Dave did buy some Alexandrite while he was out there, but it's as much about gaining the information and the knowledge. You know, had our team not have gone to Hong Kong, then we wouldn't have this knowledge about Nan Hong Mine, would we? So it's as important that you keep your ear close to the ground in the gemstone. In fact, in the gem world more than, more than most, five of these are left and that's it, irreplaceable strand. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, next up, we have oops six millimeter rounds oh my goodness these are insane oh, so pretty aren't they and it's natural we're not waiting we're going to put the graphics on your screen straight away because they have flown on pre-order let's not dilly dally let's yeah lots of you have already shopped ahead on these how many have you got ross limited Okay, look at that. The only six mils that we have, and it is still a go-to favorite on, oh. of all of your gemstones. And I think six mil, you can just do anything with. Yeah. Most people are happy with having a six mil in a bracelet as well yeah. as a necklace. Um, it's, it's the dream size. And it's not dream. intrusive, is it? That's no. the thing, it's comfortable. Um, down to the last nine. Down, so London, Lorna, Lena, Marion, Gigi, Marie, new customers. I've got lots of multi-buyers on this as well. £69.99. pence. Logic would tell us that we would go, oh, okay, yeah, okay, it's uh, mined out then. That's twice that's happened. It's a very rare gemstone. The first time it was mined out by the previous emperors of China. You know, 10 times the price in that, what, a matter of months. Sold out, well done. Okay. Let's do the drums next. These are amazing. Absolutely beautiful. It's a long strand. I love the shape. I love the shape. I'd use the drums with something like your Burmese jade, I, I yeah. think. Amazing. I do love this shape. Me too. It's quite linear, isn't it? Mm. There's just something about it. It's very tactile. It's fast becoming one of my favorite shapes, actually, the drums. Look at how beautiful. Look at all the colours of red. I mean, it's stunning. Yeah. There it is. How many do we have, Ross? 65 available opportunities. 65. Mm. I don't think after this little showcase there's going to be anywhere near that quantity. So you know what, Roscoe? I'm going to assume that this might well be one of the last times we do Nanhong. Highly likely, isn't it? And if that is the case, yeah, I do want to join in. Yeah, I want to make sure I get some too. I have Nan Hong, but not masses of it. Don't have a lot. I've, it's, it's been one of those that I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll get that. Mm. I'll get that, I'll get you that. You think it's always going to be there. And you there. assume it's going to mm. be there, and the reality is it's not. First price crash. This is the gem that, 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 that is carved in the same manner that jadeite is. You know, I've got one of my Kota, uh, one of my uh, Nan Hong pieces is a little Piksu. In fact, I've still got Dave's. I bought one for Dave as well. A little Nan Hong Agate Piksu. Aww. So beautiful mm. in this wonderful red. I'm, I'm just in awe of the fact that we're able to source these gemstones that I know that the, 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 the East uh, um, when they love a gemstone, it becomes an insatiable appetite for that gem, and, it, and they have the uh, um, economy now to support that insatiable appetite. So they will pay those ten times prices just to own this beautiful gemstone. Also, let's not forget, red is a hugely auspicious colour as well in the East. You're getting a full strand, one of my favourite cuts in these wonderful linear drums. It is that red that they spoke about in that article. This material is rare now because the situation of the mine. 
This has spooked the market because of the history with Nan Hong. Since September, the price for this material is now 10 times the price. Nan Hong with the best red, that is almost 100% red, is as expensive as red jade in the market now. And yet here we are saying, let's do it for £69.99. <laughs> we can't, and this again, our financial director still cannot get her head around the fact that we do this. So you're saying it's irreplaceable. So why do you bring those prices? If it's irreplaceable, surely it should be a replacement value, a little bit like insurance, I guess. But I suppose thinking about what Dave said, if you did do that, you'd take your customer base from this, from this to this. To, yeah, exactly. And then there's no longevity in that no. for this business model. No. So that does make sense after what he said. Absolutely, it? Mm. absolutely. It's much higher risk, isn't mm. it, with a smaller customer base? Okay. Now, Producer Ross is saying in my ear, he says, Al, we're about to melt the phone lines to just give everybody a heads up. Um, no, I have four millimeters, which is my new, four is my new six. I love four millimeters. Have you seen this color? There's so much you can do with four mils. Capriccio. Oh, can you imagine how in Nan Honage? Posh would that be? <gasps> Oh, but look how gorgeous that is. That is so lovely. Oh, wow. There are 80 available. 80. Mm -hmm. And even Ross himself is saying, Al, I'm not going to lie, this is shocking, this price. The first price crash for natural natural cherry tomato red nanhong agate first price crash let's get this under 100 pounds and that is your first price crash remember the best red almost exclusively red same price as your red jadeite you're not look to get 40 carats of red jadeite is not 99 pounds so i think we're still bringing you prices well, that they've never been, quite frankly. Red Jade, that has never been that kind of price tag, and our expectations shouldn't think otherwise. $99.99, there's 80 available. Now we're gonna see you on the screens. Four to five millimeters. There is, as Deb's just said, so much potential with a four mil. Yeah. Next price crash. Amazing, we've learned something today, haven't we? Nan Hong Mine, second time ever in history, mined out. Different locations, of course. So the first mine was found. Oh, this is Nan Hong Agate. Amazing. Emperor's mined that out. The second location in September just gone, mined out. Next price is not your closing price immediately the multi-buyers well done devon well done angela multi-buying well done to london multi-buying um east sussex manchester bedford geraldine lynn in cornwall new customer new customer new customer nottinghamshire sharon in Caffilly. the phone lines are heating up when what ross i've just looked up seriously not closing there can you imagine today you know, as we rest our weary heads tonight <laughs> and we look back and reflect on the day, I always think that's a good thing to do. Yeah. Reflect on the day. You know, what what have been your successes? You know, what 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 maybe would you like to improve on or whatever? Mm. Um, you can look back as this is a huge success. You sourced natural Nanhong Agate any one of those strands also you've got the opportunity for the the new variety of jadeite you have the most unbelievable agate bangles you've got amazing inspiration by the bucket load in our debs and you're about to get some four millimeter natural nanhong agate rounds in that solid cherry red not at 10 times the price in fact that's not even your price that's not your price? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, look, one thing I can say, look, 
It's not being mined. So is it irreplaceable? Quite possibly. Mm. We rely then heavily on other people actually being able to offer us this gemstone. If nobody's offering it, then it's irreplaceable. Um, but if those people are holding on to their Nanhong Age and they do decide to sell them, they're going to want to make profit. Mm -hmm. So what I can absolutely suggest is that your Nanhong Age is ir irreplaceable absolutely at this price. Yeah. 100%. We had 80. Half the stock has gone. So many multi buyers. Ah, oh, really? Bear with us. Okay, all good. Not your price at £39.99. Oh my goodness Ooh. me. Ooh. That's a gemstone. That's a price tag for a gemstone that isn't especially rare. And well, all gems are rare, aren't they? I know, but you know what I mean. The more yeah. plentiful, and they're not mined out. That's at twenty nine ninety nine. That's great because it gives everyone an opportunity um, to hold something that you may not see again, let alone be able to own or make with. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, isn't make it? with where? Yeah. How lucky are we? Yeah. How how lucky are we? And I, again, I know that I. I, I do hopefully give enough praise to the team that makes such opportunities like this possible. You know, like you said, like Dave said, the uh, Wayne and Jake and Dave and uh, Georgia. You know, to, for getting sourcing the rarity like yeah. this and doing so at an affordable price tag. You know, unbelievable. Alison, Cumbria's got three, Dorothy, Elaine's got two, well done, Tyne and Ware, Angela, Wendy, Angela's got three, Susan, Linda, Keith, Manchester's got two, Sue in Norfolk's got two, Christine, Barbara, Teresa, Barbara, getting two, Gail, congratulations, I can't keep up with you, um, I've got ten of them left, Sharon, Lynn, Alana, Geraldine, Devon getting three, Bedford, London getting three, Lorraine, Michelle, Nikki, Alison. I can't keep up. There were six, no, sorry, 80. 80 available. And you might be thinking right now, well, I've missed the chance now, haven't I? There's only eight left. Look, first come, first serve. So it's pointless them being sat in baskets if they're not checked out. This is quite potentially last chance saloon on your Nanhong Agate. I would say almost definitely at these prices. Oh, yeah well done and it's beautiful as well isn't it it is absolutely beautiful i mean to think that's natural is mind yeah. blowing oh lovely absolutely love it well done well done well done now we have two strands of extra long Nang nanhong agate strands these were one of our first purchases now these have been under lock and key um up until now and it seems fitting given the announcement that we bring them to air. So I have two sizes. Um, Dan, can you pass me a large bust? Because these won't fit on that one for sure. They might not even fit on that one, but let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Thank you, lovely. So we have two. What was that strand? 12,500 US dollars. That one. <laughs> it literally looks like it exactly does. the same strand, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. If anything, I think ours is redder. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh. Dan, that's perfect. Yeah, oh, my that. goodness me. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And again, when it's like literally stretched out on this elongated bust, if there were... Any different colour at present? And that's fine if there are, mm -hmm. but this is red, 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 red. They're all red. So previously, when the Global Times said that Nanhong Agate, red agate, is 12,500 US dollars per carat, per carat, mine, not per strand. That's crazy, isn't it? That is absolutely too expensive for me. <laughs> me, me too. Me too. And they're not that's not out of the norm i know i keep saying it but it's a message we need to actually 
retain. This material is so rare now because of the situation of the mine, i.e. closed. This has spooked the market because of the history with Nan Hong. Since September, the price for this material is now 10 times the price. The Nan Hong with the best red that is almost 100% red is as expensive as red jade in the market. Can you imagine getting, what length is this? An 80 centimetre strand of type A red jade. Can you imagine the price that would be? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what, um, not Stanley. Oh, Pillar and Stone. I've gone blank. Roland Schlussel said, you don't get exclusively red jadeite pieces of jewellery. No. And I'm not saying this is jadeite. This is natural Nan Hong. How have you got, Roscoe? This has been under lock and key up until now. We're down to the final 10, okay. <laughs> <coughs> Let's do this in one price crash. That is ridiculous. That's a long strand. Yeah. That is a long strand. I mean, you get the most beautiful long line necklace. I like the ever. ones you're wearing yeah, today. Yeah, I would just literally knot it. I mean, why yeah. mix with perfect? You know, mess with perfection. Yeah. Just knot it, or what? Or you know, rosary link it if you want to save some beads for maybe earrings or oh. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. We have three of them left. This is going to be the last time we see this. Um, if you miss out, wish list it. You can. I've got two left. One left. Oh my goodness, if you miss out on this though, you're in the right place for the next strand. Let's just put it that way. Oh my goodness me. It's gone. Also under lock and key from exactly the same parcel. Ooh, Six to seven millimeter. My goodness. Wow. Wow. It is the most beautiful color saturation, isn't it? Unbelievable. So remember Not just this message, but the one that said further on. If we flick forward. Here. Because the mine closed in November, which is the last Nan Hong mine in the East, the last one in the world. China has seen this before. It disappeared for centuries. Now they're going back to the mine and grinding up the remains of Nan Hong. Um, even this commanding high premiums. They um, set it like happy diamonds at Shopard, yeah. So you almost have this wonderful movement. But you know, so many gemstones actually, and I know this is kind of off, off the beaten track a little bit, but so many gemstones, when you do grind them down, tanzanite for example, it grinds down to white. Oh, really? Very few gemstones retain their colour. Look at this. So if you hear, a, like, streaks white, uh, tanzanite is probably the most obvious to me. Not completely, but it loses the bulk of its colour. There's yeah. no loss of colour there. Unbelievable. Anyway, I digress. This is a full 70 centimetre strand. It's totally natural. You've got your six to seven millimetres. Natural nanhong. Even the Nan Hong dust, effectively. I know, that's mind-blowing. It is mind-blowing. It's, it's commanding a high price tag. I am ready. Are you ready for your price? $79.99. Please tell me there's quantity. 40 available opportunities. These are quite literally, potentially, the last uh, Nan Hong strands that we bring you. There's a lot of multi buyers getting involved. I don't want to say never because at the end of the day, I haven't got a crystal ball. Yeah, but why take the risk? It, yeah, exactly. You know, if you want it, it's not 
it's not likely mm. that we are going to get this moving forward if the mine is closed. But it wouldn't be these prices, would it? You know, that's like us saying, look, look, look at the pearl world, for example. Mm. Pearls are still being harvested. Yes. But China won't export them mm. because of the popularity. Nan Hong has been at sort of the very heartbeat of China for, for centuries and it's mined out. So why would they export it? That's very true. Yeah. Why would they export it? Um, um, furthermore, why would they export it at an affordable price tag? It doesn't make any sense. Seventy nine ninety nine. Well done, everybody. Dorothy Sarah Maker in London. Alison Tynanware, Hertfordshire, Cumbria, Jamati, Renata. Hello to you, Lillian, Manchester. Loads of multi buyers. Devon, Angela, and Paula, and Agnes, and Sarah, and Lena. Make sure you're checking out everybody. Um, yeah, wow, oh wow, I love it. I, I've loved today from start to finish. We've still got more to bring you, of course. The final eight. So Alison in Bristol, you can do it. Pam in Surrey, you can do it. Agnes in Renfusha. Alison's just got hers. Uh, Agnes, you can do it. Catherine, you can do it as well. Now, I'm gonna do one more Nan Hong. It's not. <laughs> A closeout deal because they're shorter strands. What on earth? What on earth? Oh my goodness. I love this. So do I. It reminds, reminiscent of, um, you know, the peacock angel light? Yes. You know, it has that kind of magical quality to yes. it. Yes. This reminds me of that. It is a little bit angel light esque, mm. isn't it? Mm. Yes, I see where you're coming from. Do you see what I mean? It's got like a magic to it. So this is transparent silk. So we've been talking predominantly about the red, mm. but Nan Hong, if I show you, there's a couple of carvings. I think there's a cameo, Roscoe, on this PowerPoint where, um, where it's the white, the presence of the white within the gemstone is used as a level of, uh, you know, there we go, that pendant will do. Here we Ooh, go. So look at that one, a superb Nan Hong agate um, plaque. I don't know what, how you would wear it. Um, US dollars, it's 100,000 to 150,000 US dollars of rectangle form, intricately carved on both sides. One side carved with a lady playing a uh, quin, I'm not sure, um, on a wasted table in a hall surrounded by rocks and plantain leaves uh, through the vermilion layers of the creamy white grounds. Sorry? Um, grounds carved with two ladies walking in a garden that's a lot to fit on that little thing it is Maybe but look at the, the price tag well. oh that's absolutely expensive <laughs> um, <gasps> wow it's beautiful but they're using the creaminess the white parts mm. as as part of the artistry I mean, it's absolutely beautiful okay now we have they are shorter strands it's all down to personal taste at the end of the day. If you want the vibrant deep reds, we've clearly just brought you that. But if you actually want the, the, the blend of colours, mm. the silks effectively, then this is definitely the bundle for you. So you have, jewellery makers, your 13 millimetres, your 12 millimetres, your 10 and your 9. Is that right? <coughs> One of them is graduated though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six to 13, that's this one, which is graduated. Oh, I love that. It's amazing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now, close out deal. I can't, I don't think we should say those words if a gemstone's just been <laughs> announced that it's mined out. I'm not sure we should say it. Anyway, hey ho. Now, let's give you a heads up. The 10 mil round strand on its own was brought to air for a hundred pounds, 99 pounds and 99 pence, and it sold very successfully at that price tag. Amazing, well done to those of you that got hold of that. Okay, then we've got the 12 millimeter. Okay. Ross, is, okay, Ross, is, just leave it there, Al. Just leave the end of there. Look, if you, that's the middle size. He says the 10 mil, just average it out. Okay, right, okay. Hundred pounds for that ten millimeter strand. Okay. How many have we got? 
only 29 and there's one two three well there's clay i can't count how does he work that out how do you work that out <laughs> Hold on. So you buy one and you're getting three for free, <laughs> Ross. We've uh, we've just announced the Nanhong mine is closed. Ah, uh, oh, I love it. Brilliant deal. Uh, it makes no sense. Let's not try and make sense of it. Look, again, we get a great deal. You get a great deal, regardless oh, of what's there going was some on. Thought that went into it, but obviously not. Clearly no. <laughs> clearly, clearly no. That you buy your ten mils, and you're getting the other two strands for free. Amazing. It's certified, genuine, natural Nanhong. We are going to hold this on your screens for just one minute, though, um, because quite clearly that's an absolutely amazing deal. Um, unbelievable. It is redder than the clock. Oh, I love it. And I like the contrast. I so love the I. contrast because it's so a pure, I. pure white. I love both of them. Yeah. Um, these and me. are a bit more, a little bit of me, I think. These, yeah. these contrast. I, yeah, I've not ever seen anything like it. I can't decide because I do love them both. I absolutely love them both. I, and there's very few natural red gemstones yeah, out there. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? You know, it's, it's with the exception of, um, well, there's type A jadeite, which is rare, expensive. How many other natural reds do you get? Ruby. Ruby. Garnet. Garnet, yeah. Although that's a different red, isn't it? And it's not this sort of red. No. Co uh, spinel, very rare. Coral. Yeah. Which I don't know if, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't personally no, wear. No, would I. Um, because of the ethics of it, yeah, absolutely. But there's very, very, very few natural red gemstones. Mm. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Do not go anywhere, folks, because I'm going to make my way over to gorgeous Debs or the jaw. I guess I'm your, your George and I'm Zippy. Yeah. Is it that way around here? Fair yes, enough. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'll be here in a minute. <laughs> Who's Bungle? You, Adam. Add your, bu your, your Bungle. Your Bungle, okay? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's not impressed with that. Do not go anywhere, because yes, it's also Wednesday, which means we've got the Wall of Fame. Yay! We'll be back for your masterclass, your inspiration, and Debs after this. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hi jewellery makers, it's Charlie. I'd just like to let you know that I'm back in the studio on Friday the 8th. So at nine o'clock, we have some beautiful little bee charms. They're bound to get you buzzing with excitement. Um, they come in three colourways and they have little tiny teardrops that you set yourself. They're very cute. You don't want to miss those. Very on trend. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, so they're really exciting projects actually. So when you start making with them, the more ideas you get. So it's a pack of five, I think it's five, five decorative strips and they come with end caps as well because we know that cuffs are going to be big this year. Um, I really hope you can join us. I'm so excited to be back. We will be with Carol and Tom and the rest of the team. So really hope you can join me and I will see you there. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share.
Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Can I just say I'm admiring Deb's uh, um, self-restraint. We've well, just been handed a cake. Mine's gone. Yours is there. I'm saving mine for after. Yeah, mine didn't last. And then minutes. I was pretending I was reading the news because I'm so professional like that. <laughs> Take it away with the Wall of Fame. Good lovely. afternoon and welcome to the Wall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> I'm back to reality. These are amazing. 95, Isabel Morgan. Look at those polymer, I presume. Hello, lovely friends. I've been making up some jewellery from my polymer clay beads and I'm particularly pleased with these red oriental style earrings. They are amazing. I do enjoy the surprises you get when cutting into the final canes. All tools, findings and most of the colours are from JM. Have a great day. You are so clever, Isabel. They are beautiful. Loving those, Isabel. Amazing. Um, I've got some monochrome beauties here. This Ooh. is from Julie Dudley. Hello to you, Julie. Your number 924. Hello again, everybody. This week, my entry to the Wall of Fame is a sterling silver necklace and earring set made with pearls, black spinel, and cubic zirconia pendant. Absolutely everything is from Jewelry Maker, as always. Good luck to everyone entering the draw this week. Oh, and to you, Julie. That's beautiful. That looks You're so high end, doesn't 924. it? 924. Look at these. These sort of like could be in a high end boutique jewellers. Mm -hmm. 923, Julia Tinsley. Hi, all at JM. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame oh, draw. Wow. A simple make using these beautiful South Sea pearls. I thought they were. Wow, they are exquisite and can be worn anytime and with any outfit. Thanks, JM, for always being able to trust in the quality of our products. With love to everyone and my fellow entrants. Julia, Loving those. They are stunning. Amazing. Good luck. They look very Tiffany's, actually. Don't they? Yeah. yeah. Um, I've got some beautiful seed beading. And this is Lorna Clark. Hello to you, Lorna. Your number 922. Ooh. Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. My entry this week is a bracelet made from Super Duos Very and Sea Beads. Bought from Jewelry Maker as part of a kit a while ago. Inspired by guest uh, presenter Mark Smith. Looking forward to uh, spring and uh, new inspiration from Jewelry Maker. And that's Lorna. Lorna, that's amazing. Loving that. Do I'm you know, that would be a lovely spring. choker as well. If you know, yeah. if you had like a winter wedding or... Yeah, beautiful. This beautiful, another quite designer inspired make, 925, uh, sorry, 921, Joanne McCarthy. Hi, lovely JM family. My WAF entry is a bracelet made as a Mother's Day gift. It features the Alhambra inspired connector, pearls, micro faceted garnet and sterling silver chain. Good luck to everyone in the draw this week. What a lucky mum's going to get that. Beautiful. Loving that, Stunning. Joanne. Good Amazing. Luck, Joanne. Um, I've got a very elegant piece of jewellery here from Angela Smith. Angela, you're nine, 920. Sorry, I get my words out. 
Um, hi all, this week's Ooh. entry to the waffle is a necklace made using gold hematite cuboids. Uh, a pearl nugget, uh, pearl nugget, sorry, with a coin pearl charm. Everything from jewelry maker as usual. Angela, that's beautiful. Good luck, you're 920. This is a bit of me, floral make. I, I spice, are they super duos? Um, 919, Lorraine Smith. Hello, Woffers. <laughs> this entry is a floral bracelet made with gem super duos and seed beads with Monica's project. All components are gem and good luck to everyone and me. Good luck, Lorraine. That's absolutely lovely. I Loving can imagine that. wearing that in spring. Yeah, definitely. It's got those kind of colours, hasn't it? Wow, some absolutely amazing wire oh, work. Oh, look. Yes. Is it Pegasus? I think it is oh. a Pegasus. Uh, hello, Leanne. You're number 918. Hi, all. I hope you're well. Um, please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. Inspired by the wonderful Alison Tarry. I used to be scared of using wire until I watched one of her demos. Now I love it. Oh my I use, uh, it's a wire work Pegasus, wire from Jewelry Maker and feathers from my stash. I would just like to say a big thank you to Alison for all the inspiration and knowledge she shares with Aww. us. Best wishes. She's an amazing. And it was her birthday yesterday as well, lovely Aww. Azataza. Is there anything she can't do? She is the most incredibly talented lady. And she's such a sweetheart yeah, as well as Alison <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, she is. Um, Leanne, you're number 918. Good luck to you, darling. Blown away by that, Leanne. Oh, this is stunning. 917, uh, Diana West says, Good morning, jury maker. Please find attached my latest entry to the WAF. It's a freshwater graduated pearl necklace, which I knotted using the two-strand Griffin silk method. Everything except the clasp is from Jewelry Maker. I'm loving all the demos. Keep up the hard work. Fingers crossed for a win. Good luck to all my fellow Woffers. How elegant and beautiful is that? Amazing. Oh, Good luck, Diana. Beautiful. Good luck. Well, speaking of amazing pearls, Ooh. I have another suite of pearls here from Kay Hesling. You're number 916. Here is my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. A full suite of jewellery, necklace, bracelet and earrings in Baroque pearls of gold and bronze colour, all with 925 uh, sterling silver finings. Everything is from Jewelry Maker, of course. Um, I purchased these such a long time ago. Uh, Mark was the designer, and it had about six strands of Brock Pearls in the kit, including a shocking pink, pink strand um, and a green strand. I think she's referencing the colour then. Right. Yeah, shocking pink, as in not. <gasps> Shocking pink. Shocking pink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I still have four strands and I haven't done anything with yet. Um, I know I couldn't get the kit now. No. Um, I watch every day as you are my medicine, cheering me up no end. Thanks to the bargains and the laughter galore, you're a tonic. All in front of um, the camera, not forgetting those behind. Thank you to the jewelry maker team. Oh, bless you, Kay. Um, amazing. Well, thank you for tuning in so frequently, and that is amazing. Right then, Debs. Do you want to draw the winner? Oh, yeah. I'll give it a whiz. You draw the winner. You give it a whiz. There you go. I think Ross has taken the mickey out of my accent. Did I just hear that? <laughs> and the winner is... Is this the winner? This is the winner. Uh, nine, Ooh. nine, three, zero. Oh, that's Jacqueline, Queen. Jacqueline Green. Jacqueline, Jacqueline Green! Green. Congratulations! Well You're Ooh. our winner! You're our winner! So £100 credited to your jewelry maker account. Well done! Right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do your job, Deb, for goodness sake. Right. Sorry, I got a bit excited then. Okay, Go on now. Right. I haven't done this for a long time. It's exciting. That's it. Right. <laughs> I'm going to give it a really good <laughs> rummage. Right. Have you got one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 911, uh, sorry, 12. Oh. oh. Uh, Deborah Davis. Deborah, Deborah Davis. Davis. Well done, well done, well done. Congratulations. Well done. £50 credited to your jewellery maker account. How amazing is that? Awesome. High numbers. Yes. Both of them high numbers. Ooh, that's exciting. We can spend it on. I know. We were what? <laughs> How many numbers were we about? I was 9.30 and you were 9.12, so all in the nines. All in the nines. What, 28? No. How far apart were we? Uh, 18. Mm. 18 apart. We couldn't do that again if we tried. No. Thank you, Michael. Do I need to give you those Thanks. so you remember? There you go. Thank you. Right then, Debs. 
Are you ready for your uh, masterclass? I'm ready. They are on pre-order right now. Talk us through these beautiful bracelets. They are stunning, Deb. I'm loving them. I think them. charm bracelets or something that is such an individual kind of representation of, of your design style and yeah. also you as a jewellery wearer I've been making charm bracelets since I very first started and at one point I used to make um, looking at that polymer clay on the wall of fame I used to make um, <laughs> little cakes and little um, licorice all sorts and little uh -huh. cookies and That's cute. out of polymer and put them on a charm bracelet yeah and they used to be some of my best sellers they used to I couldn't get them on the stall quick enough um, and I think I'm really glad that when this was put together, it wasn't put together with you know certain gemstones, mm. or because I think it's a really individual thing, and we've all got th things in our stash that we want to add to charm bracelets. And a real sort of statement for me is to have those lucite flowers on my charm bracelets because I think yeah, you love lucite. I love flowers. lucite flowers because. I love the floral and I'm quite boho and I love the floral elements so I've kind of packed that one quite um, that's full. gorgeous but uh, you know you can also do it's quite an understated so I've put some malachite on the other one to yeah. be a bit more sort of understated and um, yeah designer so it can be you know you could not put any gemstones on and just have the charms and stack it yeah you know so I think the versatility of these kits are great because you can add whatever you want to them I love this because yes they're projects you can put them all together or you can go petite which is what you've just been absolutely. saying absolutely and what I think is really good about this as well is you've got split rings so you've got loads of split rings and um, we don't often get split rings. Well, I don't think I've ever had split rings in a kit, thinking about it, and all the years I've been here. But your split rings... What's the difference between a split ring and a jump ring? A jump ring is just a single um, rotation. rotation of metal. Where if you think about... You know how you get your keys on a key ring, child, when you kind of get it on, you go like that, and then it doesn't come off, because we're always... So it does two turns. It does two rotations, and then it sits on the, sing the little single strand between the two. Yeah. Um, this is essentially what split rings are. So... They are a really secure, what I would call cold connection. As a metal worker, we would call a hot connection a soldered joint or a fused joint. But this is something that you can do without having to add any heat, which adds like mega security. Because if you think about it, when you pull something, my granddaughter used to pull my um, bracelets a lot mm. when she was really tiny, and the jump ring would be the first thing to go. It would, it would pop open if it yeah. wasn't soldered. Whereas if you've got the split ring, it's less likely to do that because it's been mm. actually sort of, it's gone round sort of a couple of rings yeah, and then yeah. it's not dependent on just one join opening or closing. Yeah, which can very easily sort of open or work its way out. So especially good for charm bracelets, um, I think, because you know you, they, you tend to move those around a lot, don't you? Because you you've do. got those charms. You do. Now, so you get, there's three different colourways effectively. They're all, I say, again, I'm gonna use your bra silver one to show everybody yeah. if that's okay. So, firstly, you get this amazing bracelet. It's a really nice bracelet as well. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. So, you get, and it's quite a solid bracelet. So, if I just show you the chain. It's nice, isn't it? Love it. And again, it is complete. So, you get the bracelet. There's all your selection of split rings, which I've just noticed are all different sizes They're too. all different sizes. And there's more, so many of them. You get loads. Amazing. And then, in terms of your charms, you get your elephant. You get your four leaf clover. That's lovely, isn't it? You get your three dimensional turtle. I love him. He's amazing, isn't he? You get your star. And you get a little bumblebee. A little bee. There he is. He's next to the flower. Ah. Is he a sleepy bumblebee? Is there anything cuter than bumblebee sleeping? B bumblebee's butts. So cute. They fall asleep in, in <laughs> Michael's Have giving me a funny thing. Have you not seen it where the bumblebee goes to sleep in the flower and in his little bottom hanging out? Google oh, it is the cute. cutest things. Their little fuzzy butts and their little legs just hair. Right. Let's bring you the yellow gold first. I fall asleep like that. Hey. I'd love to fall asleep in a flower. <laughs> It'd have to be quite a large flower. I have to go to the Amazon or something. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Just, oh, look who's Deb's asleep in the flower. <laughs> so you, 
<laughs> you get... Let's we'll start with the yellow gold, shall we? Which includes... See if I can hold them all. There is your elephant. Amazing. I'll bring Deb's jewellery over in a second. I should not have tipped these out on the table, should I? <laughs> to be honest. There's little Buzzy Bee. He's awake. He's awake. He's not sleeping. Then you get the four-leaf clover. Come on. And don't forget your turtle. What's great is if you, you're like, I'm not really a charm bracelet person, just put one on. Just put the yeah. put the star in the middle and add gemstones around and use the others for something else. You know, that's the beauty about a kit like this, sorry, a project like this, is that you can do exactly what you want with it. Put your personality on there. Yeah, absolutely. You could use the charms as pendants. You yep. could, uh, um, you might think, oh, I love the bracelet. I'm not so sure about the charms. Well, gift them. Because you've True. got some quite symbolic charms here bumblebees are huge yeah, they are. aren't they yeah. because like like think alex monroe lily rose yes. gucci who everybody needs a star who doesn't love elephants and it's that luck isn't it with the with the elephant oh yes and family family luck also with the four leaf clover mm. and then you've got what's this one little turtle again got to be one of the most adored species on the planet i know and you've also got the selection of your split jump rings. How many have we got, Roscoe? 50? Okay. Oh, that's good, 50. Gold, very on trend again. Very, very on trend. And you get the instructions. You do. Um, I have written you out some instructions and different ways that I open the split rings, um, what works for me, and also just about how I go about designing something like a charm bracelet. Because actually, when it comes to construction, it's quite easy. But how, what I think about, the tools that I use, how I lay it out before I start, and those sorts of things that sometimes we don't yeah. go into because we just talk about the mechanics of, yeah, of yeah, how yeah. to put things together. So sometimes with a project like this, which I would consider more of a beginner project, that doesn't mean that advanced makers don't make them, wear them and no, sell them. It's just that there are techniques that, that we can all do. And I think, oh, look at that elephant. He's adorable. So there's some malachite beads that I had left over um, from a strand. And I just thought how, as a sort of a complete difference to the one before, how this one is more minimal and, yeah. and sort of maybe a bit more expensive looking. <laughs> I'm loving the fact that you've got the malachite with the yellow gold as well. I think it's amazing. But those jump rings as well, they're not going anywhere because they've got the split mill haven't yes, they yes yes uh, split split ring sorry uh split ring so they're not going to actually go anywhere unbelievable that's what one two three four five charms yep. a bracelet six split uh, split jump ring seven seven components 19.99 but we're not done there your projects today debs have been awesome i know i've had lovely things haven't i amazing look at all those split jump rings it's uh, again if you've if you've had if you've lost pendants if you've lost charms a split jump ring why don't we do them more often well i made my mum a charm bracelet this is what i used to do when i was making to sell i made my mum a charm bracelet now that one was um sterling silver and mm. i soldered all of the jump rings because and then i wrote like a little um and printed off what each charm meant. Okay. So there's a dog on here to represent Jesse, who was a dog at the time. There's a motorbike ah. to represent your son. Da, 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 da. And people were so enamoured with the thought behind it that I started making them for so many people that I started putting them on my store and started bespoke commissioning them. Mm. And people would set, tell me what sort of thing their person, the recipient was into, and I would source the charms oh. or make the charms. And then it, they would come with a printout, all beautifully laid out, saying what each thing meant. That's lovely. And that is really is adding that personal story and 100%. that personal touch. And it doesn't have to be a sterling silver, over a hundred pounds, or well, more than that now, charm bracelet to get that effect. No, absolutely. I mean, you're still getting precious metal on these as well, aren't you? Um, so beautiful yellow gold. Nineteen ninety nine is absolutely amazing for five charms, one bracelet, and oh, all of those. Oh, that's good. Wow, I love that bracelet. It's like a belcher, so it's a bit chunkier. Does that make sense? It's what I'd call like a modern, yeah, a modern charm bracelet. Yeah, um, and they are they're really coming back because for a long time it was sort of those kind of Pandora-esque charms that you put on. Mm -hmm. And these were always more of a vintage look, but that kind of whole 
vintage look is coming back in and these sorts of charm bracelets I was gobsmacked when my, my, my daughter asked me to make a one dare I say it Debs I've always preferred the vintage charms I love them I've got yeah. um, one that I've had for years and it's got a cat in the bin on it the little cat actually goes into the bin over the bit ah. yeah um, it was really cute and he's just like he moves and I just think that they're things that you keep you can stack like yeah. if you've got if you put malachite on there and you've got a malachite stretchy wear them together yeah I mean, yeah you so can pretty. easily add your gemstones that that most of us will actually have in your stash as well you've got we've got the rose gold uh rose gold it's basically choose your colorway so yellow gold silver and rose gold have we got similar quantities 200 of the silver so can we shop ahead on those all available on pre-order. Should we do the rose gold? And obviously, we'll get into your uh, masterclass demonstration it's okay. as I'm, well. I'm going to demo with the rose gold. Okay. Um, but I thought how amazing rose gold went with um, lilac colours, and um, I just oh, I'll show you when we demo. But with the flowers, and uh, again, like I'm very floral and quite boho, but you can be more minimalist. You can put one of the charms on. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to use them all. There's five charms, but they don't all have to go into that one piece of jewellery. So look, you've got, there's the, the there's the four-leaf clover, the turtle, the elephant, the bee, and also the star. Um, so you get, what, five charms. Here's that bracelet, which is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, that's lovely. Oh, gorgeous. And then you have... Your split jump rings as well in different sizes. Yeah, I agree. Adam has just said, surely the bracelet on its own is twelve ninety nine. Surely. Well, you know, I, if you go by some of the high street shops that sell um, costume jewellery, I went into one the other day and I walked straight back out because I was disgusted at what they were charging for. You know, nothing as nice as this. Yeah. Nothing as nice as this. And. Um, when you think that you're going to have loads of split rings over so you know even for the split rings <laughs> yes you know you're getting a lot of split rings or any one of those charms exactly you're getting them in different sizes oh that's so pretty gold. that really that. suits you rose gold doesn't it it's gorgeous i love it and i love the link of this yeah, as well it's lovely again um you know yes you said it earlier on deb this can be a big be a beginner's project but at the same time um, at the same time, even the most advanced jewellery designers like yourself and many of our viewers, it's okay to make the pieces like this too. Oh, yeah. Right then. Are you ready? Because this will melt the phone lines. Okay. Are we ready? I'm ready. Bigger the quantity. You've got a bit more leeway. On the yeah, side. we do. We do, we do. So you get the silver, which I love that bracelet, Deb. That's amazing. Oh, thank you very pretty it's very me isn't it it is you <laughs> now we have the most beautiful bracelet with a nice link as well a, a nice clasp do you know that's not to be sniffed at clasp could if you were to make that the clasps alone could be best part of that price tag true I, and i think this one is so I don't know, bright and, and cheery, and it, the plating's been done so well. Yeah. It's such a lovely colour. I would never have known that this was plated. It looks like, like it's solid, yeah, silver. absolutely. I mean, there's, there's plated and there's plated, but we yeah. tend to do plating very well here, in my experience. Yeah, because you can normally see the difference, can't yeah. you? Normally. You, you can't with this, though, I don't think, do you? No. no, I don't think so. Okay, now we have 200 of these. You get the bracelet. Silver plated, so there is precious metal there as well. The five charms, silver plated. You get all of those split rings and you get Deb's instructions. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. And we are live if you're watching at what is it, 25 to 1 in the afternoon. So if you have any questions for Deb's, text in. Nine pounds and 99 pence. That's amazing. That's so good. I mean, if you sold those split rings for that, I'd be like, oh, I need some of those. And I'd just buy them all and really think you'd, about it. Yeah, that's true. You'd buy, you'd spend nine ninety nine on them. Yeah, because you've got the different sizes. You don't often get the chance to get a finding in different sizes. Usually it's different days, different yeah. auctions, isn't it? Yeah. So to have them all in the same kit, they're very, very useful little things. Or, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ross, what's that? Each. Divided by seven, one pound, 
One pound forty-two for the bracelet. One pound forty-two for the split rings. One pound forty-two for each of those charms. Do you know as well? The other day when I launched a bracelet as our deal of the day, and it was um, like a, an, an oversized link. It was beautiful. Mm. Loved it. Mm. Um, I was talking about the trend of bracelets, and do you know what? What shocked me. I put loads of photographs into this presentation. So many of the bigger brands, like Misoma, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. actually they're not sterling silver. Are they not? They're gold plated alloy. It shocked me. What, and they're still 100 so pounds or whatever? All, what we always, yeah, exactly. Still justifying those high prices. Here's us like, oh, silver plated base metal. So it's gonna be a little bit more affordable. I, I, you know, it, it was really difficult to find out which of those bracelets were actually exclusively precious. It's not in, all, no. by the way, but it's the small, um, it's the small little small print that often you see that it's silver plated brass yes. or silver plated base metal. And um, we're very, very transparent as far as it, you you know what you're getting. Yeah. I had to actually, you know, sometimes you have the little icon where you message someone from the website on the yeah. bottom of the screen. How can I help you? Mm. I normally just close it down, don't so you? Do I. But out of principle, I was like, I'm going to ask a question. And I did I ask the question. And they were like, and they said, um, I think it was brass. It was brass, yeah. Yeah, that's. Um... Not all of them are bots. Sometimes they start off bots and then they go to a person, but yeah. Um, but yeah, and it was like, I'm sure it said brass, but you have to ask the question because it wasn't there in black and white. Again, it's making things that, you know, you could probably afford, but why in that case, but why should you when you can make, you know, you can make it. And I mean, I've been in this industry a long time. I've probably coming up to 20 years now, actually doing it as a job, both in front of the camera and behind the scenes, doing mm. kits for other companies and in management. All, so I know it pretty much inside out. And there's one thing that I've consistently made throughout my whole career, and that's charm bracelets. Yeah. Ne never gone yeah, out of yeah. fashion. And um, macrame as well. So the other one that's never gone out of fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. Um, so I thought we, we could talk a little bit about... Um, how I put a charm bracelet together. I do most of the designing, am I in frame, oh yeah? Yeah. Um, I do most of the designing on my beading board or on my beading mat before I even attach anything. Okay. If you're attaching things with jump rings, obviously it's not such a big deal because you can just open the jump ring, but it's a little bit more of a faff to actually undo a split ring. And if you're not sure what a split ring is, I'll try and show you it sideways um, on the overhead. So I don't know how close we can get to that. Oh yeah, okay. Good idea. That's why you're the director and I'm not. There we yeah. go. <laughs> I couldn't. So as you can see there, you've got the single part of the uh, split ring, which is where your charm will eventually sit. And then I'll just turn it around. You have got like a double, it's a bit like a little spring, a little coil. Yeah. And you basically pop on your charm and you keep, you pop it round and round and round and round until it hits the single part. And then it can't come off because when it goes from left to right, it's, it's just going to go round. It has to get between these little um, rings to actually get out. So what I'm going to, I'm going to try and show you what it looks like. Um, open. Let's talk about the split rings first, actually, before we talk about the design. Now, there's a couple of different ways to open these. You can get split ring pliers. I've got some split ring pliers here, and I know we've done them here before. To be honest, I don't find them the easiest way to open the jump ring, um, depending on what you're putting in it. So a split ring plier, um, it's just, it's got one straight edge as a, as a regular plier, and the other edge has got like that little kind of nippy Also, oh, like a hook. Like a little hook. And what you do is you put, you hold it, and then on the um, on the little hook part, you pop that in, and it opens this end, and then you can pop the charm in. But if you're looking at things like um, this charm, there's a hole in this. It's a really nice charm, and it's quite wide. So I'm not going to get that in there. For that split ring because that's not really opened it wide enough so another couple of ways that you can do this is um you can use a beading awl or a bead a pointy tool or you can use anything flat and pointy so this is like my bead, bead scoop that works i've got a little knack of doing it with my scissors and i don't know if i can do it in this position because i usually lean them against me oh, and then lean them on the... scissors 
I think I got those for Christmas. The sort of things I get for Christmas: scissors, <laughs> scissors, <laughs> tools. You know, <laughs> just the normal Christmas. I think it was in my stocking filler. So a little pair of um, scissors. It's all right. I won't. I won't stab myself, Adam. Don't worry. She says he is starting to worry. He's isn't worrying he? a little bit. So what I would usually do is take a pair of pliers, hold my split ring where the um, the single part is mm -hmm. and then what I usually do is I sit really close to it and I'm, I'm not going to do that now because I'm I can't because it's a, unnatural but I put this in and then what I tend to do is push it open and lean it against me so that now can you see that I've got a really large um, yeah place to then pop on my um, my oh, that's a charm. top tip. So I can't do it here because I'm holding it for the, the camera, but usually that would be nearer to me. And then you can just, what you do is once you get it on, and I'm going to, can I just do it and not just do it for me? So yeah, you do, it, you do it how you would do it. Don't worry. And then you just pop it on. And then I'll show you once I've got it on. There we go. So I've got it on there. And then once it's open and you've got your charm a little way on, can you see that? that's when you just feed it all the way. So you keep feeding it, keep feeding it, and then you'll feel that it will come off of the double rings and onto the single ring. And then mm -hmm. it's honestly, it's really, really secure now. Because it's, you know, you've got key rings with keys on like this. It's essentially that, but a small thing. And then you would open it again and pop it onto your, Oh, helps if I'm in shot. Um, and you would pop it onto your bracelet. <laughs> and like pop it on, and you can't see it. <laughs> That's no good, is it? Let's get a proper designer in here. So you pop it onto there, and it's lovely and secure. Now, talking of that's all there is to it. Um, that was a large one, which I wanted to show you because um, it's easy for you to see. But you do get these different sizes. So you've got that small size there. I think there's another size as well, which I've not got on the board. But so you choose the jump ring of the split ring rather of the look that you want. So how I would go about designing is I usually lay out my chain on my beading board if you've got one or bracelet board ideally. But if not, your beading mat will be fine. And then I tend to put my, and now you can count, you can count how many charms you've got and that, how many links that will be in between. But I'm not that kind of jewelry maker. So I tend to do everything by eye. Um, and it's funny because if I do count them, I'm usually right by eye, just by seeing it. So I would usually take those um, and just pop them along where I want them to be. So I've kind of decided my design before I've started. And then I've decided my charms before I've started as well, which I will show you how to make these. Now these charms are just made with lucite flowers. Um, and then I would just start to place along without connecting because mm. you're designing at this point and it's easier to remove now than later when they're on. You're right, the lavender does look lovely with it, that Do you too. think? Oh, yeah, I really amazing. like that kind of lavender colour. Mm. And then you just want to decide where everything is and make up your charms. So for the um, lucite flower, and we've brought loads of lucite boxes, haven't we, recently, but this is the one with the AB coating. I like to put some beads inside this so it looks like a little kind of stamen coming out mm. so and I also like to use a ball pin because I really like the little ball on the end so I think it looks like you know when you look into a flower I think yeah. it looks like that so what I'm going to do is take three of my mm. seed beads and I want to use mm. maybe a pearl on the end let's use these so I, I've got three 11 O's and then I've popped on I think that's a shell pearl um, as the stamen to my flower so you pop on your stamen first then pop on your flower and just make sure that it's sticking out as far as you want it to I have made flowers in the past where I've had them you know three little skinny stamen coming out just like a real flower which was really pretty and then I pop on another seed bead this is a slightly larger one just because it was the color that I wanted but that could be a spacer bead it can be anything you want and then I usually would wrap loop these into place as that is a really secure connection but what I'm doing when I'm designing is I just half wrap that loop so I don't finish the wrap and then so I can sort of see how many I need to make and on the other charms I just added in exactly the same way three seed beads 
so that I had that kind of little bit of a pop of colour. So then all I want to do then is start to attach. So I'm going to attach one of these flowers just with my wrap loop. Uh, these charm bracelets can be as sort of packed or as minimalist as you want. So I think this bracelet's pretty enough to just have maybe like one star on or your lucky, your little lucky four leaf clover. And then I'm just going to wrap that around. So the reason we do wrap loops as opposed to regular loops usually is because of the security of the connection. So when you're wrapping a loop, there's nothing to come undone on it, if that makes sense. So that that can be shook around as much as you like. And there's no little loop to open. There's no little kind of gap for your charm to escape out of. So that's a really good cold connection. And when you're adding charms, especially a charm like this, if you were going to add this charm with a wrap loop, you're adding quite a bit more depth onto it. So it's still a really secure connection, but maybe you don't want your charm hanging down any further. And that's where something like this split ring gives you the same level of security on your charm bracelet, but it's not making it hang any lower. So does that make sense? So whereas you'd use something like a wrap loop on a made component, if you use a split ring as opposed to a jump ring on a little charm, you can keep with the same sort of depth of your charms. Whereas if I added that to a wrap loop, for example, I would have to put probably a little um, gemstone or a little seed bead in between that and the bracelet. And that might just be hanging a little bit too low for me. That, you know, that's, that's fine. So, I made, I think, uh, I really packed the silver bracelet, but with this one, I'm just gonna add a couple of the, um, the flowers. And I think it's really nice that if you're making to sell, that you maybe have a couple of these on your store because they're kind of basically made up, the, the bracelet itself. Yeah. And you could have some charms and just add, ask people what color they wanted. Yeah, and you then can customize you it. You can customize it. And I've always found that when I was making to sell, people love to buy things that they watch you make. Mm. because you know that's something you don't get on the high street isn't it that kind of attention to detail so I'm going to put three of these flowers on in your wrap loop pop it on there a double wrap loop and then I'm going to just trim that off so that then we can have a look and see so you just keep adding and keep having a look. Now the first thing that I would have added, but I'm not going to make you sit here and look at me trying to open split rings without, but you know, so you decide who you want in the middle. I'm going to have Mr. Elephant in the middle. And maybe you'd use three charms on that and save the other two mm -hmm. um, for something else. And then you need to decide whether that's full enough for you. You know, that I think that would be a lovely little um, flower girl bracelet for a wedding, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, or maybe... <laughs> I've just seen what you've got on your iPad. Or maybe you want to <laughs> pop um, your bumblebee on so that you can go to sleep in the flower. I like that. <laughs> bumblebee, I like that. Bumblebee butts. I was just That's thinking, it. Debs, we've all felt like that though, haven't we? We've all felt like that before. Just roll through the door and... You just want to yeah. lie down on a bed of a flower. Look at his little butt covered in, in pollen. Look at him. I know, ever so cute. I love bees. Me too. They're so sweet. My nana, her, she, she was a real gardener, a real country lady, and her <laughs> bees used to land on her knees while she was sitting in the garden and she'd stroke them, big bumblebees. Ah, She was like the bee whisperer. I Just gently it. with a finger on her knees. I love it. Well, so can they cute. get to know you then? Is that right? Bees. I've seen things where they people become say, familiar. I always save bees. Like if I yeah, see I get a little bit of honey on a spoon or sugar water, sugar water yeah. make sure it's okay and you know, big celebration when they fly off. Oh, I saved a bee, but we've got to look after our bees. Absolutely, we do. So any jewellery with like bees and flowers <laughs> is right up my alley. Yeah. So you can see how incredibly easy that is, but you know, you can put some thought behind your design and you know, someone can have the same kit and do something completely different to I you. I love it. Because that's a, uh, the, the beauty of being a jewellery maker. I love it. I absolutely love it. The fact that you've just got your amazing projects today for like, right about a tenner, that's crazy. I like The instructions that. alone. 
Well, yeah, and we do, we, all of us take time on the instructions. Um, even if, you know, you know technically how to make that, if you put that in your instruction folder and you've lost your mojo six months, a year down the line, have a look through and think, oh, I exactly. remember that. It's a nice, it's like, it's like a cookbook, isn't it? Yeah. You could reference it yeah, and go exactly back to like it. Yeah. Um, reference it, and that's always nice to do, like, especially if you've got a visual and illustration of it. There Definitely. And, there. and top tip, I don't know if it was you that said this, if you write the date of the demonstration oh yeah you I can watch it back i think that was carol uh, that was a really good idea to yeah. write the date um i always i save my shows in a playlist so that when people ask me i can go back and have a look but i've actually printed off every single one of my instructions so that oh, i can i can tell people when they ask me yeah and um you've got that that whole pack of inspiration yeah. there even if you technically don't need to look at the instructions or some things you won't remember like <laughs> I've been doing Kumihimo for years, but I hadn't done it for a long time. And I went to my daughter, do we do it like this? And she went, no, mum, remember it. And I went, oh yeah, because you, can yeah. you can't, re well, my brain can't retain everything. Same, I've got a terrible memory. You can't. And if you don't use that information, you forget it, don't you? Especially when you're doing lots of different techniques, lots of different ways. Yeah. I was weirdly, I bumped into Tom and I snuck out for it. Well, snuck out. We went for a coffee yesterday. <laughs> and uh, it sounds like we were sneaking out, leave the kids. Put the Don't kids worry, in the no, shed. No. They were at school, it's fine. It was full. Tick <laughs> down, tick down. <laughs> no, Tom and I went, had the afternoon to ourselves. Lovely. Anyway, like, should we go for a coffee? And um, bumped into Tom knows everybody. He's like, hi, oh, hi. And I'm like, oh, don't know, don't know who they're. Anyway, I didn't realise that he said to me, uh, are, you are you still a gym pour? And I was like, yeah. You know, you're thinking I've got a Scooby too. Who you are, person. yeah. And it was actually the managing director of our IT management person. Ah. And, and again, I was saying, yeah, I'm terrible. I'm absolutely terrible. I don't know. And if you don't use that knowledge, you forget it, don't you? Yeah, and I mean, I've done shows with um, Kumihimo where it's been flat Kumihimo in different... And I was just going back to basic Kumihimo. And sometimes when you've learned a more advanced technique, you think, oh, what, how do I do it differently again? And you just yeah. need that... You need that um, just nudge, and I think that's what these projects, as just well as pro yeah. gives you that nudge of oh yeah, you might only have to read the first one or two steps, and you go oh yeah, I get yeah, I remember that. But then we've got lots of beginners, and that's exciting because you know, welcome to the dark side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you'll have a lot of fun, and you know what, you're uh, if if you start making jewelry with, with projects like <coughs> this, which is ideal, it's wearable jewelry at the same time, isn't it? It's very wearable jewelry. I think it's great to introduce uh, people to to making, and you know, anyone can do it, whatever age. You know, you could you could get your mum to sit down and make one of these yes. if she'd never made anything. You can get your daughter. Love um, it. So yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Wow. Time's gone so quick today, hasn't it? It has. I've no idea where we are. Has you, have you lost your talk? I've back? lost my talk. Back. Yeah, I thought so. I always do around this time. So. I, I thought so. we what, sorry? Was he shouting, shut up? <laughs> I, I, I can't hear him either. What did you say? Split ring pliers are on your screens right oh, now. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Very there good. There you go. Oh, these, so, these look better than ah. mine. Oh, these are better than mine. Are they? Um, I tell you for why, because they're thick and you know what I was I'll saying tell you about for why. <laughs> I tell you for why. That's a very Welsh expression that is. I'll tell you for why. I um oh these are better. Um the ones I had, they didn't open it very far, but this has got a good um sized jaw, so um. these are really good. I might get these. Bit, as we've mentioned turtles a couple of times, it's a bit like a turtle's nose. <laughs> They've got the little pointy bit they in do, yeah. at the bottom of their nose, so um, amazing everybody, well done. So for your split rim pliers, I can't remember the last time we had those. Oh, that's really good that you found those, Ross. He could be saying anything to me. Four, Four ninety nine. Mm. Very good. I know. And really, let's be honest, once you've got those pliers, you're never going to need to replace them. Do you know what? I need those for every time that Willow buys a key ring and says, <laughs> Mummy, can you put some of these key rings on my bag? That's very true. And it's so difficult to do. And you do get those um, findings for bag charms as well, don't yes. you? So um, these are definitely better. I mean, where are mine? Like, mine are so much skinnier. Look, you can see. Okay. So these are much better as far as having, can you see, like the jaws of mine? A bit more heavy duty. I've had them for years. Um, okay. 
sweet. So these have got a, a, a wider gap so that you can get different charms too. So okay. I'm going to get these if there's any left. Well, at 4 99 it's not breaking the bank, is it? It certainly um, isn't. Debs, I know the answer to this. <laughs> um, and you did mention this one, but when you're back. Tomorrow. Yay! We get a double dose of Debs. Tomorrow. Yes. Lovely day tomorrow too. So yeah, I'm just covering a show. Um, for tomorrow so it's lovely to be here two days in a row that never happens so. never but yeah. i tell you what what a treat and monday yes we got you three in a row yay yes. never any complaints and i haven't from seen us, you from ages awesome. this shift side and now i'm seeing you three times in a row i know loving that <laughs> lovely. absolutely loving that so um i'll pick you up later so you'll take the day to come down for dinner might as well remember we've got to make sense tomorrow okay yeah well, well we, we don't have to we'll be sensible um, <laughs> yes, yes, Roscoe. Tomorrow, sterling silver is your deal of the day. Ooh. Amazing. So we've got some essentials uh, as your deal of the day. We've got eight o'clock serpentine Ooh. and seraphonite. Oh, I love seraphonite. Absolutely love that. Is it a beautiful strand? It's been ages since we've had Seraphonite. And I've got a universe bracelet in the masterclass, which has got so much meaning to it oh. when I looked into it. So I'm looking forward to showing you that and talking about it. It's Is it lovely. literally the solar system? It's the solar system, but there's like a meaning behind why you would wear it. Yeah. Um, and it was lovely and I thought oh yeah this is a bit of me the story behind this so, loving that yeah. absolutely loving that um, we are running out of time today but have a lovely afternoon everybody make sure you tune in bright and early it'll be it'll be us two again it'll be us two again so uh, George and Zippy yeah George and Zippy Ooh. absolutely <laughs> oh Bert and Ernie too hey Bert see you tomorrow <laughs> hey Bert <laughs>